Alright, we got Paradise, a hostage map. No, bomb map. Oh, it, I was about to say, I, I, hostage? hostage. I was, <laughs> listen, man, there's so many hostage maps yesterday. I was like, I got hostage on the mind. Alright. Yeah, I understand. Oh my god, the grass is floating. <laughs> WTF stomach. I, I feel like it's funnier just because of the robot voice. Also, nice I wonder if you made those clipping suggestions. Ooh, like that nice, nice crate. It's a nice crate. Let's find a spawn real quick. He did not. Here. No, okay. Wow, T spawn gets such a tiny, poor little bed while CTs get the rich, nice bed. Cannot believe it. This is probably what the uh, oh, lore is about. Oh, is there a bed in there actually? This is what the lore is about, probably. Alright. Oh, they. Yeah, frame bed is would be just a bit whack. Uh, I know streaming is putting it down a little bit for, I think, most maps, but it seems a little bit more fluctuating compared to other maps. And I think Sonic said earlier that his was dipping. So, let's see here. Got a quick ride out to the left here. Got some water. So, T's near a little route to the left here. So, it looks like they can easily sweep out to the left. Not much cover. You're doing wall peaks. So, you got a right route over here. Looks like the same thing. But, peak would be out here. And we have a middle route from the looks of it. Please do MP restart. The fire doesn't work otherwise. It's only weird glitch. Uh, do you mean this fire over here? It's quick if you want to do a quick MP restart, I guess. No problem. Look at that picture. I like that house design. Very nice. You're talking about the main house? Yeah, the main house. No, I was talking about the little tiny hut at T spawn. The it was like bit. three houses. So oh, was, really? Or four yeah. houses, I you guess. Can, uh, I don't know if you can get in. I think you can get in this one. Ah, uh, there's one over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, we do have uh, breach assets too. Okay. Yeah, just optimization seems a little. All right, I'm gonna do it. Oh, ignore that. Okay, might have just shut the li the password on live stream. Very cool. All right. Oh god, I'll fuck. Oh god, I'll fuck. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. You hate to see this optimization. My guess is that a lot of people don't think about it too much, especially when designing wingman maps. Just like, you think of the smaller scale, but I think every map needs just a little bit. I think just a little bit would have helped this map out a lot. So what's our mid route here? Where are we restarted? Is it through the house? Okay, it is through the house, so these ones come out here. Do you have any weird angles? No? Okay. Here, we've got a peek through the window. I can be a little uncomfortable, but it looks like a... Okay, I don't think CTs can really get up here. We can rush it, I bet. Uh, can I get two people for timings real quick? Yep, yeah. I'm heading over to CT. I need to, t I want to test the yes, mid- Yes, on the other side. Test the so, mid route, okay. go uh, on your own time, but I want to see the checkpoint for the middle. The what? Hang on, boys. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay. Chief is dying. Alright. That's very unfortunate. Uh, go at your own times, do the middle choke point. Stop when you see each other. So that, that middle house area is yeah. what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. go, at, go okay. at 25. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, we got people over here. Okay, so that's been thought out, it looks like, so... It's pretty quick routing, but... Looks like it has been, has thought been put into it, so right up there. It does look like you have to rush into the house pretty quickly. 
Is there a side entrance? Okay, there's a side entrance. So you come out here, you go around here. Uh, I think one of the problems I'm just seeing right off the bat is again, the bomb site is tucked away. So that by the time you get to the bomb site, I mean, you can play around it too. It doesn't look like I think the problem would be that C2's, like the 2v2 kind of deathmatch style of it would already be done and the bump site wouldn't be utilized. So far, I feel like this could also be used pretty well as a choke point since there seems to be a lot of areas around the house itself that we'll see a lot of uh, firefights. So I think the house itself is a pretty good design. I'm not too much of a fan of this right side area, especially since we get peeked over here and everything. I don't know, it's tough to see. Kind of peeking out to, well, hmm, it's tough. Oops. Oh man, Wi-Fi is not cooperating right now. Okay. Sorry about that stream. Probably gonna see a few of that. You could probably just smoke it off instantly. Watch this right area over here. Oh, you can definitely catch some people while surprised by doing that. Okay. So it looks like there has been a lot of thought been put into the layout. Even if the left, for this left and for this right route is a just peek out, not real cover, just kind of scanning the areas for near area to you. Visibility looks pretty good. The visual setting itself is really good too. Really like the sky setting, nice bright colors, nothing too wacky. Looks like it has a very nice crossing of long and shorter ranges. Especially this middle area. I think a lot of thoughts have been put into this. I mean, yeah, I was play testing this a lot. I don't. I think I've only played this once, maybe, and I was asleep, oh. so I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I played this once too. Oh, very fun fact, Sonic. <laughs> I did turn up the bit rate by like. Thir oh, like a third, so should be quite a bit better. I think the problem was your internet dipping rather than the bitrate, because it was fine most of the time, I think. Okay. So if the stream quality keeps going down or my internet does something weird, I will quickly pause the stream just to turn the bitrate back down. But hopefully that doesn't become an issue. So let's sh check that bomb site real quick. So yeah, decently by size bomb site. Looks like a lot of areas to plant for in and out. Even wall bangable, yeah. I think a lot of the thought has been put this way out. Very visually pleasing. I feel like this is definitely a map I wanna get a double check on for playtesting. Only gripe would be just optimization. Which again, it's not something I usually harp on for most wingman maps, but this one seems to just be a little bit too much. Get my scoring thing out here. Common actually gave me access to the sheet now, so Hog. I'm going off my little listing on. So I'll fill all of those in later. But for now, just doing my old way. So that was Paradise. Definitely a map I want to play test in the future. So we can head on to the next one. All right, cool. Uh, uh, next map is called Fast Boiling. Line. No, we played that yesterday. Sad. Okay, this map <laughs> is called Fast Line. It Oops. is Fast Line, then. I called it Do I thought we did Fast Line yesterday. No. I don't know what you're thinking of, but we didn't. Mm. What were the last few maps? Oh, Test Set is probably what I'm thinking of. Yeah, we definitely did not look at this because this is a very distinct map, but in my opinion. Okay. How's it going, Twitch chat? Any questions? Any comments? Oh, it's this map. I remember this one.
Twitch chat spam heart emoji for chief. No, please, no. <laughs> Don't do it. No. <laughs> Wait, is this? Is this what peak? This crate. Do be a crate. I don't know, it's just the lighting. I don't know. Is it a model? I can't tell. I'm too retarded. Mm -hmm. You can check with Matt Wireframe. Blue is model, so yeah, it's a model. How is my hair? Um, my hair is pretty normal. Longer on, on the longer side. Definitely need to get a haircut. <laughs> uh, red is brushes and green is displacements. Mm. Those are some Minecraft containers. They do be cubic. Looks like, is it a brush? I got these little tops on. No, they're models. Okay, yeah, it's about to say. Got some tall cubes. All right, so fast line. Oh, we have some funky routes on the left and right here. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Ooh, wonder where the choke point would be here. Like long, like narrow routes like this is never something you really want to see. You want to test time for me? I mean, sure. Go for it. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Somebody want to go to, to the CT spawn? Yeah. Okay. And you know which route you're running to? The one on the right, like your right. Uh, where that ladder is. The, the long one. The long one, like on the right. Yeah, that's the that's the. Okay. Uh, that's the one with the ladder. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's run there. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, the truck was up right up. at the ladder. Mm. Yeah. So you want to see? So T's were up there pretty quickly, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so, I was like all the way up to here before he got up there. So if I yeah. can't even get up the ladder, then that timing is really off. Because I feel like this would be a CT area you hold. You don't want to be down here. Because, I mean, I guess that could be intentional, but like, you can't really hold this. You can't, don't want to be like, put on the open here either. And the route itself is just not fun. The other way too. I feel like this could have been a little bit more well designed. I'm just guessing that he was just trying to, he had the spawns decent enough for timings, but didn't know how to really connect them. So, that's why we, when we see those long routes, we can usually tell. A little more innovation could have been put there. So we got this faster route up here, straight through. Flashback. Got some longer angles. Flashback. A little bit of a narrow entryway right into the bump site. We have uh, a ladder. See, this this was thought out. Don't want to go up a ladder. Just uh, poke out here. Extra cheesy pie would like to watch a broadcast. I have a Twitch chat, Twitch stream up. <laughs> I'm not doing it through the team. <laughs> so I like this little bit of design, so you don't get shot at while trying to go up the ladder. So this is definitely puts some thought into it. But there also is the issue of double angles, which I'm personally not a fan of. It's when you, the same angle can be peaked at from a different elevation. So I have this lower angle, but I can also be peaked from up there. So there is a grab I have against that, personally. Especially if you're doing wingman, 2v2, you have you and your wingman guy just going one up, easily could dominate one of these angles. So unless both CTs are holding right on the bump side, this could be an issue. I mean, you could smoke it off or try to molly it off, but I don't think that'd be very effective against this route. Oh, this doesn't even disappear, does it? I have to, like, decline it. <laughs> <laughs> decline. All right. Then we got this right path over here. We got a nice little detail over here, every now and then. Here and there, now and then. Ooh, love to see that ping. All right. Is this? All right, it seems like a really forced uh, utility event right there. So I'm guessing that then this little narrow point, the choke point. This seems really upscaled. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure this is really upscaled. All right, big old barrel, big old crate. large barrel. Yeah, points like this. Like if you're trying to utilize like force utility into your game or into your map, you probably want to do it on more open areas, longer angles. Like something like this, if I can probably easily check with a shotgun or SMG. Like this is kind of 
bigger than short range, but not even came across it's like medium range. Like it's just like here to here. Like you probably don't want to use utility for this. Something like if you were to redesign this right over here, instead of just like a narrow long hallway out to just a ladder. Like this is also something I'm noticing too, like the stairway going up just to come around just to head back down to a ladder that goes down. So I know you're trying to like, get elevation to your game, trying to get some heights, but especially with the choke point and just the underwhelming design of it, I feel like this could have been something better. Something where you probably want to use the utility. I see you got glass, so I, I assume you want, you're trying to use something with this. Got even like a window right here. So this would be a better place to have utility used. I feel like this route overall just could have been a little bit better. Yeah, you got some nicer areas. I like the nice little dim lighting you got right here. The props and the upscaling and then these larger, like... Yeah, this looks like the normal, like, container thing you'd see. And you got, like, a really taller one. I don't think I've really seen that before. You got a dark corner right there, but that's not really too much to look at. I think the bump site could be utilized, but I don't think there's really... I don't know, I think the gameplay is going to be way more focused on the routing itself. Got the close range, choke point right there, got the longer range, got a double angle, which again, not a personally a fan of. And then you got a uh, peak hole that CTs would have to avoid. So since, the, since T's can get so far up, like the choke point's right at the ladder, I'd probably just say, yeah, peak hole. I'd probably just say that they can't even play that route. They'd be stuck back here then. So I think a little bit more love needs to go into the routing. I think this could be a pretty good map. Definitely got some detail and visual effort put into it. So I have to see some more in the gameplay design. But you definitely, you've definitely thought some things out, so... It's a good overall map. Just needs a little bit more... thought into the uh, routing and design. Any comments? Any comments? Uh, this map was made by somebody called Mr. SPF. TF2 map. <laughs> TF2 map. <laughs> God, no, we're not looking at sunburn. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. Is sunburn next? No, it's later. Oh, okay. What's your next uh, map? I was, making a, I was making a funny haha -ha joke. Uh, okay. next map is recovery. <laughs> recovery. <laughs> Recovery. I'm being bullied by Peak. Good. What the oh. fuck? Stab everyone on me. Oh my god, Peak, put the knife down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Oh no, he's too British. What order is this being done? We're going down the list. So we're going down the list of submissions, so you should be able to follow along. Well, Squid's he's throwing me out of whack because I've actually checked. I'm going down the collection. Okay, there you go. Heard it. You heard it here yourself. <laughs> I actually just squinted at a screen. This map is by Tomo2515X. Or Tom O, maybe. Those mountains. Do... Mm. Got a nice little spawn out here, like this. He says he had a lot of fun making this map, according That's to fun. the workshop description. Nice. Oh, it's so bright. It's like a nuclear the detonation sun. in the background. <laughs> yeah, oh, the I, sun? I, I looked at the sun and I had to actually squint. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was like right here, it's like, oh, this is a nice setting. Then my <laughs> eyes! Yeah. Alright. Getting a little bit of a N2 game facility vibes here. Anyway, I remember really? That map. Yeah, a little yeah bit. I do. That's why I was. That's why I said really, because yeah, not the layout, confused. not the layout. I, mean, I need to explore okay. the layout first. I was saying the visual side of it. I see. <laughs> I've been in this map for like thirty seconds. I can't tell the layout yet. So what's her routing here? T spawn. Split out to is there a left route. Oh, okay. You can jump up in this window, actually. Ah, this is a detailing area. Come out left here. 
Okay, but then there we got a side onto the bump side. Where would that be? Oh, triggers. Why are the triggers yellow? Yeah, that's interesting. Is this the bomb site? Color, color correction, maybe? Color correction on the triggers, how could they? So you got that's a very true. narrow little bomb site. Pretty exposed, too. I mean, you're definitely keeping us from like the other routes, but definitely have one, two, almost three routes looking into it. Squeaky, no, okay. Got big old crate. Looks like a drop down. Okay, so I think there's some popping into that. So a drop down I can see most of the sites. Yeah, shot the drop down. Boost. So you got your main mid route here. You can peek out through the store. Is this Wi Fi or is this it's probably Wi Fi, okay. Oh, uh, so someone in my chat just told me when you shoot out the skylight in C T spawn, it starts like raining or snowing inside. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh yeah. Ah. Look at that. That is neat. That is pretty neat. They're like, shoot at the sky, I'm like, okay, and it starts just... Ah, there, I think there's some stuff on the floor too that kind of visualizes it. Pills here, texture. Yes, it's pills here. Are pills there pills here? here? It's not inside the map, I don't think. Oh, that's the... Yeah. Shame. Great shame. Every map should have the pills here texture inside the map. <laughs> it is true. So a That's lot the of only requirement to win. Keeps coming around this middle area here. I don't, not too sure if you'd focus more on the routes, but more of this giant open area here. This wasn't a squeaky, right? Was it? No, it was not. Okay. I mean, your longer angles definitely start at the initial choke point for visual areas, but or angle areas, but I think in seems a bit more, eh, I'd say medium range, honestly, so rifle's probably the best. But yeah, definitely longer range when you're holding down these points right here. So I'm not sure if you wouldn't stay on the bomb site itself. I feel like CTs would probably just be content with these angles right here, right where they come out into this giant open room. You probably got a few sneaky little angles, like right here, this corner maybe. Except for the middle route, they seem pretty narrow too. The only advantage the T's get would be this upper area again. Let's see here. And then you have to have the vent. Which doesn't really help you out too much, but it's a good rotation piece. I don't know, I'm not too much of a fan of the bump site. You do have a lot of I think you do have a lot of uh, thought put into the areas around it, so it's not again like one of those where you sweep the entire map before you get to the bomb site. So there's only been there's some thought put into that. I feel like just the bomb site itself could have had more gameplay around it, around centered around itself, because I feel like again that anytime you want to plant here, you're trying to lure out CTs or trying to rotate through their through their uh, area around here. He could have just made the bomb site basically the whole lower room. And oh. it would have been, like the whole yeah, yeah. whole room, okay, yeah. which would have like created lots more lots more cover. And it's wingman, so you barely plant anyway. So you might as well make the bomb set really big. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing we're looking for. So again, they have a lot of thought put into the rotations for CTs, but something we are looking for in this contest is objective-based gameplay instead of just two v two deathmatch. My next map is really good. Yeah, I do like the lighting. Got some nice little visual pieces here and there. Lots of good verticality and everything. So I, well, I think a, a lot of thoughts been put into this map. I just want to see a little bit more out of the bomb site area itself. Probably something you want to play test again. Man, I'm gonna have too many maps with asterisks on them. I'm gonna have to like half. I'm gonna have to get like half of these knocked off. Otherwise, I'm gonna have like play test like a third of these missions. That's how many I want to play to us, man. Probably will, honestly. I definitely want to see how these uh, angles and choke points play out. Okay, so I feel like this will be one of those longer maps. We've seen a lot of like short burst maps where gameplay happens super fast. I feel like this map takes a lot more time to develop gameplay, utility, yada yada. 
So definitely something I want to look more into. Also, am I getting like a weird fog thing coming out from this angle right here? Yeah, it's a bit just too... A, just a tiny bit? Yeah. All right, it's nothing much. I was just wondering about that. But everything else is looking good. I know, a lot of nuke assets, but still. Again, if you make them look good, the, the assets themselves are good, but if you make them even look better, then go for it. Good facility map. I like it. Recovery. All right. Probably have to mark it down. Any last thoughts here? Yep. Get back. I have no strong feelings. Positive smoke or negative. Smoke. Does so Cloud we're... suffer from alpha sorting issues with smokes? You know, so like your mother is also an alpha sorting issue. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this time. Won't be too much of an issue. Uh, so Larry, we, or me personally, I've been writing down a bunch of maps that I want to play test extensively. And I do have quite a few, so I'll probably knock a few off. I don't know yet. And we'll be private playtesting a bunch of these maps, and some of the other judges probably want to play test maps too, so. Probably be a few days just looking at some of these higher tier maps. I can't say for certain which ones will be, but I'll say that I probably want to on some of these maps. But who knows? So that was recovery. What's our next map? Next map is Scarlet. I believe this map is Grey Box, and according to the creator, there are assets, or thanks to Yanzel for assets from DE Thrill used. All right. So that's basically it in the description. If it switch it, there we go. The bomb site is one thrill rock. <laughs> Does it say thrill rock? I saw another map that just had a rock as its bomb site, but also had an airplane trigger. So you know. <laughs> oh, stuck inside. That was great. Oh, what is this map? Oh, I'm, gonna yeah. have to, I'm gonna have one of you resort yeah, to. Go uh, yeah, go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. All right. While well, you're in Sadly, this finished, can... but this has a very good layout. That is a little unfinished. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Good to, can you check in wingman chat to make sure uh, no nuclear detonation has happened there? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I've been watching it. Okay. We're good, I solved it. So, a bit of gray box, but... Interesting. That spawns out here. Oh, so... Oh no, do we have a double angle? We have a double angle. Hate to see it. Timing seems really fast for this route, too. Who would pick out first? I assume T's would be able to pick out first. Okay, they get the silent first, but again, double angles never a fan of. I can't actually tell who would come out here first. I think it'd be like simultaneous. Except for this upper area, I think it would take a second longer. But again, just if this is not a fan of, of those double angles. I want to try avoid, avoiding doing that. This is CT. Alright, got the bombsite here. Nice decent sized bombsite we got. Got a little under area. I see, yeah, looks like they had some stuff going. Well, I'm just gonna finish it. This seems like a very fast paced map. This might be our fastest yet. That this round is very just, fast paced. It's, yeah, this is literally like two seconds into that I, choke point. I, I play tested this extensively. Okay. This is this is actually pretty good. Nothing wrong with short maps, yeah. So see if he's get that. Oh, a lot of verticality. Hmm, I don't think the bomb site's gonna get planted with all these angles and such. If you're just looking for fast-paced gameplay, then you got it right here. Yeah, the central the central courtyard will definitely be the main focus, but. Even with the bomb side there, I'm not sure if the bomb side is really or the bomb's really gonna get planted. So let's see here. CTs are back here. T's do get a bit more to work with though. 
So nice sweep of the angles here. Then they get this upper area. I think it's very easy for T to be able to sweep this. Because again, with with it such, being such a fast pace, I don't think CTs can get to too many places across the bump site. You're kind of stuck with your cover, so you got basically right here, right here. And if they don't full on bull rush, you can probably sneak the CT out this way. Now, everything just happens within just a few seconds. It's so hard to tell. So, you're basically so from, from the playtest, basically meeting point are right here. All right, here and right here. At their arch. Like, yeah. Yeah, you have to consider though, um, th this path right here, the lower path is actually quite risky for T's because they have to cross this angle. Yeah, okay. So they so they either oh, have to smoke the lower path or they have to go the lower path. Oh, I so see. it's okay, actually I see. it's actually not, not that easy. It's it's fairly balanced from what I remember. Like it played pretty well. Yeah. Just the angles of what CTs can look at here grabs me a little bit. I think T's should always have a little bit more favorable on these like visual these uh, angles right here. But like, you have to check this left sweep. You got like any guy who can just pop their head up along this uh, kind of yeah that wall right there. Then you got to worry about this tiny little window up there. So you can just like a lot of angles that CTs can't really deal with. Which again, I feel like T's should always have the slight advantage when working your way through the bomb site in these maps. But it feels like just a bit much. Even if, even if CT get like the extra second, it's tough. Yeah, so blind spot into there, then I can see CT pop up. Let's see, let's check this under route again. So this is one of your longer ranger, ranged uh, gunfights right here. So you come down here. Face right on the stairs right there. Sweep it down. Have cover working your way back up. Ow! Should always have gotten with them. All right, work your way up here. I feel like just all the angles will be cleared up, but just by the time you get to this bomb site. If anything, the last CT could probably just be like anywhere around along this like back wall right here. So while the, this courtyard, I think, is just gonna have the most gameplay, I don't think it's gonna have the uh, actual bomb utilized in this map. But I do like some of the entryways and angles. I feel like this is a map that can work out pretty well with its fast-paced gameplay. I can't say for certain, because I'd probably have to play like multiple games on it to see if it just plays out quickly. Just small little issues with this right area, personally. It probably plays OK. I'm just, again, not a fan of sweep the left angle here. They can pop their head up on this wall, then get up here. CTs get a counter for this. They're there at the upper area. I can't. Choke points right here. Okay. T Rex, can I get another confirmation on the choke point? Like, do CTs, when they peek out this wall right here, where are T's? Yeah. Uh, just like right here and here. Yeah, I think that should be right here. Okay, so CTs can kind of bull rush, so they have a bit more time on the bomb site uh, than they thought. But, but you remember, they have to cross like an open angle, so it's yeah. very unlikely they'll actually be here. Yeah, again, smoke could be utilized, I think, every round. Plus, they yeah. get the upper area, they could probably just spend an extra one to two seconds going to the upper. Then they can just go back down the stairs. Mm, actually, mm, yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Then CT might get up the stairs a little bit, but I think the higher ground provides T's a way to deal with that. It's better for them. Try to get to the way a little bit there. But I think just everything has its own counterways. I don't think anything's too overpowered. Just small grab with the right area, but I think timings actually work a bit better than what I first thought. This crate is near. I really did want to see what this would look like when it finished. Looks like you had something going in mind, but... It's a nice little map. Honestly, I think it'd have been something pretty cool. So... For what you have, I give credit to you. Scarlet, who's the spy again? Uh, Necroma? Necroma. Not really familiar with him. 
I'm not familiar with a lot of these names. I think a yeah, lot of there's a lot. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that I don't know who they are, which I think is good. Like, I was saying that, yeah. Why are so many people competing in the competition part of the judging stream? What? The, yes. I don't understand the question. This, is, this isn't judging. This is, well, I mean, this is more like Chief's first impressions. Yeah, this is a and first impression We're just stream. providing color commentary. Yeah. Like the lower tier maps, gray boxes, et cetera, et cetera, I'll, giving, I'll be giving scores. The higher tier maps, I'll be giving initial scores, but I'll be playtesting them extensively after the streams are over with some other people, so. Don't worry if you see my comic map. relief. Comic relief. So we're, don't... we're here to make Chief not lonely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Please. So don't <laughs> worry if I'm like spent five minutes on your map and you're like, man, this is BS. Why didn't he say cool things about my map? He didn't see this awesome feature that could be actually good for gameplay. I'll probably see it later. Trust me, fellas. But for now, that was Scarlet. What's her next map? Uh, Hanok, which is H A N O K. All right. Uh, it's by Teddy. It is a wingman map set in a traditional style village outside the border of Seoul, capital of South Korea. Some parts of the map are unfinished and are subject to change, so any feedback is welcome and appreciated, according to the workshop description. All right, Teddy. If I didn't well, I should be reading the workshop descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> now this one also has two spawns. I'll go spectate. I believe Wayland is too. Hopefully Common is. I mean, to be fair, any judging should be taking place just within the map itself, but it's always nice to read some flavor when you have the workshop links. Mm -hmm. I believe Some of them are really long, so I probably won't read those. Yeah, read. Be I, I believe two maps have like, their own websites, which, again, won't have anything to do with the uh, judging, but it's always nice to see those. Alright, right off the bat, got a lot of stuff to look at. Oh boy. Got these right here. Very pleasing right off the spawn here. So where can we go? Got this right right over here. Looks like another pretty short map. But man, this is look good visually. <laughs> Two windows. Where are my cheats, Squidski? Right there. They were on the whole time. Mm. <laughs> nice little planter area here. Oh, it actually sticks through the hole, too. So we've got a pretty large CT spawn. Are the spawns consistent for CT? Can we have the two CTs like commit suicide like twice in a row? Yeah. One right there. Chief is ordering people to Paging Simon, paging Simon, please kill yourself. Damn. It's for the judging. You're not... It's fresh for the judging. I swear. It's for the ju Okay, you're good, Pete. Don't you get kicked. Right there, okay. The bison just got extended to a lot of this back area. So, I'm sorry about the. I turned up the bit rate. I'm sorry that you're get doesn't look great. I'm sorry, you're not getting the uh, immersive experience. Although I am pretty immersed, so I mean, do you guys really need to be immersed? <laughs> so I mean, this just paint a really. picture with your voice. Yeah. All right. I'll just put it, I'll just put a black screen on the and I'll just give you audio feedback. <laughs> we can have Slime give you ASMR with his nice uh, text to speech. Yeah. Right, I was distracted for a bit there. All right, back to the map. Hello, it is Slime ASMR. There we go. I'm not sure how well you rivals be utilized. Looks like another shorter map and a lot of the shorter choke points or uh, angles, excuse me. So right here, right here would be pretty long. So I've got this one entrance over here. I'm trying to keep track. I don't know, I'm getting confused. So, the right rat's right here. Then we can either 
check through the window or the doorway. Got the motor wraps right here. Bit longer of a peek. And then we have, that's it. So two angles in, okay. The unit has two angles. You can see it's pretty, can be pretty well utilized for, or utility can be very well utilized. So it looks like this mid court area will be definitely a lot of the fighting. I don't think CTs can push up very far though. Looks like they'll have to see it back a bit. Yeah, they can't really get too much angle there. Let's check over here. I wonder what this timing is. It seems pretty fast. Can I get timings for left route over here? Uh, I need someone on the other spawn. Um, I'm on. Or is that where you spawn, Pete? Okay, I'll yeah. go on one. Yeah. Interesting. You might just want to type kill 7 arc so you can figure out where you actually spawn. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look at you. Look at 7 arc is there. Smart. Smart. Talk extreme. Right? Um, all right, so we're going on the left Wait. path, left from CT. If you see the left. full spray, going this route. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So up there, seven arc up there and through the door. Up through here. Uh, no, you can go to your right, and there's like a there's like plywood. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can yeah, go up that plywood. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, go at twenty. All right. Oh, I saw your head really early there. Oh, when I like jumped up, I assume? Yeah, I, I could see your head peeking over this wall. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, Just so before you jump. See this angle, that's a tough little angle to That's like within a second. So the choke might seem like a longer angle, very fast, but the actual courtyard itself, where I assume most of the fight will be going, seems pretty short. It's a very nice looking map, just... I feel like it could be a, just a little bit bigger. It could utilize some of those routes more. I feel like more development of game, more developmental gameplay could have been used there. Because you can just avoid both choke points on completely and just have CTs kind of back into the spawn site area. Play the short game right here. Especially back here too. With this rotation piece. It's always good to see rotation area around the bomb site, so 2v2 deathmatch doesn't Pretty much confirmed that bombs that would be useless. But I still feel like the map had been just a little bit bigger. More development on those routes. I feel like this could have been something really good. Still a very, very nice visual map. Find detail into every little area. I mean that's what that's good about having a smaller map too. Yeah, you can just cram visual stuff everywhere. Let's check that bomb site, just to make sure. There we are, okay. It's a nice little map, I like it a lot. Just size seems to be hindering it a bit. Might play test this. Probably will actually. What do I get from the gas station? You get gas from the gas station. Unless you're talking about food. Can you Fair. get gas from the gas station? Consume the gas. <laughs> oh no, don't, don't encourage me. Listen, have you ever tried gas? No. Then how can you say it's bad for you? Shit, you got me. Exactly. I've been exposed. And on that note, yeah. let's give us our next map. <laughs> our next map is called DE Market. Um, the workshop description. The market in the city, the has, seen in the city has seen okay. an increased no of dealers to eradicate this. The citizens have taken help from the terrorists and mafia. The government supporting the dealers have assorted to counter terrorist. One fight for justice and another for their money. Does it have multiple spots? No. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Slimex. Thank Slimek. you to yourself. Or whoever did that, yeah. That's Slimex's voice, by the way. What the fuck? Oh, this is playable. Oh, uh, my map crashed. Or my hmm. I got Welcome out. to my life, last, <laughs> last night. I'll make a voice reveal. Yep, that is his somebody voice. Is, somebody's gonna, somebody else is gonna have to jump in spectator with me because there's only 2v2 spawns. Oh, oh. I can jump in spectator. <clears throat> <What>? oh. <laughs> Extra cheesy pie is asking what server this is. <laughs>
when you like to know. <laughs> yeah. All right, I told this DM as well. I wait for her. Okay. I know you don't get pinged to stream remotely this year. Thanks for the positivity about my map. Well, people do like It's McDonald's server. <laughs> yes, the McDonald's server. Makes sense for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry I called you out on stream, Cheesy Pie. Sorry about that. Don't be sorry, just stick up for yourself. Hmm. That driving Pepe emote is very good. <laughs> oh. That is all. Seven Arc was the one who messaged me the connect. The screen is black, <laughs> then I'm just uh, tapped out, so. I don't know yet. I probably didn't go black. My package is 10 stops away. Pog. Ooh. Hey, look, a map. All right, what is this called, Mark it? Yeah, yeah, Mark okay. it. This is a pick. So? Oh, that's sad. We have sky lights, bright lights, a lot of older fade textures, and a bomb. And a route that's blocked off. Interesting. Let's go around through the middle here. We have a nice block of brick in the middle of the building. Always nice to see. Some intense lighting. Some plaster. Unclipped stairs. Is this clipped? Take some clipped. Okay. Okay, I guess this is the market here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of market surrounding this area. It's kind of like just random buildings and just whatever you wanted to put in them. That's a lot of beer cans. Is that beer cans? Oh. Hmm. So what's our routing looking like? We have the side route back here. Let's go straight on. Wi-Fi is not cooperating. All right. Oh, these are unclipped. So sad. Let's check that bomb site. It's pretty it's very tiny. Yeah. I'm definitely focusing on the areas around it then. Oh, upper area. Locked down the bomb site. We got a meat grinder of a pathway on the left here. We have dust doors. Into more dust doors. So we just have a random vehicle that I can sort of see through and just shoot over. That really just doesn't go anywhere. So funk vehicle, vehicle, funk vehicle. Yeah, it is a funk vehicle, except for it's not. We have this middle route locked down, so I think CTs can get here first from the these will definitely be in this building by then, but it looks like they get locked down. Bit of a bit tough to see through the visual. Bit tough to see visually black. I am a bit off today. Uh, the routing isn't something, isn't really anything special. We have foliage in the way of this route right here. Easily dominate angles right there. The bomb site and area around itself, just little angles. I can just, that's pretty stretched. Oof. I can just. Sit around, got head angles I can abuse. There's not a whole lot for me to say about this. I feel like T's wouldn't have the greatest time trying to play this map. I think CT's could easily get the domination here. I think it's just some thought needs to be put into the. Interesting. Some thought needs to be put into the. Gameplay and visual aspects. So, not a whole lot for me to say about market. So, what's your next map? 
Next map is Exhibit by Kettle, and I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Snake Easy. Alrighty. Snakes. Maybe oh. snakes. Don't tell Indiana Jones. Oh no. I don't know why that was the first thing that <laughs> popped into my head about snakes. How are we doing, Twitch chat? Hope everything's good with you guys. We are almost one hour into our stream. Well, we've not done a lot of maps then. Yeah, we don't. Hog the, hasn't even crashed yet. Well, I mean, the game crashed, but not the stream. Yeah. We are on to map seven. Oof. We did have some nicer maps in the beginning, so I spent longer on there. Uh, we do have a gray box. This is a custom wood texture. Where? Is it a gray box? Okay, I'm not insane. Okay. Not just like mm. really nice. Maybe. Dev reflectivity. Okay, it was a great box. <laughs> so it looks like we're doing a art museum thing here. We have a random assortment of crates onto the bomb site. We have a very dark passageway through here. Got a sewer system down here. Nice dust, dust clouds, tarp. Got an event and a empty room. Guessing that's kind of the thing about this map. Seems pretty empty. Looks like there's some, there's a few features that looks like they were trying to develop, but I don't think they really got far with it. Got an interesting bomb site design here. So this whole like half of the room plus this random corner. That's pretty interesting. Honestly, the only thing that's kind of looked done is just the sewer area and then just a bit of the uh, bomb site area itself. That's squeaky. Okay. A utility window, ladder down there, choke point, went left. Then this hit room over here. An event, a tiny event. Very interesting. Uh, seems again one of those we do have some CT rotation piece to it, but uh, it doesn't look like the bomb site will really be utilized. I think this will be as far back as the gameplay actually goes, but it seems very basic in that. You have the sewer, this left area. I mean CTs will still be on the bomb site, but it's probably as far as any sort of gameplay goes. Excuse me. Bro, this is Kettle's artwork. I'm so sorry, I didn't even pop it. It's marked as Kettle. It's signed by him. Please oh, do wait, not destroy it? the artwork. I'm gonna do it, I swear to god. Oh my god, oh, I, can't, I can't look, I can't look at this <laughs> defamation. Oh no. Alright. Oh, no, oh, oh, God, okay. Oh, no. Hyper Titan's pretty good. Alright. See that next map then. That was exhibit. Okay, next map is. Oh, man. La. La. Fab. La. Fabrica. <laughs> la. Nice. La. La. Fabrica. I don't I know. I enjoy hearing you try to pronounce all of this. I mean, I can usually pronounce stuff, but not this. Ricardo Bofill bought a cement factory and revealed it to his home and workplace. When seeing this architecture, I got really inspired to build another XCO map. I rearranged the layout, but will try to get as close to the original as I can. Sco. Sco. Thank you. Sco. Scott. Give it a second. There we go. Yeah, retrieving server info taking a while. Yeah, oh, there we go. Okay. okay. We have a big boy map on our hands here. Yeah. Do be looking like kind of big. You do be looking kind of big. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. La Fabrica. Got two spawn up here. Got some. Decently tall buildings around us. 
Got a bit of dev textures for no real reason. Well, it looks like some of these, I think, are dev texture. Let's see here. We put it. Okay, yeah. So, not completely finished. Got these spawn back here. Where is our CP spawn? Got it up here. Okay, yeah. Definitely more on the Greybox side. Looks like I had something starting to go, but never could finish it. Where is our box site? Down here? Or is it up there? Who knows? I sure don't. Let's find out. Time for, time for show tripper. Take show your toggle. And it's lower. It's a lower. Alright. Oh, it's like a cubby bump site too. So if I'm a T, that was a T, so I come over here. Come out the right side here. We have like a mid area. I wonder what the timing is for that. Then we're pretty close to the bump site right away. CT is tucked in over here. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Just one-on-one -on -one, uh, entrances into a cubby bump site. That seemed pretty easy to hold, in all honesty. Take that toggle off. We have some interesting stairs right there. Oh, I see this one over here. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so they did get a bit faster than what I thought. All right, so get in here. It does look like they can hold down this, at least this little entry right pretty quickly. Then they have a very, very long mid route. And then they have a also very long right route, which seem a little bit dominant by these angles back here. Like these, these get off to this right side pretty quickly. But I think CTs also take a minute to get over here to the side too. Stephen Hawking spitting facts. How dare you call Stephen Hawking Slimek? I cannot believe it, my ears. I'm literally shaking. It is true. Uh, seven I can't KZ, what is you, this? Are you fucking making fun of me right now? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on, Peek. I'm being bullied. I mean, it's one jump. My Peek can do it. Alright, it's easy. <laughs> Peek can do it. In Hold on a second. Alright, I got some skybox. Alright. Then we have this just kind of upper area. Wait, did T's get this for no CT? Okay. So I'm seeing a lot of CT domination. If they get, if I can be a CT, I can just look all across this right area, just all the way through this middle area, all the way up here, and be above the bomb site. This seems really tough for T's to do anything with. Like they get a lot of like insanely tight angles up here. So this far right path for T's would be tough. I know they get a little bit of a head start before CT's get up here, but if I'm putting just a stairwell, I can have it like a second guy just kind of sweep through this entire area. Like this mid route is just instantly like locked down. No one's gonna go through here for the guy up here. This bomb site, CZ's already pretty much get the entire thing before T's can really get up to there. And plus now I have this upper entrance. This seems just really tough for T's to do anything with. Way too many dominating angles on the CZ side. So T's would be forced to try to take this right side, which again has the weirdest angles for them to deal with. So this upper area definitely seems to put the map out of balance. Which is it's a, kind of a shame, because you definitely had something going for a bit on the uh, art side of things. Really curious to see what it would what it would be like when it finished. What was the theme again? Uh, I think it's like a modern estate, maybe? Some, something like that? Modern estate. Uh, wait. Um, no, wait, sorry, I was looking at the wrong map. The Somebody system. bought a cement factory and rebuilt it into his home and workplace. So it Apparently it's based off of a real place. Okay. I was gonna say, some of the architecture seemed a little bit unique, so I was wondering if you got a reference for it. So. Ricardo Boville. Ricardo Boville. Yes. Hmm. Alright. So I definitely think with the upper area, your gameplay gets thrown out of whack. So. And being a great box, obviously. Some potential here. Just, definitely just need some slight 
gameplay adjustments. And when I mean slide, I mean this Terra area it needs to be reworked. And but I'll I'll be really curious to see what it looks like when it finished uh, visually. So that's all I got to say on the Fabrica. Let's take a look at our next map. All right, this next map is guard by I don't I don't know how his name is pronounced. I think it's Polemon maybe. He made a uh, feast manor. Uh, uh, another one map. that I can't remember off the top of my head. Let me look. Feast manor. Uh, oh no, that's yeah okay. Lord William was invited to the opening of the new Riverside restaurant in this Czech city. Terrorists are planning to destroy the beer delivery in order to spoil a nice evening with friends. <gasps> Damn. 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 <laughs> yeah, that would be very, very inconvenient. Imagine, imagine hearing about that, like, yeah, so, um, you can't get your beer because it was, ex someone blew it up. <laughs> By the way, T-Rexer has been AFK for like three maps now, if you haven't noticed. I have not. I thought he said at least one thing, but... No, <laughs> he's been gone for a little bit. All right. Well, he's looking the maps, isn't he? Is he just like deaf or something? I don't know. No, he went to AFK. Okay. Oh yeah, the QR code, I think. Oh, it's probably been peak. It's been talking. Okay. All right. So this Excuse is. Me, can you not tell them apart? All right. Okay. Listen, I don't get to see peak that much in voice chat. Neither do I do with T Rex. So it is tough for me to tell. I was looking at that. Five of us know Brian. Someone's dot one out here. All right, this is guard by someone. Very Pull nice. lemon. Pull lemon. Uh, Pull lemon. Nice... Thank you, Slamic. <laughs> got a nice outer <laughs> detail area here. Let's see, bump site. So we definitely have a larger map now. Oh, we got a nice truck area. This is pretty interesting. This just okay. I think it's just the model he tore at the sides, had a little tarp put on there. And we have, I guess, this is the uh, this is the beer that they're blowing up. They have a left and right route. Then, hmm, what the okay, I can go up the stairs too. Okay, so. This would still meet up to right around here. I got a nice sniper spot right up here. We have a left right up here. Then we do have a nice little area up here for teased down their angles. A lot of development on this red over here, especially. Uh, I do like to see some timings though, so I need a T and a CT. Uh, CT, yes, I'll kill myself. This far left <laughs> route. Let's see if I got spray. So far left for uh, T, yeah. far right for CT. Go on your okay. own timing. Uh, Alright, go on 10. Alright, right in here. So, time has been thought out pretty well. So, you can't exactly bull rush this. You need to use themselves, we actually need to use utility or clear it out pretty well. So, CTs can actually come up to the bomb site, have this. So, they have this area to themselves, but if they lose the choke point up here or just give it to the T's, they would actually come up and come out here, check their angles. They do get a little bit of a help right up here. A little bit of a headshot thing, but I don't think it'd be too much of an issue. I got the side route into the bomb site. I have that upper area, but luckily it doesn't, or thankfully it doesn't look over the uh, entire bomb site. So it's very large. I think it's very thought out to where people can plant. So I can't plant on any of the crates. Plant inside the truck too. 
That's interesting. So you got a safe spot right here. And I believe it is pretty well blinkable. Alright. Got the charts too. So definitely some thought put into the bomb site design. Do have a rotation piece around here. It's pretty quick. Although I do believe a lot more of the action will be taking place on the bomb site, so. CTs won't have a lot of places to be, so you'll probably expect them, if they fall all the way back here, to plant, play some of these uh, back walls. Then you have this right route. Oh, we got a little. Oh, I got a hallway through here. Where's this come out? Okay, there's a ladder there. Didn't even notice that. You got a lot of pieces that kind of just rotate between this kind of area right here. So that's interesting. So T's get a lot of like help to rotate out. So they can be pretty uh, fluid in their movements around this map. But CTs do seem to have a lot of options too. So I don't think anything's overpowered because at the end of the day, you do have only really three areas to worry about. They, they do get a lot of cover. Nothing is overpowering the other. Looks like there are two plants. back to get a few areas for themselves even if they on the post plant I'm liking the layout of this map interesting All right. give me a thought stream peel people peels um, me sorry on um, what what are your thoughts? I, Give me some I have I I have played this map and I do think it's pretty solid. Um, yeah, I don't know. I agree. Um, there's some I think there's some weird angles, but overall, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm liking the choke points. I think you could tell where the right one was too. Right about here, it looks like. I like the QR code to this. <laughs> I saw that too. Yeah. I think every angle has its positives and negatives. This one though can does look like it can sweep a lot of the bomb site, but I still think there's a decent amount of back area here. I don't know how I feel about this upper area, because like CTs they can get up here pretty fast for the initial choke points, but if they lose it then they're kind of stuck to going back here. They can either play the close game or they have to just kind of rotate into this section right here, or they have to play further back for the longer game. They're just making sure they don't get into the bomb site. They don't give up that side route into the bomb site. A lot of wall bangs are good. I don't know how I feel about that area. Like, T's do have to commit down to it, but I mean, they don't get to see a lot of the bomb site either. They do can they can lock down this area down here too. And if they do have a split right here on the left side, then you can lock down this kind of corridor right here too. Not exactly sure how I feel about it, but it has it does look like it has been balanced in a way. It has the least amount of side onto the bump site, so I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem. Still can play onto the bump site too. We don't get to see that on a lot of maps. Where the bump site's coverage is actually utilized. You see the area around it gets played a lot, but I think a lot of the coverage <laughs> can be pretty well used, so I think a lot Absolutely. of good design has been put into this bump site area and overall on the uh, map. <laughs> so I'm really liking the gameplay design of it. Visually looks really good in some areas. I don't think it's overly complicated, but I don't think it really needs to be too. I think the honestly, I think this is one of those maps where those visuals complement the gameplay more. I think it's just a really well designed map. So, So with such compliments for uh, its gameplay, it would definitely be a map that I will be looking at playtesting. <laughs> Any final thoughts here, people? Fun map. Yes. Yeah, I never called it fun. Are you influencing my judging? <laughs> it's clear. If anything, I'm making it harder for myself. Hmm. By calling other maps fun. True. You have a lot of darker 
color textures, but I don't think this ability is going to be an issue. You do have the red crates. Lighting looks good overall. I think, yeah, just a lot of thought's been put into this map. Very well done. Looks like your past works have shown in this map too. Have shown to uh, uphold. So, that's what I've got to say about this. That was guard. Alright, what's your next map? Alright, our next map is combat. According to the description. Uh, Separatists are going yeah. to blow up a factory. That's, that's the description. Short and sweet. Thank you. <laughs> There's only two spawns, I'll switch to spectate. Chief never told me what to drink, I'm going to die of dehydration. You should drink what would be in my fridge. If I had to choose something, it would be... Uh... That was weird. Controlling TT. Let's see, we have water, 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 and water. I put on weight during quarantine, I'm trying to lose it, taking all soda out. So I'm on a healthy diet now. Soda bad. Soda bad. That is, that Quiet. is the thing yet. Let this be made by Soda Gang. <laughs> Hydro homies, baby. Alright, so. Oh, this is I like Soda. The growth. I don't like you, so, you know. Wow, how can you say <laughs> this? <laughs> Alright, combat. Was there any uh, backstory to this map? Any uh, extra uh, workshops? Separatists separatist, separatist are going to blow up a factory. Okay. That's the entire workshop description. Yes. One way door, red on one side, green on the other. But I'm assuming that's the lighting. Alright, looks like a pretty fast paced map, but this buy zone area seems pretty far back. Alright, seeing a lot of the typical props we've seen a lot of. Where's this one from? Or is this just like a decal on a texture? Great. That's. That, I mean, I think that's it's from an office street. painting. What? what? No, I think he meant the crate. <laughs> I think it's from, uh, it's from Counter Strike. I don't know. I think it's from Counter Strike. I don't know where though. Counter Strike one point seven. <laughs> oh no! Counter Strike one point seven. All right. That, please, please look. That was loud. definitely an office painting. Sure. Please, Sonic. Hi, I wonder if you guys have already gone through Pyro. I don't think we've played a map called that yet. No, we haven't. Alright, we have Sonic, not played Pyro. Go boot you. Oh my god, uh, it's on this too. Naked. Very tight little bomb site. Uh, oh. Pyro's not here. Got this little upper area. Seems pretty interesting. Lighting and visuals could use some work. Some more uh, consistency on what props you're using because it looks like you just kind of threw a bit of everything out. Uh, you got some focus on your visuals, like on your outer detail, like a little house there, here and there. You got some, you got your factory kind of sitting in the back there. Then we got like bricks and burn a door, then crates, truck, then a lot of the typical hero props just kind of everywhere. So, not a lot of consistency on what you're going for around the area that isn't just the bomb site itself, or the uh, factory area itself. Now, short and sweet map, a lot of close range, probably our longest range right here. Very quick matches, I, uh, I don't have else, a lot of else to say about this one. This was combat, alright. Next map. Our next map is Vaccine by Dutch Crazy Gamer. Welcome to Vaccine, a secret laboratory owned by a company called Devak Industries, somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. A group of terrorists try to attack this facility to destroy the vaccine for the COVID-19 virus. Can you stop them in time before they deploy their bombs? Political map. We don't Thank accept you. politics here. Very, very, uh, How's that political? Something something COVID, something something. Okay. <laughs> it's, a it's a joke. It's a joke. Laugh at my jokes. Oh, Awful I joke. Cheaters just have. That's it. Minus five Polish points on on Orion. Oh they no. COVID and terrorism. It's very political. I played the heck out of this map. Yeah, I forgot about this. I didn't realize they uh they put art to it. We are good. All right. Oh, 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 oh,
All right, that was my fourth page. Going for five, starting off vaccine. Fastest or most. Check the Twitch chat real quick. Uh, are you going to get through all maps in two streams or will there be a third? We're going to do as many as possible as we can today. There might be a third one. I'll You'll pretty much know by the end of it. And if this is the final one, I'll probably post something by the end of the stream. That will let people know that this was the last stream. If not, then I'll let people know that there will be a third one. Which I'm not sure... I can't believe this green slime is the vaccine. <laughs> Should know slime mech. Alright, so the vaccine. He is right, you know. I didn't even... Uh, Little tense on the uh, lighting here. It's mass production of the vaccine. I don't think... Like, like, that's windows. actually not... Hmm. Can we see something? Where's this from? Isn't this from somewhere? Sub Zero. It was the Sub Zero. I'm thinking of another map too. I was thinking of like Dead Knife's map. Uh, but also could have been taken from Sub Zero, so I don't know. Submerged. Submerged. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I think it was. Okay. Uh, A lot of open area around the bomb sites. I don't think. I mean, you have some cover around it, but it looks like it can be easily swept with the. Uh... Well, let's see where where the angle is at. From the CT, come out here. So while it does block that area, Ooh. mostly you can sweep it from here. What's our right to right here? A little bit tense on the lighting in some areas. And pretty barren in the hallways too. They do have visuals, you have like a tiny bit of detail, but it just seems barren. Shame. Collisions on the railings. Hate to see it. Alright. Let's see T-spawn. At T-spawn, we have a skybox. And a railing platform out here. Oh, is this supposed to be water? That's hard to tell. <laughs> Alright. That looks a little bit interesting. Can't tell if the water was done weirdly or is it just because of the skybox. I think it's just because of the skybox. Yeah. So the I wonder what it says. I wonder what it says backwards. What does industry spell back? If only, the... <laughs> if only science had progressed to where we could look at words backwards. <laughs> please, science, please figure it out. So you tell the options, nice verticality, a little bit weird on the windows there, but... Uh, can CTs even come up here? Can they charge that fast? The spawns seem pretty distant from the uh, actual bump set area itself. I might want to test one of the choke points. Let's see, which route would be faster? I'm guessing right to left over here. Then... Out here. Okay, I need timings. CT, T, go, 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 go. Uh, I'm at T where you want us to go. All right, for T's, I want you to go right and then left toward the middle. I need a CT that just goes left and just charges up these stairs straight on. Uh, you want to head towards the bomb site? Is that the plan? Basically, for the bomb site, yeah. Uh, okay. for the for the guy over here who's on the platforms, yeah, you're just going up this right route, going toward the middle, then go down the yep. right stairs if you still have time. Okay. Alright, go on your yeah, own you... account. Alright, let's go at 40. Ward on. Okay. Were you able, uh, Samic, were you able to see him uh, before you came out or after you came out? Like, could you hold this angle right here when you're coming up the stairs before you came out? I don't. Hmm, I don't think he could. I think there's a, enough time. Uh, I think because when I was like about here, I saw him. Not like, sure. Stairs. Okay, so I'll so take. I think, I think he was still like back there or so when I was actually coming out. Okay, so I'm going to say that he's do get a second just to check that they don't get swarmed by any CTs, but you can play the closer game, it looks like, since you do have blind spots under here. The bump side itself doesn't feel very comfortable to hold, honestly. 
it does seem like the routing is the more favorable uh, gameplay. But well, I think it's just barren, honestly. Like, I want to stay more in the bomb center because this looks like the kind of cooler area, even with it being still feeling a little empty and open. This is gonna feel like the more of the area you want to fight for gameplay. I feel like some more detailing could have gone into this map. Because you definitely have your utility options, definitely got your angles. Just seems like the closer range for the routes and then the uh, longer range for the middle. So I think just some lighting fixes, some more visual pleasing stuff. And this probably could have been uh, a very pleasing map to play on. Yeah, they random sink here too. Hmm. Not too much else to say about this. Alright, this was Vaccine. Who's mm -hmm. the spy again? Dutch Crazy Gamer. Dutch Crazy Gamer, okay. Slamic is the vaccine. Yes, Slamic is the vaccine. Mm -hmm. It's true. How did Dutch Crazy Gamer invent the COVID vaccine before anyone else? Uh, good question. It's all a conspiracy. Alright, what's our next map? Next map is Most Star by Almas and Thomas, who both worked on Marine, I believe. Okay. Most Star is a wingman map made for the 2020 Source Engine Wingman Contest. Yeah, that's the whole that's <laughs> Thank you. Also, this map might take a second to download. It's, I think it's the biggest map in the contest. Oh, um, right. Also, um, I will say last time, this crashed the server three times. Um, I couldn't load it. Oh, boy. All, All right. right. Yeah, that, that's with workshop compression. I think it's about 550 or 600 uncompressed. Minus Polish points, SMH. Polish points. Three Polish. <laughs> oh, you think it's going to go? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm surprised. Yeah, I think my, it was because. Uh, I was going to pop up for a second there. I think it was because the server was full, and I think we fixed that, so... Uh, oh no, we we're at 29 good. viewers. Don't let it hit 30, otherwise I'm going to start having issues. <laughs> I start manually turning off people's internet oh, yeah. so they can't watch the stream. Yeah, you're, you're getting banned, you're getting banned. All right. How are we doing oh, in the no. chat? Everyone doing good? We're about... Just about to hit 1 hour 30 minutes of the stream. Hmm. Yeah, because he's calling you out on my stream right now, Skrinsky. What did he say? He says Skrinsky smells. What the fuck? Actually, How he could said Skrinsky smells because there's two e's. Oh yeah, it's a funny, funny meme. Funny meme joke. Funny. Mm -hmm. All right, this will be um, most star. Yep. No crashes. Love to see it. Always like when maps don't crash your game. True. That's definitely a positive point, I would say. Alright, so our only info was just, it's a map created for the contest. Yep. You sure do be like that? Alright. I believe I was looking it up, and this is based off of a town in Bosnia. Uh, Ooh, Bosnia. Which is famous for its bridge, I guess. Is there a bridge on this map? Uh, it's outside the map. Good enough. We have a center that tower is, in... That is painted. all I know. With paint or uh, stained glass that features a chicken. Very nice. There's a bridge. Yeah, older. Uh, what's that castle town? What am I looking for? Just older, like stone town area. Yeah, some nice features in the background here. I just. Oh, I can just fall off. Uh, uh, you do die there. Okay. I'm pretty oh, sure I'm still, okay, we have god mode on, but okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I, I had to go mod on, but the uh, damage indicator didn't pop up for a second there. Ah, uh, gotcha. Um, yeah. Alright. Where is our bump site? Is it just this tiny little area? Okay, I feel like it could have been expanded a little bit bigger. Got this giant courtyard. Probably could use more, to, more of it. Buyers basically planting around a tower. CTs come up here, come out this little area. Could be used for playing around the bomb site too. Little cubby area right here, got a crate. Got this upper area. Is it a two lane map? It looks like. 
So pretty nice. I would, I would take three. Very nice feature. All right. Over here, we see some sort of map I've never recognized before. Probably never even got up at the workshop. All right. Marine. Yeah, I, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Sumik is unfortunately <laughs> not cultured and has missed the joke. Please have, please have comedy culture, please. You have missed the joke, making you tonight's biggest loser. <laughs> Unfortunate. So, looks like... Oh, wait, there's a third right over here. Okay. Oops. Come out here, <laughs> sweep a lot of the bomb site too. I'm assuming... This seems... This does seem pretty quickly. Quick, uh... Come out here, can easily toss utility over, so it's a very fast pace regarding its utility. But the route takes a second longer to develop, so that's pretty interesting. But this just feels a lot like No Man's Land. You do get that quick plant too, though. So you probably just smoke get this right area off, make sure no CTs kind of see on the left and back area. If you do plant, you probably might get someone back here who charges, so. Uh, you definitely can use the bomb site, just probably this only side of it, really. Because at that point, you don't have many places to left to check. So if you take this one route, then you have this back area, then this upper area. If you go down this kind of like tight little area right here, you can easily sweep across it. It is a bit wacky. Again, not too much of a fan of ladders. I'm assuming T's can get here quick enough, whereas these don't aren't able to like charge down here. Which looks to be the case. So you can easily hold down this right side to think smokes. Which probably can only throw them closer. It's a bit hard to go down such a narrow little corridor, but I guess it's looking like the gameplay is focused on choke points on these routes, and then they can try a little bit of a sneaky thing to put smoke out and try to get plant down. So there's not a lot of hold. Not a whole lot of developmental gameplay here, but it does seem like it works pretty well. Nice pleasing aesthetic to it, nice little visuals all around. So, I'd say it's overall a pretty decent map. I just would like something extra just on the bombsite area itself. Could either be bigger. Yeah. Oof. A little bit of a weird angle there. Probably don't want headshot angles on. Going across this entire route. Yeah, you got your cubbies and everything, but you probably want something that both teams could use. Because again, once you have the bomb planted, T's are probably not going to be anywhere near the bomb site area. They're going back into their own routes that they came out from. Let me walk down the other routes that it's came from. So you probably want to see a little bit more developmental gameplay from in around the bomb site. For both sides to use. This map should get hired to work on COD Modern Warfare. It looks like he knows what he's doing. I think everyone should be hired to work on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's a giant splurge fest of creators. Alright. That was... Mostar. <laughs> Any thoughts? This is a town in Bosnia. You can tell by the Bosnian flag. <laughs> I personally like the stained chickens. That's all. Breaks. I was I was about to say I think the stained chickens are very nice. So what Inferno Tower is in it, or is it a new one? Whatever. Just as it is, I got some tower, I believe. Breaks, oh, breaks, right. breaks. I think okay. so. All right. Set up the next map. All right, our next map is Eiffel. Chief, what do you think it is? Uh, is it taking place on the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas? De underscore Eiffel is wingman map set underneath the Eiffel Tower. One bomb site, designed for wingman game mode but can be played in Classic 2. No, but that was a, bit, you. That, that's a cool idea for map chief on top of the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. Oh yeah. Someone quick steal that idea? Done. Will not be finished in five years. Amazing. Uh, hydration. Hydration. Yeah, I haven't played any of the COD games recently. 
Any of them have been on my Xbox where I actually have storage on there because I have no storage on my computer. Uh, big set time. All right. Wi Fi dipping again a little bit. All right. Eiffel. Uh, your buy zones are not marked. And it looks like one of the older cell raiders. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay, we can uh, surf on the Eiffel Tower. Say. Never thought I'd say that. Wow, this is wide open. Holy. Okay, where can someone indicate to spawn for me? Uh, it's over here, I believe. I think it's in this park right here. Okay. I'm all the way over here. I think it's oh. right here. Okay, this Show is triggers this. toggle. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's. I believe CTs were over here. Yeah, okay, so. Huge map in terms of open space. A lot of, I mean, a lot of visual angle problems too. Do not stab the judge. Stabbing the judge is bad. I can't believe you just did this. Another five <laughs> points coming up, Orion. Oh no, Polish, please. I need the Polish points. Yeah, it looks like a lot of just like small visual stuff can be the problem with such a wide open map. Just disregarding the long angles, like. How how long can we get here? Like this is a little bit <laughs> ridiculous. It'd be spawn to spawn. Yeah, I'm getting this a little bit of frame rate drop too. I'm assuming others are getting it. Uh, where? It's not just bad. It's just a little bit. It's, it's, yes, it's not awful. Yeah. A little low maybe, but yeah. And in the background we have something. <laughs> Alright, so this is basically just op 2v2. <laughs> Where's the bomb site? I haven't even checked that yet. It's over here. It's like, uh, it's like right here. You have the biggest open space of any wingman map we've checked, and this is your bomb site. Ah, it's actually a bit bigger than I give credit for. It. Okay. I just, I. <laughs> Just the wide open nature of this entire map just seems way wacky. Way wacky. <laughs> Visual screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is screaming. I almost forgot about that. I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> Maps compensating for the site. Oh, ho, ho, sex joke. Oh. Man, oh, amazing oh, beat. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's probably going to be some problem. fun to this. Just like, there's a, there's a fun to it, having just such a wide open map and opting among air angles, because God knows no one is buying SMGs or shotguns on this map. Well, I mean, yeah, you can stay closer to those left routes, and then you can probably screw someone off guard, but chances are you're n almost never going to buy anything like that. You, know, it's, it's hops for days, boys. I mean, the tower itself looks cool, even though it's like this. What's the color of the Eiffel? It's like just regular, like. It's. Steel gray. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, I think it's like steel gray. Okay. Then we got orange. I'll look up pictures. I feel like that would be something that everyone. Oh uh, no! Actually, actually, it is more like yellowish. It is yellow. Okay. Slightly. So yeah, I didn't like. You think everyone knows about the Eiffel Tower, but like I never, I haven't seen pictures of it in forever, so I can't tell. Like. So it's yellow. Color. Okay. <laughs> I've messaged you an image, Chief. Oh, an image. I love images. Most Don't of we all? The well-known road that goes straight into the building. Wow, this is a cool JPEG. There we are. Okay. And that is the kind of yellow. Okay. This seems a little bit more orange, though, but I can definitely see that they're going the right track there. So, I mean, okay, to be fair, to give this guy credit, like... I believe the area around the Apple Tower itself. Again, haven't seen pictures of it and around it for ever, but you probably have to go cheap out and do that, that construction stuff. So, again, he's trying to like put cover here and there. You got the steel beams, got police cars, kind of got this like stood up building right here. Got the, uh, oh, I forget what it's called. Uh, you see these on, I think, uh, where'd it go? Got the little nature areas around it. So, it's hard to have something like this, like, can't do a lot, like you have the Apple Tower, right? But around it, 
you can't really make it a competitive map, so. I appreciate the effort of it. Again, I kind of have comparisons to like the uh, Forget map. Like, they suit true to their theme pretty well, it's just like, you're kind of stuck, you're limited with what you can do, so. I feel like in its own sense, this map could be pretty fun with its longer angles, and it could be very chaotic, but, you know, when you're thinking about a competition, I know it won't be as good as some other ones, but I still think this could be a pretty fun map. You can surf on the legs. I know. Surfing the Eiffel Tower, baby. Still a nice little tree to see, so. I'm glad I got to see this at least. Alright, this was Eiffel. I blew double D by Eiffel 65. I fell uh, down. Oh, got to write down Eiffel for score. Where'd my fourth page go? There it is. Fourth page is fucking dead. I've got to write down my asterisk for one of these maps. Okay, Eiffel, give me some there. <laughs> give me some love, give me, give me, give me some love. Uh -oh. Okay, how about the next map? Our next map is Aurora by Wynel and Kubater and maybe I Twins did something, I don't know. I think you can buy it. As a Aurora is a wingman map set in and around an Arctic research facility under the Northern Lights. The terrorist's objective is to destroy a container full of frozen samples gathered from the ice slowly melting below that is waiting for shipment. Will they suck? <laughs> That's just <laughs> He got hit with the uh, upload bug there. Thank you. And uh, so it's the description says, "Will they suck?" Ah, I see. Okay. <laughs> Will they? I, I'm glad. That it just ends right there. It's Will with they two, suck? With two C's too. That's. Will they suck? <laughs> Will they succeed? Uh, actually, the word "succeed" is just "Will they suck?" Yeah. <laughs> Will they suck? All right, Aurora. Aurora. It is my last map. Sad. Oh, I have to sad. go. Understandable. Gonna so, I will miss your text to speech reading the workshop entry. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. Oh. Did you jump in the water? I, I jumped in the ice. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Sorry. My bad. Well, you think I'd be a fool to jump in the water? I didn't know what you did. Because you're damn right I would. Okay. Alright. Comedy in three. Alright. Uh, Aurora. Oh, almost fell. Let me just make sure. Alright. Aurora. Oh, good stuff. Oh. <laughs> All right. I believe they're using frostbite assets, aren't they? At least for the uh, skybox. No, not frostbite. Oh, custom? No, did I say frostbite. Uh, uh, ice, ice, uh, uh, FM Po and uh, Sub Zero. There we go. <laughs> it's Sub Zero. Yeah. <laughs> frostbite, very good map. Speaking of frostbite, please download frostbite and give it a thumbs up. Very cool, danger zone map. Please valve add it to the game. Thanks. Um, also, Arctic was better. What the fuck? <laughs> thought we were friends, Peak. Uh, peace was never an option. <laughs> peak was never an option. Oh my god. We're going to Brazil. Oh no. Very nice mountains with the uh, skybox. That's some, uh. Oh, it's probably because the uh, transition into the skybox. It's always a tough thing to do with water. I never really ever mess with it. I've tried it like a few times, but you definitely have some weird visual stuff like that for your water. All right, come out here. Pretty wide open area here. A few areas to check there. Let's take a look at that bomb site. Definitely a closer quarters one, but it has a decent size to it. And for different areas. It does seem decently fast paced. Here. Oh. A little thrown off by the light. All right. Did I seriously just get. I can seriously just come up here just to go nowhere. Okay. 
and then I can just come back around here. I don't think I don't. Is this, are they just trying to like, okay. Oh no, I'm terrible at boosting, no. Alright. <laughs> we'll get this. Are you going on the first jump? I'll go on the second jump, second jump. Okay. Oh, and well. the Wi Fi decided to shoot this up. Alright, 160 ping. Love to see it. Alright, I know it's boostable unless. I'm just watching myself fail. Okay. Imagine watching me stream just to fail at boosting. Alright. <laughs> this is what I'm here for. Just stand next to the wall. Please do not criticize my thought process. I cannot believe this. Alright. Let's stand next to a wall. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Maybe we'll probably want to check timings for that right route, but. Yeah, maybe both actually. Again, this seems like a bit of a faster. Mm. Nah, I think these have a lot longer to come up here, so. I guess the T's can rotate pretty quickly in and out to here. What? Okay. Okay. So, okay. someone already said something and then got cut. I, was, I assume no. you're trying to talk to a stream. Yeah, I am. Okay. I, I keep trying to mute <laughs> myself when I talk to my stream. I'm giving my own opinion. That's what that. I figured. Only judges are allowed opinions. Mm, that's exactly. not how opinions work, B. No. That's why they're called judges. <laughs> Damn shit, you got me. So you have a pretty quick option right here. Easily smoke the bomb site. Easily come in and out of this area right here. It might be a bit of a loopy loop situation. Yeah. This could be. Yeah. Cool. Go around the rosy, whatever. Probably don't need both of these entrances, to be honest. Let's check real quick. Come through here, what's your CT options? Come out of the store, can they rotate out quickly? Yeah, I feel like they can, CTs can rotate out pretty quickly out here. Unless, you can probably just remove one of these entrances, to be honest. I'd probably do this one right here. Because you're, actually, you're having yeah, you're having a double situation. Because you, you can do the kind of the same thing. If you're you play around with your opponent, the uh, post plants. Because it does look like you're using your bomb site pretty well. You have your angles and places to plant forward, post plant. So I'd probably recommend getting rid of this one right here. pretty fluid for CTs because you do have your T route so you can uh, rotate in, in and out pretty quickly so it'd be nice to have CTs give them to you too. Okay good night everyone. Good night. Good night. Oh you can actually come out here too. So there actually is a lot of rotating pieces around the uh, pump set area. Hmm. Could be a bit too much. Again, I think just like closing off one of these entrances and then it is a little tight of a bomb set area, but you do look like you do have some good, uh, you have put a thought into where to plant for such a thing. Overall, it's visually very nice. Again, using more of the uh, new assets, but you're giving its own kind of theme to it. Again, Aurora, uh, looks like a kind of like base on a Arctic area. I think you're using it very well, very nicely. Fun fact, the original name for the map was Arctic. Ooh, okay. Arctic. Oh, that's the uh, same name for Michael's Danger Zone, wasn't it? I think that's why I changed it. Yeah. Ah, I see. Shake my head, just like, downskill the Michael's map by 116. Submit as a contest map. Brilliant. Again, I think the map it might be just a little bit too much, just like rotating in and out, just like go through everything so quickly. Oop, as I just pump that rail, okay. And my Wi-Fi, precisely die. I feel like honestly what you could probably do is with such a like fast moving map, I feel like you can utilize the bomb site. But just with such fast movements all around, I feel like it's maybe just too easy. Like it'll still come down to a 2v2 deathmatch. You know, if the bomb gets planted pretty easily, you cannot can't really use that. Uh, can't really waste that timeout. Can't really time out the map. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, can't really try to like wait out the bomb timer or whatever. The action's fast paced. I don't think that's a bad thing. 
I think maybe just a little bit too much on the rotation piece. Oh, I have this up area too, yeah. Yeah, just so much around the bottom side. There's so much action that can go on outside. Two entrances to the right, one down there, one over on this left area back here. Got the two piece over here. You can get this uh, right if you want the choke point over here. I think there's just a little bit too much going on. I feel like the routing can be simplified just a little bit because I think your fast piece action can work out pretty well. Just maybe just a little bit simplified on rotation piece. But this will probably be something we'll play. We'll play this. Just to see, because I am curious. So, overall, very nice done. Very well done on the visual side of things. Just gonna check. Looks like you got it figured out. Yeah, okay. Hello, yeah. Kale. Hello, gamers. Oh, it's Kale. Kale. Kale fries. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Don't make me hungry. I ordered a, a ham cheeseburger last night after we came at um, Game Mart. Mm -hmm. Overall, very well done visually. Very, I still think gameplay is still very good. Should probably have to slow down the pace of it a little bit. But something we'll probably play first. Alright, get to the next map. All right, our next map is uh, Hanoi by uh, quoting. I almost said Chief. Do you know where Hanoi is, Chief? Is a little quiz. Is it in Hanoi? Yeah, it's a city. Do you know where it is? <laughs> Sounds like a China, South Korea, or Japan area. You were close. It's uh, it's Vietnam. It almost got all the Asian countries. <laughs> I don't think so, but. That's why I'm saying, uh, I'm saying this is a first impression. This is just my first impression. It seems just like a little bit too fluid, why not? That's why I want I do want to play test the map. I do want to see if I'm right about it. Like I'm not this is, won't be a thing where it's like, oh it's it's way too fluid, way too much rotation, boom. That's the last look I ever look at the map. That's why I do want to play test the map. So if I am wrong about that, then I know what, what will happen. I'll have playtester feedback. I'll be part of this playtest. So I don't wanna I'm not telling you that this is how I think the map is after looking at it for like eight minutes. So, I do want to see what happens and it plays this. Again, first impressions. So, hope you're not too offended. All right, Hanoi by quoting you said? Mm-hmm. All right. Those trees do be green, fading green. Ah, uh, skybox, hate to see it. A pretty large bump set area. Got lots of nice little eye candy all around. And a bit barren in some of these buildings. In comparison. So you just rotate out there. Ooh. Now, what does this remind me of? This reminds me of uh, the canal's window. You can just overlook the entire bomb site. You can't go through the window, per se. Just a little camp piece and easily just rotate out. Uh, <laughs> supposed to be like a. That was like a treasure chest for a second there. Interesting. A treasure chest? Oh, Somebody say maps of the treasure chest? Probably a water tank. They do be storing it in that wood. It must be a wood tank. Yes. A wood tank made for wood. They're putting, yeah, they're putting wood in the wood. How about that? A uh, few skybox issues all across the map. Oh. Oh, Wi Fi issues. No. Okay. Uh, lots of little void peaks all around. And some areas are just a little bit better. Your exteriors look very nice regardless, it just seems like your indoor areas seem a little bit under-detailed. Let me get to a better designed kitchen area. It's very nice to look out in the exterior, it looks like a lot of thoughts put into this. So let's look at that. Let's look at the okay. Uh, 
a longer route right here. It's a bit dark on the side, but maybe not too much of an issue there. Where's the spawn? All the way back here. Not to the right. Hug this left wall, looks like, to avoid it. You should smoke it. Wait. Wait, this is T-spawn? I have that right? This is T-spawn back here? Let me check. Uh, this is CT spawn where I am. Okay. Is this you? No, yeah, I'm, I'm on the complete other side. All right, so that's T spawn. Yeah, that is something else. So they just get a really quick, easy plant with just like utilization of one smoke to cover that bigger area. I assume it's easily walled in. No? Alright, looks like the map just gives T's a very easy option to plant. And the area to defend it isn't seem too bad either. It looks like T's do have some options to defend. Because as a CT, you're gonna have to suddenly cover a lot of ground. Because it looks like you're playing out here more. You got the corner right here, you got this tree planter right here. You got a lot of little areas covered, but single smoke could probably take that out. I'll probably have to test timings real quick. Just to make sure. Alright, I'm at CT. I miss CT spawn. Gotta get AT. Oh, I can. Alright, where do uh, you want me to go? Let's test. Hmm. Let's test this right route first. So, if you see my bullet spray. You want me to. You want me to wait. So, it'll be, it'll be right route oh, for so, CT. So, you want me to go through the building? Yeah, yeah. Like down here? Okay. And it'll be, it'll, cool. it'll be left for T's, right for CT's. I gotcha, okay. I gotcha. Alright, uh, let's go in. Uh, let's just go in three, two, one, go. There. I got all the way like up here before oh, you cross. Okay, so looks like have a little bit of utilization of some part of cover, but CTs can get up further than what I first thought, so. Now I want to test this mid, mid building real quick, so back to your spawn. Okay, you, want to, you, want to, you want me to go up? Uh, like to the wait, window, or is that what you were saying, or what do you want me to do? Yeah, you, you did find the first time. I want to see where you can go. So yeah, just cut through this building, right through the middle of this building. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. And for T's, you'll probably just, yeah, go through the mid building right up here. So up the stairs and through the middle. So I'm going to go back to, I don't know if you're there or not. Sorry, yeah. Uh, let me go back. I'll just die. Okay. You said go up the right in the building and then go like into the mid thing. Like towards the bomb side of the building? Yeah, I think so. so okay. Yeah, through here. We're just going out to the middle until you see each other, so right to this middle area where the bomb site is. So go on your own count. All right, cool. Three, two, one, go. You went the wrong way. You went the wrong way. Oh, did I? Yeah, you're talking about here. My bad. <laughs> okay. Go again. Yeah, oh, yeah, go. I can, tell. I can kind of tell where that timing is now, but. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna figure out if it's better to run diagonal in here. I think it is. There, I got like right here. Okay, so you can't kind of play this close game. You can't get up too far. So I'd say probably right around where the border to bump site is, where CTs really can play the hardest up front. So you can definitely dominate the longer game on this left side. You can play a shorter game against this bump site. So looks like a lot of the control still can be on the uh, CT side. But you still can, I think, risk a quick plant. Really don't like the upper window area. There's a reason why they removed it at Canals. Uh, just my volume, please. What's up, Sovenart? Sorry. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think he pressed me quick. Alright. A lot of polish er errors and such. I think this map just had like an extra hour just to like get bugs found out because a lot of skybox peaks, a lot of little clipping errors. Uh, Z fighting. Can't tell get through the Not windows. Z fighting. He just needs a little bit more time. And detailing wise, looks pretty good. I think it looks very good in the outside areas. I think you just need a little bit of love on your interiors. Probably want to play test this. So. Oh, I just want to see how the bomb site really plays because I can't tell very well. TT's definitely have the closer up advantage, but it looks like T's do have to play harder on their routes. They have to win the routes and they have to get this in giant open area, which can seem to be a mess, so looks like TT's are kind of favored in this way. Especially with that. So, 
That was Hanoi. Yes. Thank you, Road. Have a good night. <laughs> Where are we on the map? We on the map. Hello, Kale. I didn't know you were here. Hello. Damn. Rip Kale. No, I know you were in White Tower. I didn't know you were in the in the game. <laughs> mm. Alright, you ready for the next map? Okay, yep. Chief, save some face. I am saying it's your face. You were right on my face. I said it. Alright. Our next map is Offshore. I think his name is pronounced Coco Pelli, or, you know, Coco Pelli, or Coco Pelli. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. But it's Offshore. What do you think it is, Chief? Is it an oil rig? It is an oil rig. Ooh, nice. My other guess was a boat, and that was about it. Or like what a is an oil? Rig. What is an oil rig but a stationary boat? Yeah, you, you have a point. <laughs> it's true. He's right, you know. Boats can be stationary. So. But the waves will always be moving them. Even just a bit. Alright, what was this called? Offshore? Mm-hmm. Alright. Who was it by again? Coco Pelli? Coco Pelli, alright. Bumps out right into Ooh, wow, that's a that's an interesting layout. Okay, got a lot of stuff to look at. Go so rotate right back up back here. Oh boy, this might take me a minute to figure out this layout. If you ever get into more of the quality maps, I wanted to see that too. Like, you could every now and then there would be that good map during our first day stream. So like, okay, a lot of the early submissions. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting to like the later submissions. A lot of these quality maps are starting to show up. Mm -hmm. All right, got the outside railing area. This T spawn. All right. Yeah. Shot there. Nice little visuals. Looking at all those little islands. I don't think it's much, but always nice to see like this little detail. Always compliments your setting. Right here. Oh boy, okay, you got an upper. Oh, this seems like an entire like chaotic region to fight in. Okay, let me uh okay. Would someone happen to know just automatically the choke points for this map? I, I do not. Okay. I kinda do. Not a clue. How do you know the choke points? I saw this map with Common yesterday. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, so, alright. Interesting. I don't know the exact timing, so, so I can't be precise. Actually, yeah, you definitely have to test the timing. What good are sure. you then? Damn, Kale, what the fuck? Wacky, don't blame me. Not here, got this middle area. That looks like this would be their equivalent to mid. Bomb sites are very nice and big and open. A lot of places to plant for, a lot of little areas to block off sight lines. So I think our bomb site design, I can already tell, is pretty good. Let me just double check. Yeah, looks good. All right. Rotate out here. The other deeper angles might be a little bit worse. All right. As so far as I can tell, the T's can get about up to the doorways before the T's like get to the side. Okay, so. Never check for their event link. Check. I went early. Oh, I still made it. Okay. I'm just so good at this game. Fast. A lot of stuff to figure out. The map doesn't seem big, it just seems curvy. Not curvy. Uh, winding, I guess. I still feel like there's only just a few areas where people can map. So, one right there. Got a second one with a window and a. I'm assuming this is a static door. Yep, okay. Window, door, entrance. Got a catwalk area. Seems very narrow, but definitely have your rotations in and out. Ah, 
All right, got this little more open area back here. Got another window looking into the, ah, oh, just, there's a lot of angles to go into the site. I appreciate the size and like the plant areas for the site, but it feels like just like a lot of just stuff going on around it. It's kind of, feels like another no man's land. I still think there's actually good gameplay areas like in the upper area around it. And actually even in the, uh, where, is that, is the upper area the only, oh, okay, so. I thought that was a bomb site entrance lower, but it looks like all the entrances are in this upper area. Then you have, just kind of have to come down here. Kind of that, kind of reflects that kind of no man's land feeling. Yeah, but it's such a nice big bomb site still. All your gameplay seems to be focused on this upper area. This is where a lot of your gunfights were going to go on. It just kind of feels a little bit uncomfortable in this bottom area. Thoughts? Opinions? Um, yeah, it is a map. I've not played it at all. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about it. The site's definitely the strong suit. Site? You think the site's the strong suit? I yeah, think like... around it could be good. Like the side. areas around it are not on par with the site itself, layout-wise. I think the site's a good size and has its little plant areas, but I feel like oh, you, okay, you do have your staircase. Up here. It's tough to tell. It, it suits for both, like uh, CTs playing far back and just holding the site, but it also the timings allow for CTs to get up into the doorways up here and kind of push, you know. But the outside of the map is a different story. It's kind of disconnected. Probably have to be another place or something. Yeah. Overall, the visuals look pretty good. Looks like another kind of a nuke thing, but still kind of setting up that theme for oil rig. I like this little outside area. Doesn't look like it does the uh, layout much justice, but I still think it looks pretty good. At least the visuals are distinguishable in different areas, unlike most nuke asset flips. That is true. I think it's a pretty good also, map overall. Definitely have to I, figure out more of this map out during playtesting. I don't know if you noticed it, but there's a little vent connector here too. I did notice it. That I think it's interesting. The jump up through it, yeah. I thought it was pretty neat. I think this is a pretty neat map. Trying out a few different things. Definitely seems more uh, unique in a way. We'll have to see how it plays out. That was offshore then. All right. What's our next map, Squisky? Our next map is Rocket by. I don't know. Ver. Ver. But it has a car in it. V Y R R. I think that's the next map, right? I think I've seen this one as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I did do the right thing. Okay. Hey, my phone is at 100% charging. We're now two hours into the stream. How are we doing, Twitch chat 24 of you? Oops. Your donate link really says pay me for no reason. Lifty <laughs> 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 found us. Yeah, what the fuck? I mean, is there a reason to pay me? Also, I need I need a spot. I need a spot. I got kicked from oh, that. Oh, sorry. Right. Thank, thanks, guys. Okay, really no. I didn't, I didn't day. realize. I didn't realize there weren't any spawns. You said it like at the last second, and then I switched, and then you were already kicked. <laughs> I've already seen this one, so somebody could join the team. We will all spectate except for Chief. We will all watch him. I'll watch him. Tom Let's watch and Chief. Watch the map. How does it feel to be alone? Uh oh. Terrible. There you go. Professional. Rocket got some kind of jungle vibes to it. Reminds me of that one kind of strike sword smack. Except for the building here. Um I don't know if it's good. What is it called? Shoots. Shoots, yeah, okay. 
Not a CSS map. Ah, okay. I think, oh, I'm thinking of two, I'm thinking of two different maps. There's one for Swords, and then there's a different one for this game. There's a... Yeah, I don't know what map it is. That from Train. That's from Train, isn't it? Or is that Cash? Or is it both? Come on, spectators, where? help me out here. I don't know where you are. I have no clue. Oh, cash. Cash, okay. I feel like I've seen it in Train, too. Er, sorry, train. It is I, train. I know what I, I knew what I meant in my head, but I this said the wrong thing. Color commentary sucks. All right. The map is yellow. <laughs> is that good enough color commentary? I didn't know we're in Mexico. That's what most Hollywood. There we go. Weird. Okay. It's true. Like Mexico is yellow. Two D props on the E three stuff. All right. So I'll just head out here. A little much on the lighting, but not too bad. It is, yeah, it does have that yellow look to it. Thank you for my, the, uh, validation of my color commentary. Yeah, you sure, you sure commentated that color correctly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> come out here. CT can also come out here, it looks like. Tiny little spawn all the way out here. Okay. Not a whole lot to this map, is there? Just kind of two little areas. You got your big indoor area and got this kind of door area to it as well. Your outside is your kind of rotation pieces. Pop sites. Looks like there's a lot of cover to go around. Right. You still got this wide open area to the left. Then you got the actual control area over here to the right. Control room area. KZ Master. Oh, yes. If my Wi Fi is not dying, then sometimes hit those. <laughs> Swinging a hit. Yeah. Pog, Chief Wi Fi not dying. Very pog. Amazing. Incredible. This little hut to the right. I should remember that name of that source map. I think what you're map. talking about, like like a hostage map in the jungle? Is it a hostage? No, I think it's the fusel. Okay, okay, well then I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh no, um. A siege? It's called Siege. Someone want to look that up for me? I don't know if that's what you're thinking of. I'm trying to check. Spectators, you're not doing anything useful. Go, go find it. I'm trying to. Yeah, but how do how do they know if that's the map you're thinking of? That's my question. Well, if I see images, and I'll let you know if it's the oh, right okay. one. So I, I didn't know, know you meant I didn't I didn't know you meant send you images too. Send I thought you just said look it up. Send I me don't JPEG. see. Beach. I need JPEGs right now. Oh, you know what? That's a 1.6 map, I think. 1.6. Okay. Counter Strike Jungle map. Yeah, maybe I'm talking about 1.6. Who knows what I'm talking about anymore? Maybe I've done the same. Too many wingman maps. All I know is wingman. No, I'm not thinking of Siege. No, I have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. CS Jungle? Here? Hold on, I'm gonna find it. So, that map is basically two dominant open areas. Key rotation pieces. It looks like more of the long range is gonna dominate. A few little visual things with water and maybe like some squared stuff. Railings, stuff like that. Ooh. So, kind of simple in the layout. Still think it's not bad. Probably could have been developed a little bit more. Visually, it gets the job done, I think. Kind of makes sense with the theme is. Got a rocket station or a rocket. Well, I don't know the rocket part of it. Is this a rocket? Who knows? I sure don't. But you got to kind of like a control center here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is the rocket? Is this like a rocket control center, maybe? Yeah, I think the rocket may be miles away. Who knows? Maybe once the bomb gets planted, a rocket in the skybox. I'm not sure. <laughs> Is it Were you thinking down? Of, I was thinking of airstrip. Airstrip? I don't think there was anything airstrip y about the map. Looks like the. Okay. Well, then I have no idea what you're talking about. Neither do I. I'm glad we thought uh, we have figured this out. Alright. On to the next map. All right, the next map is our uh, Dupa, D-U-P-A. 
Uh, uh, all right. Post Photoshop map. By comedian. That's his name. Oh, better be funny then. <laughs> it's his first off. map ever made. Mm. First ever. Will we laugh at his first map, or will it be good? Find out next time. <laughs> right now. Now is the next time. I will want to leave and get food at some point. So yeah, I don't know if know you want to. Like one or two maps ahead of time. All right. Yeah, you are, are you gonna are you gonna break or are you gonna keep going? I'm just curious. I'll probably do a half hour break too. Okay, that's that would be good. You wanna you wanna maybe like go to thirty and then half hour break? Uh, what are we on right now then? We are all, well. Let me count. Me more than thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. Actually, there's still like twelve to thirty. So I don't know. Or we can just we can just do two more if you want. Let's get the twenty mark. I don't really care. Whatever you want to do. Now let's do okay. Let's do seven that, more. That might work 25. since since okay. sunburns coming up. I'm gonna have to drop out for that. Obviously. Okay, that's in a few. How many more okay. is uh, until sunburn? Two or three? It's two. three. Mm. Three. Okay, okay we can stop at two more point. actually, because I'll probably just get to eat something to eat really quick. Yeah. Okay. So, cool. Two more maps. Be good. Two more setup. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. This is Dupa comedian. All right. Any word on the theme of this map? Uh, it's Dupa's a wingman map inspired by and based on castles and palaces of Eastern Europe. There is no story behind. You know, terrorists are just terrorizing and blowing, and then it got cut off. <laughs> they be terrorizing and they be blowing. Got it. They're just right. ter terrorizing and blowing. Incredible. Incredible. This painting is the best painting I've seen. Struggles, okay. Well, not favorable, but that's something. Got a. Okay, not squeaky then. That's broke. Yeah, that's broke. Okay, so it's inspired by castles or castle towns? Uh, castles and towns, I believe. Okay. Looks like more town than castle. Okay. Based on uh, castles and palaces. Sorry, that's what it is. This uh, staircase isn't on the radar. I see a little bit more of it right here. Look at more of that cobble or Aztec cobble assets. And we go over here a little bit more inferno like. But still got some nice architecture to it. Looks visually good enough. Mr. Potato, you must look at the DM I sent you on Discord. It has really proof of something that Swiski did that make it Orion disqualified. Alright, I bet to ship those. Oh, I'll look at it later. Damn. <laughs> Or maybe not, I don't know. I'll just want to get through these two, then we're gonna call a quick half to one hour uh, stream break, and then we'll be back on a little bit later. This chief needs water, and when he, gets, when he doesn't have water, he can articulate Cheap more, water. but it hurts. It hurts me, Tom. Never have too much water. I drew homies for life. <laughs> Alright, let's actually take it and slay it out. That's why I invented left. <gasps> Okay, so I got this laid out. Now we go over here to the left. Got this longer route. It's got a little side to play here. Got a blind spot. Can come up here. I'll show you blind spot to nothing. What, what good is this? Okay. It's just good to counter some things for us. You know, you can almost tear down the entire thing. Let's do it like right there. DE toilet reference. Very epic. Okay. Amazing peak. Pretty wide open route to the right here, but still very easily utilitized. Utility, utility eyes. Probably can't use eyes at the end of that. <laughs> Easy to use utility on. <laughs> Utilize utility. Utilize utility. See, like that just sounds too close to each other. That's why I mix it up sometimes. Utilize utility. Utilize utility. Utilize utility. You can't, can't do it fast. Got spaghetti for eight fifty. All right, I should get that wrong side. Get some little size. Got some areas to plant to cover for. Of course, you can see these come up here. Oh, SMT gets this entire building. Yeah, this right, this left route seems very dominable. Dominatable. God, we are coming up with new words, baby. All right. CTs, I believe. Who needs real point. English when you have fake English? 
got a little of a weird piece over to this side. This could be a little bit of a nuisance. Oh, can you? Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have any. Oh, I'm bad at KZ. No. There we go. Oh, uh. Can't get. No, no, no. How did I miss the... what the fuck? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Probably need to figure out more of that clipping. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is something. We all, we've all had these before. We've all had these moments. Only all the time. Only all the time. Yeah, actually, a lot of the map, a lot of the maps we've seen have almost always been, like, consistently clipped. So bound to happen every now but I don't know if that was probably probably not intentional but a little peek over here then you got the entire roof so some unpolished areas but you're basically limited to it looks like three different routes got a was this walkable or is this crouch all right I got this left right over here middle route it's just a side alternative all right uh can I get timings real quick I want to uh, test. Looks like the uh, breakable hole will be the fastest for here. I need a T and a CT. Uh, I am T. Where Go am I going? Alright, uh, the breakable hole, if you'll see the gun pattern right here. Break. Find a hole. I have to figure out how to actually get there. Uh, on the ground yeah. floor? You're, yeah, so yeah. you're going to have to go up and down. <laughs> actually, uh, I'm going to have to go up the stairs? So you're going to have to go up the stairs, go all the way across to go back down the stairs. That's how, that's if you're avoiding this side route. I okay. see to go through the hole. Okay. So it looks like it takes T's a while, so I want to see where CTs end up. So do okay. CT ready? That's peak. Summon Arky ready? Yep. Alright, go on your own time soon. I uh, go forty five. Forty. Hmm. Okay. So you can probably you can probably actually seven dark ground and you're the top part of that stairs. You can probably take a peek at it. So I, need I, I well. did drop down here, so okay. I went so I, I, I didn't like as this, well. so I figured that's what I would do. So. You, did you watch him like drop or did you see him just like I fell down and I saw a peek like in the doorway. I, I saw I saw your legs like before you got all the way down. Okay, so it's a very close knit thing, so it'll be like Pretty interesting on that short point of CTs to try to rush, but most likely your CTs will be playing out here. So it takes a few extra seconds, but you can pop out here. So it looks like this ground floor is more or less for CT control to have this kind of upper area. Very easy to dominate this side angle right here. I'm pretty sure this wasn't intentional, at least the uh, jumping part of it. Get a little quick angle over here, but I think the gameplay is actually going to be pretty okay around the bomb site area. Looks like since CTs aren't really going to, they can mostly control this ground floor, but TTs have that drop down, they have uh, the side route to worry about. So CTs will probably more or less play the uh, bomb site angle. This is more of a uh, backed bomb site, as in CTs don't have any like rotation pieces, so meaning that probably we'll see a lot more 2v2 in the end to like bomb site plants so that's a little bit of a knock on it but overall the gameplay seems pretty decent visually gets the job done i think it's overall a pretty decent bomb uh for especially your first map too this is pretty impressive so, just a few kinks to hit out especially the polish areas polish areas so pretty overall good map all right that was dupa Hole is breakable from only inside. That's interesting. Is that true? Can you get a quick restart on the game? Yeah. Wait, what's breakable from the inside? Apparently the uh, hole entrance. Is huh. How about that? So CTs can actually rush them. Oh, that's interesting. Wait. Where are you break? You were breaking it. I was. I was shooting it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so that's really interesting. That's a unique gameplay thing.
I didn't even know about that. Thank you to Skookum for pointing that out, because I would never have known that. Because I've never really even seen that before. One way breakable uh, vent hole thing. So coming around here, Tease at least could go down the stairs, so. Chuck might probably ride it back here. Easily smoke it off as a T, then suddenly you can choose when to break that, wall things, try to get that side route. Back up there, try to get the side route dominated. And you can burn it by Molotov from outside. Okay. And I'm assuming Nate too, so. They're probably, for just a few hundred dollars of utility, you can probably solve that issue, but. Things to keep in mind, so thank you for pointing that out. Restaurant Dupa. Overall, pretty decent map, so. I like it. Alright, let's move on now. One more map, are we doing? Sure, whatever you whatever you're well, thinking. Whatever that 10 thing is. Yeah, Alright, this map this map is Lament by Alex. The workshop description. Short rework of an old wingman map I made. Uh so yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh that guy said you can burn down the wood by throwing a Molotov at it. Yes, we discussed that kill. We've already discussed that get with the time kill! Dude, I was not listening, my bad. Ooh, Fuck. I have a life outside of CSGO, Chief. No, you don't. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. Angled cylinder. Incredible. Oh, no radar. This is sad. Uh, so... This is so sad, actually. Whoa. Literally none of the judges was anything. I'm pretty sure we banned Remix. So, I'll judge it, I'll give feedback, whatever, you know, any, all maps deserve feedback in some sort of way, but... Uh, it was released in 20... Well, apparently this is a remake. So, unless a remake was in 2018, Squeezie, can you verify? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this version of the map is... was uploaded five days ago. Six okay. days ago. Do you want me to find the original map? Well, if he's saying oh, a what remake, you, what you, what already, you... I mean, he's already saying it's a remake, so we literally no word came up about it. Let me check our wingman chat here. Okay, here's an here's an upload of an old version of the map uh, from him from March second, twenty eighteen. If that answers your question, apparently there is one game map we're disqualifying PTO for having two bumps. I happen to get stop uploading two bumps at wingman maps. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. How hard is it to understand? Okay, uh, uh, okay, there's no word on this. We'll give it a quick look. I'll discuss it with the judges later. Well, man, apparently did look over this. Common probably looked over this, so they didn't say anything, but I'll bring it up with them to see if we're gonna DQ this map or not. But again, I think all maps deserve at least a little bit of feedback. Personal opinion there. So, give me just one minute here. Chief removed this judge. Wait, have no, 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 please, no. I have a family. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, Lament. To be held in balance of the judges on whether it will be DQ or not. I'll just write a little. thing there. Chief, when are you changing your name to Beef? Never. Please never ask that. <laughs> Please change your name to Beef. Okay, you're getting disqualified. Disqualified from what? I don't have a map. From the Discord. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Disqualified from the Discord, yes. Okay, I'm guessing. Don't do it, not please. Here. Up through here. Looks like your bomb site is. Where's your bomb site? Bomb site's out here. Let me see if he spawns. Go kill. Go, go, go kill. Go. Go. Uh, you have a long ways to go as a C2. Where do you spawn as T? Uh, up here. I think it's, way I think it's in this corner. Back right here. Yeah. Okay, so pretty distant for both teams. T 
these have an upper hand. They have this one entrance. I don't think ZPs get there quick enough. You can pretty pretty much easily get to the bomb site, so it's more favorable toward them, but at least there's a retake ability. They have cover around the site, so at least CTs have some options here. That way some decent routing. Angles a little bit long there. But definitely some good fighting around the central area here. This is where most of the gameplay will take place. Visually it looks a bit all over the place. I can't really tell. I also can check this is also map number 19, not 20. Okay, we'll do one more there. And on okay. and on a better note. Alright. I don't have much too much to else to say about this map. I'll get a proper scoring and feedback if we're accepting it, but this map might be DQ. Alright, next map. Alright, this map is Bob It. Bop It. Bop It. No. Bop It. <laughs> Bop It. Twist it. It is by, I think his name is Saint Boncho. He's a saint, dude. It is a private submarine that has been carrying around a controversial cargo. Can the Karis, or Karis, can the terrorist <laughs> stop the sub from recent Karis? Yeah. The cargo is. They, they care too much. Oh, how nice. Oh. I saw the stream and played this map. I, I just spawned on a wall. Map. Hold on, I just spawned on a wall. Give it a second. There we go. Alright. Pop it. We have another ship map. What, you think it's shit already? Jeez, jeez. I, I said ship! I said ship! <laughs> Oh yeah, a packed two level radar. Oh, Pog! Meet right me when people pack two level radars. Interesting oh yeah, it's for, gamer time. Uh, a submarine, is it? You ever see like this kind of... Uh, which I've never been in a submarine, so I can't... <laughs> well, I don't, I don't, neither have I, but... I think this kind of metal exists in a submarine. I Your mom's know. a submarine. <laughs> Damn, dude, they have a fish on a... Uh, napkin <laughs> over here. Wow, we're just you didn't have to died. do that wow. to me. Yeah, we just thank you. Those are the papers from office, I think. Maybe nuke, actually. Oh, rejected. What the fuck? Interesting. Mm, probably would never expect that. Probably not. Oh, that's Great. from 2015. That's the date of test. <laughs> These tools must be really important behind the door. Not go over the, We're not really getting any uh, outside look, are we? So just kind of little. Yeah, you are on the there, side. There, there are some windows. It's very dark outside. Well, yeah, it's dark underwater. You more. Fuck shit. Right? Why is it not dark underwater? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Why is there a fish here? Why is there a fish on the towel? It's dinner. It's fucking. That's dinner. Why is it in a blanket? <laughs> Those are papers. Watch your head. It's a stack of papers. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure out the word. Why is it in the It's only his dude. Okay. It's the dude, the fish. <sighs> You're a fish. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, Squishy, so try to curb your enthusiasm a little bit. Alright. No, I'm just tired. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing about this map. I'm claustrophobic and tired in the submarine. You told me to curb my enthusiasm. I did tell you to curb enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Are you doing it? Are you curbing it? Please. Yeah, I did. Right okay. Glad you did. Opposite area it seems to be not very big and a little bit lacking in the cover, especially because that can be kind of. Kind of big. So, I mean, kind of be expected in a submarine. Just kind of feels like two main corridor areas, the upper and the lower. There's a little bit of weaving between the sides here. Right here, right here, left, the left area, right area. Got the lower area. I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty good for wingman at least. 2v2, have one up, one down. Looks like the rotation's pretty decent for CTs, I believe. Two CTs were back here. I just hear one giant fight area down here. Can rotate out through this ladder. Ladder and it's squeaky. Oh, okay, this is up here is utilized, so. 
Good thing to send one guy down there to protect it. Or we can do stuff there. A lot of different things. Overall, visually, it's okay. I mean, you got your kind of new thing up here. It got kind of like the dirtier kind of metal stuff down here. So, not too much to say on this. Where have I seen this before, though? A few custom textures. Custom padding one, okay. This top right, this like little area right here seems kind of nice. Like the striping and the. Some new assets look pretty nice, nicely used. Then you got some weird stuff, you got some weird gameplay stuff like whatever this is. <laughs> Not a whole lot to say about it. So. Is that our 10th mark, 30th, whatever? That should be that should be map number fifty, like total. Okay. So we did we did twenty. All right. Are we I good believe. here to take a break, fellers? Yeah, because then next is sunburn. So you can just ping me when you're done with sunburn. I can just run back then. So. Oh, here's a controller. So. All right. I do I do want to say I I've not I, one more thing. I've not played this map, so I, I I'm not commenting on if the layout's bad or good or anything. But it reminds me a lot of that map from the Mapcore 2017 contest, the one in the airplane, like how oh, it has like the yeah, stacked, yeah. like it has like the stacked layout. I remember that. Yeah, it I remember that. I it I just that, it just reminded me of that. I've not. I have no idea how this plays though. I've obviously not played it. Yeah, I get what you mean though. I get. I have that thing. The the familiarity, familiarity <laughs> with it. All right. So this was Bop it. Do it a quick look here. Bop it. There's a message for Chief and T spawn. If what I is this see a message dick drawn on the wall, I'm just gonna be. <laughs> Kill your chief. Oh my judging sheet. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't do it to me, please. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be doing a lot more maps hopefully with the stream. So I know it's pretty late for a lot of people. So casual stream. All right, we are in Sunburn. Now, I believe, again, been avoiding spoilers, but from what I saw, repeated posts of, looks like it's a, like a water park theme. Mm -hmm. okay, yep, alright. <laughs> alright, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Seth. Temple ruins. Mm -hmm. Temple ruins. Souvenirs. Interesting. Do a little quick peek on the over there. One scoop, two scoop, three scoop, milkshake, chalk bar, banana splits. What's an ace? Oh. I don't know. Is that a CSGO thing? It's a CSGO thing, I bet. Cotton candy, mountain, tropical twist. That sounds Maybe. terrible. There might be two different things. Yeah, because it says signature flavors. Ah, uh, plural. That would be terrible <laughs> if it was one thing. <laughs> It's a nice, bright, colorful little map. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sunburn Bay. Nice setting all around. I'm liking it. A little sign here. What we got here? Oh, is that a repeat model or a reused model from somewhere? Because I don't remember. The signs? The yeah. signs are custom. Signs are custom? Okay. Because I feel like I've seen that like exact model before somewhere. So I just like you can like edit the uh names. I this one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's completely custom. Okay. Ooh. Nice little river going all the way through here. River, water, water park, pool, pool, it's a pool. That's a lazy pool. river. <laughs> lazy river. This is right where the bump set is. A little further. Alright, I cut it down pretty quickly to make sure. Actually, I'm curious. It's dead. Is it? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> Alpha sorting issues, you hate to see it. Hate to see it. Few slides. Okay, so this area down here. Easier way there. There we go. 
Nice big bomb site. Got areas to plant for. Eh, sort of. It is a pretty decent sized bomb site. Put over here. You can get up there. Ooh. Oh no. No, I'm not sure if you could make that jump. Oh, okay. but... oh over here, yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at the routing once again. Stream, doing okay. All right. So this was T spawn. We got a right route. Let's go all the way through here. CT seems to have this route over here. Oh, oh, they have the select. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A very nice. No weird visual stuff. The waterfall is there. Doesn't seem like it. It is a little quirky just coming out like a waterfall or trying to like usability things right here. I don't think it's bad though. The smoke thing is definitely an issue, but nice little hops all around. Ah, uh, too bad I can't go all the way up. <laughs> Very nice setting, nice and sunny. Just everything seems like bright and not, I said colorful earlier. It's not even colorful. It's just like it, it's a setting that I just like to be in, I guess. Mm -hmm. Cartoony, I guess. <laughs> Common said on his stream, he said the word cartoon or cartoony like 15 times. Like, he just kept saying it. All right, I won't, I won't repeat myself. Don't you worry. No, it, it was just, it was just hilarious. A lot of little verticality things. Uh, what do you think the? Oh man, I can't steal someone for a choke for uh checking timings. Now we'll do it right mean, now. All right. Contest it. Test yeah, out. Man. Let's see where I spawn. Test out left route. Okay. Uh, your your left. Yeah, my left. Your right. Go out thirty five. Okay. 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 I can move all the way up here, or you know, obviously play back there, but yeah. Yeah, it's more to play back, but yes. If you go up there, you can definitely have a blind spot there, so. Good timing is right there. Play longer route, we can lead all the way up here. Another little loopy thing. You can easily just bypass and, oh wait, no, that's not a route. Okay, never mind. I mean, you can just go backwards, but at this point, you're right on the bump site. No reason why to just not go for it. A lot of areas shifted over here to... Uh, I don't know how I feel about just not being able to get back up here. Kind of like rotate through out here. But I definitely have to play to this. You kind of you kind of can. How so? Like, through this. This under route here. Oh, did I miss something? This route? Oh, yeah, you could... Okay, yeah, I did that earlier. Ooh. Okay. Then comes out. Okay, yeah. Oh, I remember now. Wasn't paying too much attention to that. <laughs> okay, somewhere in the waterfall. Okay. We go through here. Okay. Not too short, not too long. Good rotation time. What? Can't go up here again. No, no, no. That was like a jump it's over a, thing? It's just, It's just a boost. Like to, to look over the wall. Okay, but you can't actually like go over it. No, you can't. All right, a lot of little weird peaks and angles. Uh, verticality with verticality. Doesn't look like anything gets too well dominated though. So I have the start side vision right there. This looks like it has restricted vision. Pretty restricted vision too. Drop down a little bit. Okay. Internet, come back. Help you have an extra cheesy pie. Okay. Love this new TF2 update. Wow, very humorous. Lots of comedy right there. <laughs> Stop being close in. Nope. All right. Okay. Seems like a pretty fluid map too. Little mm -hmm. jumps everywhere. Looks like you can rotate pretty easily, but nothing gets like, nothing's overpowered. There's still timing 
so you have to account for. Okay, I forgot about this little weird right here, so he's gonna come up over here. Also, I guess you can quick boost up here. Let me check brushes, actually. Yeah. Although you're in a pretty open area, or somewhat open area. So it seems like this is kind of their mid right here. Seems like a lot of the gameplay is focused right around here and the bump site. I definitely want to see how this area plays. Can I hide behind here? I can. Yeah. It's a little sad that smoking can be abused, but I'm really liking the layout of this. Visuals are the forbidden C word, but still, I think, very fun for its theme. What is the C word? No one is allowed to say the C word. What game does? This is Counter Strike Global Offensive on the Wingman Contest 2020 Source Engine Discord, sponsored by various teams and people and such. We are on the map of Sunburn. Also, I didn't know attracted random people. I thought mostly everyone here would be from a uh, Source Engine or Mapcore. So, welcome, random people. So, I think all the routing is good. Left side, gotta keep that down in case you get the flank over there. This middle route seems like a really fun area. This is definitely a lockdown area you need to have the right routes. Seems a little interesting. Oh, you can go pick too. Okay. Yeah, a lot of interesting verticality on this map. Don't exactly know how the verticality will affect it too much, but definitely it would be interesting. I wonder what the timing is for here, because yeah, this is a this is a T route, right? Uh, CTs can get to it by climbing the stairs and then strafe jumping. Uh, but I I think generally it is a T route, yeah. Okay. Right, their main focus will be like coming out over here, and then if they want to full rush it, then. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. The thing we did earlier, so. Mm, I do want to test one more timing. I want. I do want to test a little strafe jump area. It doesn't seem too difficult, so I feel like it could be utilized. Alright, go at four, uh, 10. Okay, I definitely have the angle for at least like a half a second there. So I couldn't sit by, but I can at least hold the angle. So that's interesting. Definitely want someone... I, I don't want to say the map is, feels a little too spread out with its routes, because... I mean, if you don't have someone over here, you can... There's It's an extremely easy way to flank, you don't want that. And that would be kind of hard holding it down from this area, because you can't see it from up here. You'll need someone on the bomb side, most definitely, but... You have that blind spot right there with the waterfall, and you can't even see it through here because the splinter is in the way. So you kind of have to go like all the way around here. It's an easy smoke to do, or you have to like. Let's see. Hello, I Kale. I don't think it's too much faster going through this upper area, and just like dropping down and trying to like catch him off guard. I don't think it's a very safe thing to do as a CT. So you definitely need someone over here. Then you need someone on this middle route to make sure they come up here. And you need someone. Oop. Hello? Oh, no. yeah, Alright, oh. sorry about that. I feel like that happens like once or twice at the beginning of every stream. So you need someone on this left route because it has a direct entrance into the bomb site. Can you hear me still? Yeah. Okay. So left route, can, it's a bomb site or a flank. Middle route goes all the way up to into the bump side, then right is flank. Like, it's tough to say, like, you, you've you offered a two flank route map, while the other one obviously gives you a bump side route too, you can easily just go flank. But at this point, I still think this one is more favorable, favorable to go to the uh, bump side, so it's tough to say. I'm not too much of a fan of how that's played out, because while well, I believe that you sh that three, uh, like three lanes, I think work really well in Wingman. I feel like it's very well utilized how you have to spread CTs out and which routes you have to cover and how you can back off into the bump side or passive angles, yada yada. 
but you've left two flank routes into that twos can utilize if they win their choke points. Two directly into the bomb site, two flank routes. Seems just a I mean, just spread out CTs a little bit too much. So it's tough to say. We'll play test this definitely, but because it, it, I think it's a really well done theme. I think it's a very fun theme too. If your stream is very frozen, it's gonna fix itself. Don't worry. I'm watching it's it right now. A minute. It's been a minute. I'm literally watching the stream. It's fine. Is it my end? Maybe you're frozen, Kale. What the fuck? Uncool Twitch. Kale, once again, you've let us down. It's like the third time today. You've said something That's completely some unfactual and incorrect. Expected from Kale. All right, shit. My you fault. Have... Twitch is retarded. You have ruined my immersion of Sunburn, so they lose five Polish points. <laughs> Polish, oh no. <laughs> I need those Polish points, dude. All right. Yeah, again, the visuals just of this look amazing. Like, this is a very fun map that I like looking at. I like being here. The gameplay itself still seems fun. It's just the flank routes seem to be an issue. We'll see it in playtesting. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Good thing it looks good, I believe. Double check again, but everything looks good about this. The one alpha sorting issue with the waterfall. Can't do too much about it, but everything looks good on this map. We'll see how it goes in playtesting. So that is Sunburn. All right. All right, cool. And in the meantime, I've just received word that today is Kettle's birthday. So if you're out there, Kettle, happy birthday. And can we get a shout out in the chats? Everybody, shout out. King shout Kettle, Kettle and say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kettle. Everyone in Twitch chat, please wish Kettle a happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. All right. Okay, so well, that's untrue. So unenthusiastic, Kettle. Or, uh, Kale, fuck. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not Kettle, Kettle, you fucker. Kettle, no, please. I'm so sorry. Now you lose 10 Polish points. Alright. Our next map is, uh, Lockdown. Uh. Hello, I have returned. Hello. Hello. Alright. This map is Lockdown. Let me, uh. Why is the map locked down? Please explain. I don't know, but this map has uh, something. It's got some. Is it a map? It do be a map. Oh, we're in Brick Alley. All right. Cock down. No, please. All right. Person almost signed in that guard booth. Ah oh, man. Darn. Can't go that way then. Guess I'll just go through the big window. Oh, and we're in Aztec. Wait. Why is there two bomb sites? <laughs> <laughs> I asked one thing. One thing of submissions. Two spawns per each side and one bomb site. See, I just said two things there because just like this map, apparently I can't figure out how to do two. One bomb site, <laughs> two things. It's like the one rule of wingman. All I ask is for... Two spawns at each side and one objective. How hard is this? How hard is this? <clears throat> I think a map might be decent for like a 5v5 diffuse map. We'll definitely uh, work on like a other visuals <laughs> a little bit more, but this is the wing my contest, so we're gonna have to actually skip this and go to the next map. So if you like to see the next map, uh, go ahead and start the next one. It appears like I was sending out the connect info. <clears throat> All right, the next map is uh, Calavera by Squink and T-Rexer. Calavera. Which, if you're not aware, are the winners of the previous wingman contest. Are you trying to influence me? Are you trying to say that if you think we're just going to win this contest? You think I should... You think you're just a little jealous of what's going on, Spitsky? Damn. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm, in, <laughs> I'm at, a, I'm at a, like a 9 right now. I'm like at a 9 after I'm a single map with two bomb sites, Spitsky. I'm so sorry, I am Chief. just about had it. They really did that two bomb site thing. Oh, I... <laughs> I have the local radar for this, so I can see the loading screen stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's the classic hostage and bomb set map coming. Oh, and now that that nice. would be imagine. That would can be you something. do that? Is that a thing that uh, I don't? You do? I don't know. So who worked on this? It was T Rex and Just Squinky. Squ mm -hmm. Just Squinky and T Rex. Okay. Devin Rex. Yeah, map did do that last time. I think it was like in uh, some desert Egyptian map. Yeah, uh, Cleopatra, I think is what it was called. Yeah, Cleopatra. I don't like some like nice dev uh, visuals they're working on. 
Why does this have a wingman map, Contra? <laughs> she just literally died. Hold on. <laughs> I just about have. Wow, how old is he? What are these models? Are these pretty old? My just like out of touch with CT. Where yet? The CT models. These custom or are these just like these, really old? These are, these are, I mean, these are older models. Yeah. Okay, I thought they were older for a second. All right, uh, give me workshop info. Give me lore. Uh, it's Dia de Muertos in San San Miguel de Allende, Allende, Mexico. <laughs> but a group of ter <laughs> but a group of terrorist rebels are having none of it. Can two lone counter terrorist agents stop them? Well, I don't know. It's Spanish. It's Dia Dia de Muertos. That's Ooh. good. That's close enough. Please have culture. Dia de los Muertos. What the fuck? This guy's just flexing on me. Alright, oh, has to pronounce all the Spanish maps from now on. It's true. He's the only one, so I think we're good. A little stairway up here. Ooh, nice little diner area. Very nice. Little step up, but your main route here would be this entrance. So we have a stone railing. Oh wait, no, it's just blocked off by the middle. Okay, it's just blocked by the middle. Can they get up here? Ah, uh, they can't get up here. A little bit of a double angle, but so shallow. I I don't mind it. All right. Oh no, Wi-Fi, please no. We have a ladder hole. I cannot believe you've done this. Listen, I have to send the bomb on the terrorist to get my blood. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we got a right route over here. Looks like a this main courtyard. Oh my god, okay. This main courtyard area. Looks like to be the center of all the firefight. That's squeaky. We got a wood squeaky. Ah, a wooden breakable one. I don't think I've actually seen that before. You think about breakable doors, you're thinking, uh. Uh, metal. Nuke ones? Nuke ones, basically, yeah. Interesting. Okay, gotta make sure that bell works. So this is a T. I can see almost the entire bumps. Let me just get uh, this open. Alright, bumps is pretty large, so... I have my own blind spot right here, but I can see almost half of it landed over there. So what are my options? Here. Okay, there has to be a... Alright, a checkpoint has to be further in, too, so you can't just get all that for free. What's test timings? I need a T and a CT. Uh, go up all to right, through right, the upper so... balcony. T's, I think, have a little bit more complicated route. Alright. I'm a CT. Um, where? I'm T. Where do you want Alright, uh, to do you look over to the left here? You'll see the uh, staircase go up here, mm -hmm. take a right to the right of the ladder, go through this upper balcony area. The upper, okay. Or until going you up just the see ladder in the balcony? So you're All going right. to the right of the ladder, just out balcony area. Let me just, just fly over there so I you'll see it. don't see? want to sit. Oh, okay, to the right over here. I yes. see, okay. I understand, okay. Go on your own count. All right. You ready, Seven Dirk? Yep. All right, three, two, one, go. Right there, about right here. Were you about? Was he inside before you? Uh, he was. He, he was. He, nah, I think I. I. I have about a half second maybe to see him. Okay, so we'll see. You can just about lock down that little area. So you think about quick flashes, peeking in there, and that covers a lot of routes. Or that covers a lot of space too. Like I feel like CTs need to have this upper balcony area. Try to get a lockdown. Can't really. Well, maybe you can try to throw a little. Uh, almost. I feel like you can maybe get it. Oh, trying to throw down the ladder? Oh no, I'm trying to throw it right here. Oh, okay. If you'll get about half a second, I mean, you can still probably hold it and try to stop any bull rushes, but I feel like this area is so important for T's because of all the angles it gets. Like, you're pretty much dominating this upper cart. Pretty much dominating this courtyard from this upper balcony area. But uh, let's look at the other routes. 
Okay, so it really comes from like two basic choke points that kind of split out a bit. So this is your second one, you're this upper area, so you're doing for a little bit of a lower one. I don't think you can smoke this entire area though, that's interesting. Let's see. I, I cannot see you cross. Okay, yeah, that, the, crate, the crates actually cover that, so I wonder if they actually thought about that. Then here's an interesting thing. Just got a ladder. I'm not a fan how that this comes out, though. Because of CT, try to... Oh, give me one second. Okay, giving you one second. This guy's moving because of his oh. spread. Alright, sorry about okay. that. It's not just spread, it's got bananas, too. And when you shoot them, they split apart. Truly next level graphics. Italy remake looks nice. Did you just call this an Italy remake? My face. Alright. <laughs> uh, okay. After that disgusting comment just passed, let's see where was I where did I leave it off? Okay. So I'm not too much of a fan of where the ladder specifically comes out. The crates are here to prevent like shooting from right there because CTs will most likely hold this corner as the most aggressive part. To get like a molly or smoke off, but Actually, yeah, that could be a problem. If they smoke it off instead of molly it, then definitely deal with something like this. Because I believe this is also faster than... We can also drop down here, too. Yeah, you could probably just come out CT, drop down, go through here, and stop anyone from getting this ladder, either. So that's interesting. I'm not exactly how sure that these two rooms would kind of play out. So, like, can T's get it before CT's? Can CT's come down here? Would that ladder be too much of a... Burden to try to get up there and shoot some some of those keys. Cause I like th I like the way how the gameplay works. I like how it kind of splits out the more ground you kind of cover. So it's basically two routes, but like a smoke or just one little angle to pass, and you certainly get more access to the uh, map itself. It definitely encourages uh, both styles of like either pushing or staying back and using the uh, cover it gives you throughout the map. I see these can be down here. This upper balcony is very favorable. Be a little bit cheeky with how you can fall back. Goodbye, Kochi. Fall back and get some of these angles, but I feel like the left route, the upper, and the lower, I don't feel like it'll be utilized too much. Until you're in a 1v1, then they have the bomb that you can just kind of like stick to this upper balcony area. Because they either have to hunt you down or try planting. And even with such a large bomb site, this upper balcony just pretty much guarantees that you can't ever have really a safe plant, it looks like. Yeah, there'll always be some sort of area looking up on you. Or looking down on you, I should say. It's very interesting, the gameplay. I, I can't tell for sure. I think everything looks like it works out. So it'll be another map we will definitely play test. Yeah, as I was saying like earlier, like this one route, that's just like... It's basically two routes in the entire map. This route uh, kind of starts splitting out, so like you go through here, if you smoke it off, you can work your way up a little bit, you can go up the staircase. And if you decide to not do that, maybe try to pick them out, go up these crates right here. Definitely have a lot of utility options, whether it be up there or through some of the windows right here. I think the gameplay has been designed, has been really thought about this map. Okay. A little lower area here. Sprite you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I definitely feel like this main route will be, or this main area will be one bot for, but I think the routes are very favorable for gameplay. The visuals look very nice. That's a interesting, pretty, it's an interesting little theme. I'll go with Skybox right over there. You even wear toast. <laughs> yeah, a lot of positive things to say about this one. I'm liking it. It must be interesting to see how the, these two floors kind of uh, play between each other. That's really the one thing I'm looking for. It's like, does T's get too much control? Does CT's get too much control? Like, CT's can even like, bounce over here if they wanted. Oh, they can get up here. That's interesting. Yeah, I can even just lock down the little corner. Throw a little smoke, go for the uh, balcony route. They can jump over to the balcony right here, jump up here, go through here. Take down any ladder boys who are waiting down there for a cheap little angle. It'll I think angle. these two are a cheap angle. Cheap, I said cheap! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, hi, Beal Cat. How's it going? How's your uh, Rocket League tourney going? I know you and Kenny were at that. All right, so lower and upper floor, I think is the main two things I want to see how they play between each other. This will definitely be a playtest and map. Visuals look really good. I think the gameplay design has been really thought in, thought, uh, put a lot of thought into. So definitely one we'll be looking for. Uh, let me write the name down again. Calavera. Almost spelled it correctly. All right. In the meantime, Squidsky, if you can load up the next one. All right. There, there's one thing I want to show about this map. It's unintentional, but I think it's funny. Like, it, it's not like bad or anything. Like, okay. okay. So in, in, in the substation, in like this mid place, all right, you see that you see this red dot here on the side of this over yeah. here. All right. If you look at it from far away, like down here, like it looks like Elmo. I don't know if that's just me, but I think it looks like Elmo, and I think it's hilarious. Now you pointed it out, yeah. <laughs> and I can't see it now. God, I can see it too. That's the worst part. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know the next map. I choose to believe it's a cheap <laughs> reference, but... It's a cheap oh reference, alright. Alright. This new the fade would just, at a distance, look like... Alright. All right, this map is called Piper Jinja. Jinja? Uh, I don't know. It's two J's. It's most certainly Jinja, I think. Jinja bread. Jinja. No. It's bread made with Jinja. I had a dog named Jinja. She died. Damn. Damn. That was morbid. Bribing a judge with in-game references disqualified. Yep, because they totally meant for that to look like Elmo at a distance. <laughs> Amazing feature. Definitely intentional. It's like one of those little uh, holographic uh, pictures you see where if like you go left or right, like the picture changes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Jinxia. Two maps we've seen a lot of. Uh, oops. No draw, I hate to see that. Okay, uh, two maps you really, you've rarely seen are like the uh, more Asian style maps. Actually three Asian style maps, the metros, like the sub, the tunnel system, whatever, the trains, uh, and the uh, ships. And we've seen two ships, we've seen three tunnel things, and I believe this is our second or third uh, Asian style map. And we're blowing up a big rock. Uh, I believe this whole thing is a shrine, if I recall. Okay. Also, this is so. This map is weird for me because I went to Japan, and so some of the references here I've seen in real life. Ooh, nice. Sick and well happy. Oh, who's this made by? His name is Bra Brom or Brown, maybe. B R A U M. Oh, okay. Any workshop info? Let's see. I think that would be uh, this is his only map on the workshop. Okay. So, first map post, supposedly. Yeah, it definitely has like the more simplistic look. So, I think, judging by uh, like pictures and references I've seen of like these kind of like Asia style maps, whether it be Japan, China, or how they kind of do their style, it's definitely more simplistic. Oops. A little bit of Wi Fi drop there. It's like a very easy going map. You go right here. Look like the angle comes out here. Pop it down through the window. See so you can try to work their way up, go through this route, and then get a angle into the bomb site. Go through here. Ugh, Wi Fi is really different. All right. This be another choke point right here. It also be right here, too. Try to throw off. Tease a bit. So yeah, it looks like a basic three-lane map. One on the right, get a low connector that goes into the bomb site. One on the left, uh, going all the way through, it goes for a flank or to the bomb site. Or actually, no, there's a connector right here too. Okay, connector. Then I mean, both have the flanks, obviously. And then you have your routes up the middle. Bomb site design itself is pretty decent. Good enough size. Uh, offers areas to plant for. I don't think it needs one safe though. That's pretty. I like that. It's a little kind. Of, it's kind of a symmetrical bomb site in a way. You got your T entrance, T entrance, two connectors. Time 
and I'd only like, or the opposite sort of like, safer cover would be this little wall that comes out. Interesting that it's not a wall angle though. I thought it would be. You got your uh, nice little headshot angle here. So it's a pretty fluid map too. You just easily rotate out. Doesn't seem like a very, uh, seems like a very short map in a way. That being said, I feel like T's can get the upper hand here with such a has timings and everything. TTs would easily have to keep or would be required to move between their uh, two respective choke points and this middle area. Or you can try to play the playing the connector if the timings uh, work out well. You might have to play a closer range instead of your longer range you get and play the uh, oh very well playable here. You can play your uh, connector instead. So there's a lot of styles to play off this map, I think. Basic. We've seen a lot of defusal maps, but I think it works. At least. I think it had kind of a long angle right there. So yeah, play up through the routes, play the connectors instead, try to play the bump site, play back here. You got your rotations. I think it's an overall pretty like safe, balanced map in a way. If you get what I mean. Mhm. Mm Indeed. It's like the classic style that works, but just in wingman. Uh, I approach. I, th I think I think I would agree that three lane is probably the safe wingman like layout at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you're definitely right there. My displacements have Canada hidden in the blends. Interesting. All right. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so really. He said you know. previously that he literally has like a map of Canada in between displacements. It's true, Canada is all displacements, don't you know? That's some funky oh lighting God. right there. All right, don't know what happened there. Uh, let's see. Overall, the scenery is pretty nice. Again, the uh, what Sevenark said, I believe, is true. Like the uh, style he's go oh, Skyblock, you can see that. The style he's going for it seems a lot more simplistic, pretty somewhat clean anyway. Nice little bird sound effects, ambience, whatever. I want to work a little bit more on your outside detailing. Like it looks all good around there. Just some of the side areas, just like you see skybox. You got some funky lighting over these trees over here, and some emptiness over there too. And I think the bomb site design could it be a little spiced up? Like, I think this is something different we're looking for in this contest too. Imagine like from the 2018 contest where anything could gone. Like we wouldn't know. I think pretty much any anyone that said anything during the contest stream back in 2018. Couldn't be certain on how gameplay played because we were still new to it. Like we were trying to test out wingman maps. We tested out ones on the contest that, or ones beforehand that weren't submitted to the contest. That were like designed beforehand. We were trying to see like what makes wingman maps, what makes them good, what makes them interesting. But we did a lot of that for the contest, so we weren't certain. That's why we did play testing on some of those higher quality maps. And we kind of found out a formula that sort of works, doesn't work. We found out a lot of uh, of those maps have like a special twist on them. Something that's like fun for these kind of uh, shorter maps, because again, we get to a point where layouts become kind of hard to to say like one's better than the other. It becomes like a unique factor in that you start taking visuals and any sort of twist or gimmick that gets put on them. A uniqueness to the map is what set it, what really set it apart. So, well, we're we're focusing more on the the objective getting utilized. Safe maps like this, we're looking for okay, the layout seems like pretty safe and balanced and all, but do we have a special twist to it? Is the bomb site unique in a way? How do the visuals look? It's overall well balanced map from the looks of it. The visuals are nice, simple. I think it's a good overall map. I don't think there's really too many bad things to say about it. Just again, a little bit of the skybox thing. And I think it just does everything it wants to do pretty well. Wi-Fi is dying a bit there. Uh, I have been paying one minute. All right. I am waiting one minute. Exactly, and that's it. No more. A random DM says, Wingman is basically HVH if you don't have Prime. What? <laughs> hack v. Hack. Ah, OK. Yeah, I've heard that it's not great on like official Valve maps and yada yada. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm censoring some messages real quick. How are we doing, Twitch chat? Doing good? 
How many maps are you doing today? Uh, we're either going to do as many as we can, which will probably around be 20 or 30. If it feels too late, then I'll be finishing the rest off tomorrow. All right. Uh, that's all for this map. Give us all the right, next map. Cool. Next map is Tone Deaf by Ann An Wrath or Ann Wraith. Not sure. Probably Ann An Wraith. Uh, it is their first completed map, my second overall in my entry to the contest. When a Mayan temple is found in the middle of Mexico, excavation crews are brought in. Excavation crews are brought in to unearth its secrets. The local populace is outraged with the out, and then it cuts off because of the upload bug. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is another victim. They'll <laughs> be like, no, you get a description. Store it in like a 256 character string or something. I almost did that on Sunburn when we re-uploaded it, but I remember. Yeah, it you, gotta, you gotta like copy the description and then. Ugh. Yeah, I, I have it like just pinned. Mm -hmm. in the is, it, is it downloading? Oh, it's kind of a big map, okay. Prepare for my oversaturated spaghetti map. I will be the judge of that. I mean, spaghetti's pretty tasty. Is it I mean, downloading? Yeah. What's wrong with spaghetti? Nothing. I want it now. Shit, what have you done? Uh, nothing. You brought this one yourself by not eating properly. Oh, there it is. I don't know if eating spaghetti is called eating properly. I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. Anyways, gonna go and judge some maps now. Let Common Crayon, Common Crayota, Colin, whatever you want to be called. Common called. Will the top 10 finalists be announced or is it internal for the judges? We did discuss this a little bit. I think we finally decided, we can make this public too, that uh, we are not going to announce a top 10. We'll have that ready for the guest judges and then we'll be releasing everything at once. I believe that was our official call. So you guys will get to know all the scores and the guest judge scores and everything gets announced at once. That was, I believe, our finalist plan. So. The only reason why is I personally wanted an extension period for the top 10, just to get like bug pieces out of the way and get all this other stuff. But we're, we have a tight window, plus we got to deal with Mapcore to do their hubs and it's kind of like locked into this. So we're trying to get our judging out of the way really quickly because I know the guest judges, it's kind of hard to communicate with them and make sure have to get, they have plenty of time to do their judging and scoring, even if it's just 10. So making sure that all that gets out of the way. My name is not Colin. All right, comment, Colin. <laughs> Go judge. All right, we have Tone Diff. Nice mm -hmm. little outside area right here. Going to ooh, some big stairs, which seem somewhat equipped. A little harsh on the lighting here. Ooh. Am I getting frame rate issues? I'm getting mm. a little bit. Interesting. Some places are a little low, but it's not like stuttering or anything for me. Maybe yeah, it just seems high. lower. There's some places, but I think for most of the places, it's okay. All right. So was this one route or was there another route? Okay. Oh, there's a hole down here. Okay. Yeah, I think there's a few. I'm getting a little lost at points. Oh, there's this a bit, a bit of stuff. Got yeah. mossy water. Interesting. Seems like everything can't float. Oh, there's like three layers. Three layers. You know what, Seven Dark? They're all packed. They are all packed. The madman did it. You love to see when people pack all the, the levels of the radar. It's very good. Hmm. Alright, got our little bump set right here. Got an extension off to the side, so areas to plant for. Got a little back here. It doesn't look like there's really any uh, distinguishable parts. It's just kind of like, you got the platform, but you also have this little back area, but you also got this little extension around here. It's a little funky. Not too bad. Love the bigger bump sites. Give people more ways to utilize plants and such. Got ruins and scaffolding and a ladder. Oh no, a ladder that goes down into an entrance. Oh no. My personal gripe with ladders. Triggered. I'll kind of up area down over here. All right. 
looking through here. So it is taking me a minute. I don't think it's spaghetti, it's just complicated if it's three layers. I'm trying to figure out what each route and what each layer does for each other. So I got uh, Kinsitis, I'm on T's side, T's spawned out here. So Kinsitis actually access this area down here. Where's CT spawn? Can someone point it out to me? Uh, uh it's like where I'm shooting. The middle layer? Up here. Okay, so they got this little walled off area. They have nice little detailing out here, even though most of your map is focused inside, so that's kind of nice. Now I'm starting to worry about the angles around the bombs today. It might be a little bit too much. If we're just disregarding the layers part of it. Seems like there's just a few too many angles to worry about. Uh, yeah, there's also this back one um, that you can like loop around over here. Oh, I saw that, yeah. So we have this back area, we got this little entrance through here. We got this upper balcony area, even through this doorway. Right back here, we got this little area right here. We got this tiny little ramp up. Even check down there. Someone was caught out there. Seems just a, there's just a little bit too much going on around the bomb site. I think it just this area needs to be simplified. Like some just one or two angles need to be cut out. Cause like even this, just like it's not angles. It's just like hiding behind certain objects and peeking out. Feels like a giant map of hide and seek around this bomb site. If there's any spaghetti, it's the angles that go on here. That's what I'd say. So I think when people start realizing that, they're going to start going for the uh, uh, the flanks and such. They're going for the uh, 2v2 deathmatch instead, because your map goes all the way around. I still feel like it easily connects to the middle, like you will always easily find the middle, because I, I still don't get this layout yet. I keep I'm, finding new stuff. Yeah, I keep finding new stuff too. Like I feel like you've made it easy for anyone who's like, okay, I don't want to be in this certain part of the map. You make it really easy for them to find the bomb site again. I think that's really good. That's really good. But it's just the bump site area around it itself is just a little bit too much. Your lightning is also a little bit too much too. <laughs> Who made this one? Uh, and 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 Wraith, I believe is their name. I can't tell by area, but would this be our largest wingman map? Um. I Thing. Might be up well, there, but I don't think it's our largest. It's it's definitely up there. I couldn't tell you for sure. It's. I was gonna say no, but then I remember there's three layers, which kind of changes it. That's also true. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, oh no, it looks small. It looks you know a fair size, but then there's like three more layers. I would say top five, probably. Yeah. Top five map size. There's someone can judge map sizes. I'm just like top five. <laughs> <laughs> we do a non playable area so Sunburn can win. No, dude, have you seen uh, that apocalypse map? There's so much. There's I outside I of. Many. There's outside of map detailing there that you can't even see from in game. Yeah, if you can do the out of map detail that one map underground, I think you definitely make it. Yeah, there's for that. a few. <laughs> there's a few that rival Sunburn. Sunburn was on the bigger side, but I don't think it was too much. Like a tiny it's like eleven by eight thousand. Yeah, in terms of like actual out of the map detailing. Are I'm assuming a lot of the stuff in here is custom. I'm not as familiar with. Uh, this is all Aztec stuff, I think. Is it? Except for, except for this bell. Yeah, I don't this recognize is, this, bell. this. This that, that looks custom. Uh, I I wasn't I wasn't sure because I'm I'm just not as familiar. So I wasn't sure if like these statues in the walls. And uh, stuff those stuff. those are from Aztec. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So no one talks about troll face gaming, no one talks about troll face failings, no one talks about it either, extra cheesy pie. 40 chess map, hello beef. I cannot believe you said this. Not as big as Eiffel. Oh, that's true, Eiffel <laughs> was uh, on the bigger side. That's awesome. In terms of five. angles, that definitely, Eiffel by, by far was the, uh, had the longest angles. I don't think any map is going to really compete with that. Unless they literally have the same plant on the railing. map theory as Eiffel. Where is them? Oh wait, I already checked earlier, okay. The map feels fluid still. I like it does feel fluid to run around. Like again, you can always f easily find your way back to the middle if you don't know really where you are. Because again, I cannot tell choke points. I can't tell layout. I can't tell where people are gonna be. 
I just know two things that you can always move around. And you can always easily find your way back to the center of the bomb site. So, regardless if you call that spaghetti or not, I think that's still good design to always easily find your way back here. Because this will be most of your fights. The most lucky part about it is just there's so much to check. Like, you know, with the bigger bomb site, and there's like different areas you can in cover you can plant for. Like, you cannot check all of this. There's just way too much. I think just the layers idea is good, but I still feel like it just needs to be simplified. There's just a little bit too much for a 2v2 wingman, and the bomb site itself most definitely needs to be simplified. Visually though, temple ruins, you know, got it, got it done. Foliage looks nice on the outside. A lot of your construction stuff, I know that's a easy uh, way to complement a lot of your uh, gameplay choices, gameplay design choices. So, looks pretty good. Plays, uh, like something. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, alright. I still feel like this could be a fun map though. I don't feel like, it might be frustrating with all the angles in the, mid in the middle, but I feel like this could be one of, the, one of the more fun maps. One of the more surprising fun maps. The more I look at the ball, the more I like Yeah. I like, the little, I like, the, I like the low ring sound it makes. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I, you have to I be kind of close to it. I was tuning earlier and I was like, I don't hear anything. It's very disappointing. But no, yeah, it does make a low ring. Okay. Oh, look at that. Pillar edges and bell are custom. Bricks and cliffs are retextured. Also, portal to Essex. Where is the portal to? I didn't even see any. <laughs> I really didn't notice portal to models either. Unless it's by construction. Oh, the, the foliage. Yeah. The, the Like the vines and stuff. Were there? That's portal uh, too. There was a bit of foliage. Yeah, two. they're they're spread around. Yeah. I, really I, more, like, I can I can see it now that I'm looking for it. I definitely should have played more maps that had like release content because really the only person I can tell whose content is who is just anything released by Yanzel. <laughs> Except for like his really older maps. There's like I think one or two maps he made a really long time ago that I don't recognize some of their assets. Oh, like Castle. Castle yeah, and like one other map. Yeah. Alright, well, that was Tone Deaf. It's something chaotic, it's something unique, but I think it just falls a little bit more on that chaotic side. I think it's still fun. Just tone down a bit of the lighting, simplify a lot of these angles, maybe take out a layer or something, and I think you'd have a really good wingman map. I still have fun. I still. I think this is a still a fun map, though. I think this is what. This is the uh, second coming of Bell, maybe? Who knows? I don't know. Because no, there's, 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 there's a bell. No, no, because of the vertical <laughs> and the in the ankles and the, oh boy. All right, just it's definitely because there's a bell. Fade me. All right. All right, next map. All right, next map is I think it's Brasida. Brazil. By no. Oh. The workshop description says not a real city in Italy. I don't know how to pronounce the name because <laughs> it's in Russian. So I'm gonna send it to Denknife and he's gonna tell us how to pronounce it. Okay, how was that pronounced, Denknife? Pichle experience. What? Excuse me? <laughs> I just pronounced it for you. All right, well. <laughs> you asked and he answered. He did. Bushita. That's not how I pronounce it. Oh, you're just doing something. Okay, whatever. Shut up. All right, we are in Italy or Old Inferno. I cannot tell. Wait, what? So just uh, so you don't get confused, there are parts on the radar that are definitely not playable. Yeah, I was gonna say. I just got confused. All right, a little bit weird. Miss on the uh, radar, but a little crack in the wall. Can we boost over this? Let's find out. The answer is no. No, the answer is no. Yes, no, no. Good thing. The answer well, is no. fine. I, I'm seeing, I'm getting very much uh, Italy flashbacks here. Why? Uh, kind of that, like, uh, squarish layout, the texturing, the buildings, the heavy lighting. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. The market, we got a market over here, sort of. Like, I'm getting heavy Italy vibes, I mean. 
seems to be a market moment. Spawns in here. Let's go out here. You can not go out here. You cannot cross. Does it, can actually anyone access this? Uh, can you? So you we just have a we just have a giant. I feel like the, okay, this might have been a bomb site. You know what? I'm just gonna say it right now. This probably was a bomb site at some point. Like you got your cover. You got cover. You know what's over here? You got little just cause corners yeah, over here. It looks like it would have been a two site map. Honestly, he he saw the mm. he saw that you had to have one objective, and then he just uh, didn't move to the other side. Mm -mm. So chief mm. wouldn't get mad. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, just just so chief wouldn't get mad. Yeah, I want to check the uh, release date at the workshop real quick, just to make sure. Uh, June twelfth. Okay, I mean it was posted. Most people are smart enough to not do it. Not too late. All of the end. Wait. I think this area is flipped off completely. Yeah, should be. Oh, I, uh, I got confused like, by the radars. Yeah, like the radar, just the routes. It just it, it doesn't seem like anything's like purposely blocked off within its geometry. It's just like you got tape and the police props. You got a bunch of crates stacked up top of each other, a bunch of crates stacked on top of each other. Got a little like connector corridor that just yeah, just this had to have been a two side map, huh? Like look at this, look at this. Got a little alley again blocked off by crates. This was definitely a two bomb site map. I'm completely convinced by this. I just keep getting uh, fucked up by the the radar, thinking that that was actually playable this whole time, just another path. But no, it it was not. So we would be judging it for. Uh... Yeah, it, it just does seem like a converted five v five map. But what is it blocked off? <laughs> I mean, I, you're still following the rules, I guess, unless you had some other map that looks exactly like this and just re-uploaded it with one bomb. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at his workshop, and he doesn't have, like, a 5v5 version of this map, so... It, I mean, like, you know, from the perspective of the workshop, it looks like a completely original entry for the contest. Okay. That's right, if he just for he forgot it was a Wayman contest, and had to quickly take out a bomb site. <laughs> He just made both, see which one played better, and just get the one that would work. Hey, you never know. Yeah, it's just like, he did playtesting, he's like, which one works better? It's like, oh, this left one? Okay, we'll keep the left one. What if he didn't play this? Alright, now that we have uh, solved the mystery of the two bomb site issue, let's actually look at the routing and gameplay for the one bomb site. We got T's coming out through here. They also come out through here. It's just one. It's just one route, isn't it? It's just, it's just one. It's just one. Okay. Uh, there's also this apartment thing. Can you go in this? Mm-hmm. Oh, does it come out? Okay. Okay, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's two, but it's kind of shifted toward one little direction. So. Oh. Hmm. Your window's a little thick there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I thought I could wobbing that. So. Come here. You get a pretty good look on the bomb site. So I guess you kind of just split these two. Yeah, you pretty much can look over the entire bomb site. I mean, at this point, like you still got to come out to the bomb site. So what CTs would probably do is they play passively. They play back here, corner right here. Try to play the angles on the bomb site. Play back here. Play this really dark area back here. Got a little cubby and corner back here. Like it's just all angles that CTs could easily utilize. You got some weird visual stuff like the railing and this arch window right here. You know, a cheeky little angle. Look at that. I'm assuming to see if get the timing first so you can just easily spray into there. And then you can probably just lock down this uh, angle right there too. Or you can just play passively even here. You can just hide all along the wall and wait till they come right here. So at that point, it's just like if CTs do something dumb, then T's can pick them off from this upper area and this lower area. And if they don't, then they can just go just about anywhere else. Also, what I feel like this map's getting more yellow. <laughs> Is that just me? Okay. Chief, I think you need to drink some water. I think you're dying. <laughs> okay. God, this is really yellow now. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> we must have gone to Mexico. Oh, we're in Mexico. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, MapCore, for hosting this amazing mapping wingman contest. I'm going to... Give you twenty dollars to fuck off with that comment. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone did do that for their fucking submission. It's like, thank you, map Is this a yeah. trick copy pasta from that? Oh my god. 
Okay, anyway, T's really can't do anything. They can play a few sites on a few angles on the bomb site, but it's really useless to uh, even play up there. They have to go to the bomb site. CTs get a plethora of angles and short and longer angles that T's just have to walk into and they can easily just spray them down. This seems extremely geared towards CTs. This just seems so much like a fucking two, 5v5 map that just got ripped into a 2v2. I don't, your little theory about does. like which bomb site played better, I don't think it's true. I honestly think this is a 5v5 map that is just like, no, oh, I contest agree. came up, time to, I don't want to make a new map, rip that, alright, let's go. I have to do the valve method. <laughs> it's like, you got your little mid connector right there, yeah, there's like no mid in this map, you got a connector right there, you got a second connector back here. Like, this easily seems like a 5v5 map. Well, Mr. Potato, maybe maybe if you flipped off of calling me beef, I'd maybe invite you, but I'm not going to since you keep calling me that. Damn. All right, this was Brasita. 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 I am not cultured. Understand. Mm -hmm. We've just become cultured, easy. Okay, next map. Homeless, just play at home. All right. Yeah. Next map. Uh, log logres or logres by MFW. Uh, my face win. A duo. Uh, my face win. A duo of radical separatists aim to destroy a cultural landmark, or rather, what's left of it. Restoration efforts are stopped as the two best soldiers of the SAS are called in to save the heritage site. Staff. Just the two. Yeah, just, just the two. two. That's it. <laughs> Gotta fit in that lore somehow. All right. You know, budgetary this restrictions. So good. They need no more. <laughs> I gotta explain it somehow. Why there's a uh, only two T's and two CTs. Budgetary restrictions are harsh, man. Oh, did I just crash? God damn it! I did. Seven Arkin crashing. Name a more iconic duo. <laughs> it's true. Whoa. How's it going, Twitch yes, chat? Nice. How's everyone tonight? Might be a morning for some people. I'm not oh, too sure. Uh, I was checking the uh, Twitch analytics after the uh, first part of the stream. We had people from a lot of different areas, mostly the United States, but we had we had a lot of people from different places. So I'm just curious where is everyone from. I know our viewer count dipped down because again, I think it's late for a lot of people. But all right, Logris. Logris. Nice little opening here, like the house in the distance. Oh, what happened? Okay. Oh. I, I, what the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it might be the prop dynamic bug. Uh oh. Oh, uh, where's my frame rate? Yeah, get if get out of the corner and it'll fix. So it's the what bug is this? Because I never heard of this. So the bug is if you use a prop dynamic and you have collisions enabled, but it doesn't have a collision model, it'll it'll slow down the server a lot whenever you get near it. The entire server? Oh. Mm -hmm. No matter where you are, it'll slow you down if somebody goes near it. I've never heard of that. It's it's on the, it's why Turnpike lags on the bomb site. Oh, that's because all the info players. Okay. Mm hmm. Because they don't have a collision uh, model. They don't collision model. Okay. So. Yeah. I remember that. Hmm. Yeah, it's a annoying as fuck bug. I wonder if it's trying to just use the the model. That you, what that That's what is. I was wondering if it was like trying just recursively hundreds of times a second like, to use the collision the, model. Yeah, or like the polygons of the model. I don't like... know. Oh, black waves in the wind. The fake ones. I like your setting though. Setting looks really nice. Shim for that little bug right there. At least it's not like part of the main part of the map like uh, Turnpike was. Yeah, that was unfortunate with Turnpike. Got a nice little setting. I like your ruins. Well designed. I like the mountains and trees in the background. Uh, where is that so I can avoid it? Why is uh, there... in, in this corner up here. The, the st these stairs right here. Ah, I see. Oh no, please don't tell me it's another two bomb site. <laughs> I think, I think they're just like, that's a little just like reference if, to it, if it was like a 5v5 map. Mm. I don't think it is really. I, it doesn't look like it to me. That looks like visual. Looks like right. just out of the map detail. Doesn't look like an entire bomb site. 
The entire mansion over there. You get a broken one and a full one for uh, bonus eggs. Well, or not mansion, but whatever sounds. this room, whatever these rooms used to be. This is a tight little. Oh, that's why. I'm... <laughs> okay, I'm trying to. I should look at the radar more. Okay, my mistake. So time from here seems really fast. So you got a little fast route. This is T's, I believe. Let me just double check since I have a memory of a frog. No particular reason why I chose a frog. But... Chief is a frog. I'm literally shaking. That's true. I think. Yeah, extremely fast timing right there. That's like. How many? How fast is that? That's like one. You want, you want a test? I don't need a test. That's like two and a half seconds. Yeah, I think T's get the upper hand immediately. Like. Your choke point's right here. Oh, yeah, okay. Would a three bump state map get disqualified? I just feel let like... Me, before I answer that, <laughs> before I answer bombs. that, let me ask you, what do you think would happen if you submitted <laughs> that three bump site map? In, after I just screamed at a guy for submitting two maps, two bump sites in a map. Bands from SC. Yes, we am here. Haha, <laughs> very ASMR though, and I like to see everyone's maps. Oh no, I am not ASMR. That is Quitsky. And Hello. So, and Sivanark. So it is me. Oh no, you did not. Fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Yeah, tight little angle right there. Yeah, there's like two almost headshot angles right there. That's a. This seems like much more of the uh, gameplay is going to take out place out here, so that's a hard little angle to keep check of. So that's really tough, like you have to lock down this immediately. This reminds me of uh, a bit of station, if you know that one route where it's just like gameplay happens like that. Oh, like that lower route? Yeah, the lower route. Then the upper route is much, yeah. more, route's much more weaponry, you can I know what you mean. much longer route. You can you easily cut halfway in. Yeah, station. That's a unique gameplay thing. Station, station do be a good map though. It did get cut down just because of visuals, and it was incomplete in the skybox and such. Yeah. But it was a very unique gameplay thing. It was one of those maps where I was like, I literally cannot tell the stream how this gameplay will turn out. I need to play test it. And let me tell you, I play tested horribly on it, but I did like it. <laughs> like I would, like I was station... game dominated by the play testers, but I liked it regardless. Station's in like my top five, very close to the top for me. Precision top five what now? I was saying stations like oh, st in station. my personal top five. Yeah, again, if it just fix some like it got like ninth, right? It got ninth overall, eighth Something overall. Something like that. If it like fixes skybox ten, issues, fixed a few visual issues, the uh, squeaky to ladder to squeaky route was uh, not favored by me and a lot of the other judges. I, got, I like the ladder that goes down, just like squeaky to ladder to squeaky. It was too much of an audio thing, but fixed that, some of the visual stuff, the skybox stuff, then it was definitely a comp competitor for top five. And same thing with the other top five maps, too. Like, I, I think everyone realizes that the top three were all split up by two points. Like, that's how close it was. And, like, what was it? Okay, Habra had a bunch of polish issues. Turnpike had the bump side issue, and the bump side design itself wasn't good. Uh, pit stop had the missing model and the bump side that at first pretty much everyone did not like. How all the interests came out of one side. All right, but enough about that contest. That was two years ago. Back to this map. <laughs> so I like this. I like this right area a lot more. I, it does. Okay, well, I, I'll compare the stage show one more time. I was just gonna say, just it seems like the <laughs> gameplay is much more developed when you come out here. Like a lot more utility can be utilized. A lot of the angles it looks like is come up here. I do not like the headshot angles one bit. Especially since you're trying to keep the higher ground up there. It's basically yeah, like a headshot and a headshot. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Especially a bit low, into the lower area. So I like yeah. the idea of jumping between these, but... Yeah. Too bad I can't smoke it. Unless you smoke it perfectly, like right... Ah, shit. Hang on. Yeah. Right there. Think you can jump across without getting seen? I think mine you can, yeah, with mine you can probably get across. Yeah. Yeah, again, your, your added uh, map detail is really nice. I like it a lot. Like the house over there, the little uh, archways, little tent there. Foliage, mountains, trees. The ruins complement it really well. It's a nice theme. I really like the aesthetic of it. Now, well, well, okay. Let me come over here again. I just this one round just seems so whack. 
because like even like with okay with station I'm sorry we're doing so many comparisons but it's probably the only map we can ever think of that did something kind of like this. station reference number three I'm sorry this is like the only map I can compare that's just like insanely fast route to a more developed slower route I don't think there's really other any map wing my map that I can compare it to but your choke point's right here two seconds to the map and if you let go of this like if you lose this any CT like right in this area like I can choose too. I can choose to either come out of this middle route, and maybe CTs are like either here or here, but you're most likely just going to come into this flank route because you have oversight of the entire area now. And while gameplay is much more developed out here, if you lose this lower route, you're just screwed to begin with. Like with CTs on station, you can like go up to the uh, upper building area or like around the uh, kind of courtyardish area around it. Sorry. But if you lose that, you like you lose the most map control immediately. Like you get the bomb side of the end station, but just this you get. Like if you if you lose a choke point, the fast choke point, CTs have a lot of fallback on. If you don't, you're kind of just stuck to. Back here and maybe some areas on the bomb site, but you're you're up. you're exposing two different entrances. So my main gripes are just the headshot angle and the big one is just the fast route seems a little bit too much. We'll probably give this maybe a play test. I'll probably do a few quick rounds on it just to see. I think we're I'm doing a lot of like half asterisks on some of these like pretty good maps that have just like a few issues. Let's give it a few rounds just to see like what does this gameplay feel like? Like how do these sp specific routes feel like? Stuff like that. Overall visually I really like it. It's a nice aesthetic to it. The ruins, the foliage. Just a few issues. Also, where was this drop down coming from? It's like just at several times. I was trying to look for it. Is there a middle the water? route? Okay, there is a middle route. Oh, uh, this? Wondering. You I mean? Kept, yeah, I kept wondering about it. It's like, I swear you can get you can access it. Mm. So you can come down here. Ah, oh, but it gives you audio. See, that's pretty good. You are forced to give audio, and you can peek up a little bit further, and there is a blind spot. See, like, this is a good gameplay decision. I like this a lot. Okay, if you just cover the headshot angles, kind of maybe made this like the only like peek out right here. Kept that. Play a closer game, so then suddenly it's like you have to check further back and closer. There's a blind spot right there. It's just this route over here just seems so wacky. It seems so chaotic and really just tears up how gameplay works on this map. I think there just needs to be a length in, just just needs to be like removed. Like I don't, like I still like the two like routing decisions you did over here. You have the uh, audio drop down and like the ones over here. I still feel like this could be a route, maybe. Maybe don't get rid of it all, but like lengthen it, give it more, like, give it something. Uh, I'd be interested to know what maps you are picking to revisit for a playtest. I've been kind of hinting at a lot of the maps I've been writing down asterisk. I'm not going to say, though. At the expense of, like, someone's map I'm probably not going to be playtesting, it will be like, what the heck, man, my, my map's the greatest, you are biased, I hate you, Judge. And there are probably other judges, of the other five judges probably wrote down a map or two that I didn't choose. And I was like, okay, they'll play test and maybe I'll join their playtest, they'll join mine, yada yada. But you are picking and biased. Oh, I win. Bye did, bye. Did you rig the wingman contest? Please answer. Yes. But yeah, I'm pretty hinful of which maps I write down. Sometimes I try not to, sometimes I don't mean to, but uh, I've been doing, I've been putting down a lot of maps. I will literally count to you how many I have written asterisks and like the half ones right now. We've got four right there, on that side, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I have sixteen maps of the fifty about something. about fifty-seven. That I've, either put an, right that I've either put an asterisk or a half asterisk on. So, what the heck? My life is a great as you were by his chief. I hate you, chief. All right, very understandable. Have a nice day. So this was log rest. I don't have too much more to say about it. Anything else you guys got? Yeah, I want to say you talked about this drop down in mid, um, and how it gives an audio cue. That reminds me of another map that gives you an audio cue when you drop down. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called DE Station. Oh my um, god! It was the... <laughs> oh my god! Let's go. With the See past. their comparisons. Okay. 
Sage Stone is a unique map, okay? <laughs> if you got other as if you got aspects of your map that are comparison to a unique map that was that did pretty well, I'm gonna compare it, man. I'm not saying it is like that map. <laughs> I'm just saying you did like this unique just, feature, and I wanted to say like, hey, that's pretty. I good. just thought of that, and I think I'm the funniest person ever, so you I are, that's why I had to say it. You are a fucking comedian. All right. Thank you. The comedian's map was earlier. Put on your clown shoes and walk the hell out of my stream. All right. <laughs> Give us your next map. All right, our next map is Anvers by probably Erab. I assume is how it's pronounced. I forgot the chick Let's clipping. Ah. This, this is set in Antarctica, and that is the only description. There weren't too many weird things about it. I'll give it. I'll just put like an initial thing down again. Uh, this is. I think this is his first map, or at least his first one in the workshop. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. What's the uh, moment? What's the theme of it? Uh, it's set in it's set in Antarctica. Ooh, That's okay. all we have. Another Arctic map. I had a whole description, but it got deleted. Oh, I hate to see it. Classic. Thank you. Thank you, CSGO uploader. Very cool. <laughs> Workshop bug strikes again. again. I'm not tabbing out. CSGO crashes. I, I don't know. Yeah, Labuga 1999 is a good map. WTF, Chief. What the hell is Labuga 1999? <laughs> I have no idea. We're made for. I'm not reading that, and that's what they'll do. Okay, you're just gonna song, sing that song. All right. <laughs> I got a nice, bright little star here. Won't even let me kill myself. Shaking my head. All right. I got a got a little facility area. Run down here. Skybox. No, okay. Are you sure I was suggesting? Okay. That's a little barren, but I'm assuming most of the subs could be inside. Ooh, okay. Nice blue. Welcome to coming out. Don't worry, I'm joining barely. So, so we got four routes to start off with. Let's see. So, let me start from right to left. Too. So side route comes out here, and it uh, goes to five routes. Wait, was I a T and spawned over here? Both spawn seem okay. Well, no, okay. It just seems like I can go fr pretty far up until I hit a CT. I want to check what's the right timing in a second here. And here's the bomb site. A quick little area. Lots of lights. Just a little warehouse, it looks like a nuke warehouse. Lots of colors. Yeah. Nice little colorful map. You got a little window looking to the site. Don't get too much of a. That's pretty interesting. Don't get too much of an angle into the site. We get a uh, sat line of maybe some of the CTs. Got an uh, interesting texture choice right there. That might have been an error. I'm not sure. Is it the same texture? I mean, it fits right in. It's on the other side. It's I think it's for wall, wall bangs. Okay, just to like point out wall bangs. Maybe. Okay. And yeah, some people do that. Sometimes if if it's uh, blends in more if it's uh, the look, the setting, compared to others. So we have two little routes right here that kind of just evolve and dissolve into one little route. Oop. Yeah. Okay. Probably a checkpoint right out here. Probably want to test that. And. Okay, for let's test this timing oh, real quick. I can go on the other side. This is my Wi-Fi. I've never played Station. Oh. LOL. Uh, okay, right. where am I going? You. Yeah, where you want to go? I'm sorry for drawing up so many comparisons about that. It's just like, I was, I was trying to. I was just like, you know what? This reminds me of that. I was trying to like draw comparisons, just like to justify like what I saw, because like the, the second white someone might see like a route that takes a two-second choke point. Might not think of it as very good, but I was trying to like compare it to a really good, well-designed, unique map. So, I'm sorry if I drew up too many comparisons, but it was a good overall map. I like it. Talking about yours there. Okay. Uh, for I'm gonna do two timings. I want you guys to go. It's T farthest right, CT farthest left. The bottom number. Okay. Cool. The I gotcha. Water area. Okay. Yep. All go right. On. Let's go in three, two, one, go. 
All okay. right. Oh, yeah, he, he was there like a good second before me, probably. All right, so you can lock. So this character is just kind of free for them. You can do a quick little, you got to like extra head start molly, smoke, whatever. Lock that down. Then this is the kind of killer thing. Easy side, easy side line into the bomb site. I don't feel like CTs can get up very fast here. I think the quickest route is to the bomb site. Just I don't know what they can do with it. Okay, so can jump up there. I'm okay. I might have to test three times. I want to test uh, mid route. The window? Yeah, looks like that's their main mid route. So okay, I'll just run towards the window then. CT are going up towards the bomb site, and then T are going toward the uh, window. So that, yeah, just just that, that, that door, yeah. In here, and yeah. then... Okay, yeah. Cool. Okay. Alright, let's go in three, two, one, go. There, it's about right here. Alright, so CT is actually do get decent on the bomb site, so... Probably play more into this area back here. All right, one more timing. Uh, far okay. right for CT, far left for T. Okay. Uh, so just uh, split up into CT specifically. What I want you to do is, when you get, uh, actually fly over here real quick to the warehouse. Stop when you hit this orange frame right there. Okay. We're going inside. Yeah, inside. You're so you can go all the way at the top. You go. Yeah, yeah let's see. Like fastest route will be the building. Or, or, oh yeah. Okay. Never mind. Go to the building. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right, three, two, one, go. There he is. How much time did you have right there? Uh, at least two seconds. Okay. Or maybe, maybe, maybe like two seconds. One, uh, one and a half or two. Chief, what is the timing to up dog? What is chief timing? <laughs> <laughs> So, Boy. looks like the well, looks like the uh, timings are pretty good. I am a little skeptical of this one route over here. It just seems like it's something that this seems like a very easy way for to reward T's for fighting for this choke point right here. Like CT should definitely have the angle first right here. Then if they win it, smoke it off when the choke point or whatever. Then they can choose to either go for flank or direct that line into the bump sight. Cause this route definitely feels like a really rewarding route. Like see, this is the one that gives you like the most sight line to the bump sight. The CT's have that warehouse typing very well down. So I feel like I should be able to win this, because T's, as long as they just give, like, they can just hold this for one or two seconds, throw a smoke, throw a molly, then they easily just have this middle, they have this right down here, and they can choose just to come up here and flank, and then suddenly have access to the entire behind side of the map. So, visually, just a little colorful, little nuke asset thing. Bump set design looks pretty good. Just you got your areas to plan for, you got your safe plants. Nothing too out of whack. Pretty normal. Let me just make sure. Uh, give me the bump. Give me the bump. Give me the bump. Okay. Oh. <laughs> give me the bump. Give me the bump. Give me the bump. I gave it to you. I gave it to you. Have it. You have it now, Chief. Yeah, thanks, Seven Ark. I'm glad you were the one who gave me the bump. <laughs> Some chance it was clipped. Yeah, it's clipped. Okay. Yeah, this time I actually will check clipping. I'll probably go back to play this other map anyways and check timings. Or, uh, sorry, check clipping and uh, gameplay. Okay, it looks overall pretty good on clipping, so no worries there. Basically, I got a Newcastle thing. Very nice, very calm, very colorful. The only grab I have would be this route right here. I feel like this should be more of a CT favorite one. TZ to win this route with it just giving the most advantage. Because if you look, like, got your initial window one, TZ have the angles, TZ can play the bomb site. Got the warehouse, play either the outside route, the inside. If you win it, you just get directly to the bomb site. You can't go for. Oh, it's a squeak. It's a squeaky. I guess you can just. I don't know even, I don't know even know if T's can hear that, whatever, but I guess you just have a squeaky there. But that far right route seems like the most critical for the entire map. I feel like it definitely should have uh, had a little bit more adjusted timing there. That's just a nice little map. I think it's pretty nice. A little bare in some areas. Probably see what want to diverge more from the uh, diverge, diverse, diversify from the nuke assets. 
People always like using them. They're very good assets, but don't try re relying solely on a uh, nuke warehouse kind of theme. So, that's all I gotta say. This was inverse. inverse. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Put up our next map. All right. The next map is Grissetto by Andre Valera, who worked on Kaizen and um, Empire. Ooh. What's the name of the map again? Grissetto, or Grissetto, something okay. like that. Hello, Oofman. One, two, three, four, seven. One, two, three, seven, four, four, five. How is it going? Do I want to buy a box of Thin Mints? What are you, a Girl Scout? I might. Dude, tag along to where it's at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh no. For real talk though, Ghost Scout cookies are hella expensive. I know it's for their fundraiser thing, but like... What, really, like $4 really a box? box? It was, was it $4 a box? No, I, I'm pretty sure I had more. Or maybe they did bigger boxes only? I don't know. I, feel like I mean, it, it, might be, it might be more where you are. Of course, they, you live in a more expensive increase, area. True. They increase prices like yearly. Do you want to watch me install the BFGPU? Hustle Hub, I don't know. Not, oh, I do not know what the BFGPU is. Uh, his, his 3990. Chief, it's me, Oofman from the Classic nine. Offensive server. Sorry, I do not recognize most people from most servers, so... Apologies in advance. <laughs> Sad. Who the hell are you, server? Chief, who am I? Uh, uh, <laughs> you worked on uh, the, the, the Diffusal Spooky Manor. It's QMS. It's true. That was the only map I've ever done, the Diffusal Spooky Manor. Alright. Oh, they spawn on the bottom side, I see. Of course, that too. Classic. Let's take a look. Yeah, give me a, one more time on the uh, map theme real quick. Doesn't say. I mean, say? it's just okay. Italy, probably, I guess. It's just always Italy, okay. Take a look at T spawn here. I got a nice little view. Nice, simple little detailing all around. It's the Inferno Plaster, right? So I'm seeing more Inferno Plaster than. I was gonna say it gives me like the little Italy town vibes, but it's much more developed than that. So don't wanna don't wanna knock on them for comparing it to Italy. Like that one other map. That's pretty much Italy. That was taken down from a 5v5 site to a 2v2 map. Mm. Very large bomb site. This takes up a whole unit of the map. Little back alley back unit. here. Easily switch between that. That can be a little hectic. Easily just like boom sweep that, boom sweep that. Be a little tough to counter. So let's let me get a good look at the routing. He's coming here, come left. Might want to check timings for this. Yeah, let's do timings. Timings. T C T. Go go go. I need. I'm dying. That's nice. Okay, I need. C T. Your far right path and. Uh, okay. T. Your far left. Should I go through this building? Or should I go, like, should I cut this? Because that's probably faster to cut. Go for cut then. Okay. Alright, uh, three, two, one, go. Boom. Okay. Right there. Oh, I saw right it right there. So you're a little bit before that box right there. So you can have me peek out if you want, but T's will have the angle first off. So uh, that's what this route is. I can definitely tell that's what this route is for. Just making sure that T's don't get the first look on you when you peek over, so you hold that farther angle. But T's could also... Mm, I do want to check that real quick. Okay, do another timing, but T, what I want you to do, I want you to come out to this far left corner and hit right there. Okay. CT, I want you to go through the building instead and okay. stop when you kind of like can peek all the way up. Right there, I can see you. Okay. Okay. We're good. Go on your own all right. route. All right. All right, let's go in three. Two, one, go. Yeah. There first. I got it. I got a good spray on him there. Okay. Like I shot, shot about shot, shot about six shots, six or seven before he got there. Okay, so timing has been very much configured. That's what this other route is for. So this has been this had a, some thought put into it. So that's always nice to see. Got some big ability there. Boom, boom, boom. Can do a little peek over if you let them get up too close, but you can wall bang it. So want to thought put into this little route. So. Always can see him more depth than what first appears. Right here. Sir, I see an upper route. How do I get up there? Okay. Uh, the stairs right here from T spawn. 
in that window. I don't know, is this a double ankle? It's a double ankle, ladies and gentlemen. You have a double ankle. Hate to see it. I know some people might dislike my dislike of double angles, but per me personally, I do not like them. Especially in a wingman ga uh, game mode, I do not like double angles. I can get up onto that house actually. Alright, who's, who's got the KZ moves? Get to that rooftop. I do. No, what's up? Get to the rooftop. To the rooftop. Go, go, go. From where? I can't see anything. I know, some retard through his smoke. Some retard through his smoke. Alright, out to the crate. Great house. Great house. I'm go, go, sorry, go. I gotta wait for the smoke to fade here. <laughs> Alright, onto this crate stack? Then onto the house. The other the other house. The other the, the other the other the, the guy standing there, okay. It's a pretty easy jump. Oh yeah, even I can do that. <laughs> okay. Alright, clay brushes on so I can see anything. Alright. So I mean this is a very wacky little uh, area, so you can be you can look through there, you can be on top of there, you can be up here. I mean, I'm pretty sure CT can get up here first, they can actually kind of have that as a blind spot. So you can actually have a blind spot from that little window right there, just hold it from right here. But you will then again have a blind spot to this route right here, then they get up there, or through this little tunnel entry, so... This is very weird. Then even T's can just go through that little archway, come out here, then bam, they're at this other entrance. But there's so much action just like right here, so like one, two, three, and smoke up goes through here, four, all the way in front of the bump site. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, I want to check one timing. Actually, I want to check two. Okay. Uh, okay. It'll be T's far right, CT's far left, I believe. Yep. Okay, do you want me to run into the building or do you want me to go straight, like down the route? Oh, okay. We'll check, we'll check three timings. Uh, <laughs> I, guess, I guess you can just. Actually, no, I know CT's can just hold this angle. It'll, it'll just be two, so. Squidsky, I just want you to go through here and just, just go as far as you can. Run down towards the arch? Yeah, no building. Okay. Building will be next. Okay, cool. Go on your own time. Alright, I gotcha. Alright, let's go in three, two, one, go. Right there. It's pr almost instant as soon as I get around this corner, it looks like. Super fast. Okay, so both peek at the same time then? It looked like it. Maybe maybe you were a, like a tenth of a second earlier. Yeah. Okay. You can also go around here too for the later timing. I don't know, it's tough to say. Uh, go through building this time, CT. And okay. do it. Like towards mid? Uh, yeah, this I guess you call this mid. Yeah, yeah, okay, right that's here. what I thought. Peek up there. All right. am, I, am I going you, in building? I think you're going the same way, right? Uh, yeah, try going through building. Okay. I can't Wait. tell if you can run past or whatever. Both okay, go you want him... Hold on, I'm confused. What Let's are you see. telling him to do? Wow. Where am I going? I'm pretty sure you'll okay. By the time no, I know, right but here, you told him to go building, and I don't think that's what you meant to do. Oh, sorry. Let me clarify. Uh, T, I want you to go up to the CT building, kind of run through there, just see what timing. Run through the arch. Let me just. So like, you'll run come, you'll here. run through here, and then you'll go in here where Squidsy will also go. I see. I'm assuming okay. he'll be back in that corner by the time you even get there. I was there, looking so. at this building. Okay, sorry. So... Yeah, I forgot. Second, separate building. My mistake. But everyone knows what okay. they're doing. All right. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the way to the other side. Okay. So you can. Oh, CT timing is definitely a little, little bit brutal. Uh, thank, thank you, Soul Miss. I think you've already left. Uh, thank you for stopping by the stream. Man, we are playing. The map, name of the map is Grisetto. It's like two skin for some reason. I don't remember two skin, so. Uh, it will never be in Wingman CSGO. We don't, we don't know if any map will ever be in Wingman CSGO. The official game mode. I'm pretty sure Val might have noticed that like Wingman maps have been dominating the workshop for like, the past two weeks or so. So hopefully they noticed. Val's been quiet recently. Not a lot of stuff they've been doing recently. So who knows what they're planning. Who knows if they'll do anything with this. Because a lot more quality submissions this time around compared to the 2018 contest. But we will see. Okay, so CT timing team's a little intense for T's, especially if you get all the way to the separate entrance right there, then peek out. Then they got this area right here. Instant peek, do a little quick shot right there. That's it. Instant timing. Hold a deeper angle right there, hold that left side. Then you can also get onto the roof here. Interesting that you can get on the roof back here as well. 
Back at T. Back at T. What in the world? Well, you can't do anything with it, can you? Okay, you can. <laughs> I guess you can like. You, get, you can, yeah, you do a little cheeky thing right there, but it doesn't look like you can do so much with it. Save. Random light is random. You can see that. Okay. Uh. And then yeah, you got the double angle up here. This route just seems like extremely chaotic. Just like I don't like the double angle. I don't like how LCDs get up a little too much land or too much area to cover. I can't see what you're going for. I don't know, it's tough to say. Maybe make that like a wallbang spot, have it like you can use utility through it. Something like that. Like that isn't complicated, it's just like this area right here, the timing just make it so just make it so complicated. It would definitely be something I have to test out with gameplay though. I feel like I know what it's gonna be like, but maybe a little half asterisk just to see what this route feels like. Then bomb site itself is it's a lot more for uh, giving for T's to plant, but I'm afraid it's one of those maps where it's so backed up, like, CT's have nowhere really left to go. I don't think Bomb will ever get planted on this. Alright, we got over here, but by that time, like, CT rotation is basically non-existent on this map. Like, you're here and there in an instant. So here, boom, need help somewhere else. Like, you already have this mid lockdown, so I really don't even need check here. Then you got over here. Like seriously, if you don't have a T coming over here, you can easily have your second CT. Kind of just like cover this middle area, have your other guy play more passive on the bump side, or this back area right here. Just, it just seems like e very easy for CTs just to be here and there in an instant, lock down your routes. And again, even with all the chaotic stuff on this route over here, you don't even necessarily need to peek any of this. You can just, as long as your two guys are alive, you can just fall back. You got the cover on the bump side, you got the back area right here. You only have to deal with two angles right here. They can either just come out to the side of the crates or in that little building right there. Basically, they're still the same angle. Or they can just come out like this. They chose this little mid area over here. So they still have options. They can easily make sure that this gets locked down. They know they're trying to do like a two split over there. And then it's still a 2v2 deathmatch just because the bomb site never gets utilized. They've been just being like right on CT spawn. It just feels like more of a deathmatch than the bomb site ever being utilized. So. It's got a few gameplay things, it just needs to kink out, but it looks very nice visually, nice little aesthetic. Nothing over complicated, like the blends of the plasters and everything. Nice little scenery, nice little skybox detail. It's a nice little map, I think I like it, just gameplay needs some stuff to work out. So that's all I gotta say about Grisetto. Alright, next map is Garden. What number are we on, by the way? Uh, I think we just passed 60. I think that's 60. Ooh, so this next one should be 61. Chief, do you recognize me? I'm Extra Cheesy Pie from Story Central Discord. Never heard of you. Oof, man, I want you to, I want you to <laughs> chef tech to eat. I don't know what, is that Chex mix? Is that chef tech? I don't know what you're talking about. All right. All right. Garden. DE Garden is a map set in the aesthetics of classical Japanese temple. It is, it is designed for quick is encounters it is designed for quick encounters of wingman game mode with single bomb plant, though it has a little twist for default rules. Each round, weapons and equipment are generated randomly, which can vary what? from classical assault or sniper rifle standoffs to absolutely ridiculous oh. setups such as oh, one-shot yeah. HE bombardment or heavy armor with bump mines and machine guns. Usually, the more bizarre loadout is less frequent. Huh. You can't change the eco of the game! <laughs> Uh, first rift with their just automatically gay. Here, have a hostage. Oh, you got the thousand dollars. That's good for you. Okay, have a hostage. Now, okay, this from... is a bomb map, chief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about rift, and now I'm talking about this. Now, <laughs> short of facts and logic. I'm talking about station. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my <laughs> god, okay. What side you want a hostage? Here you go. What side you want? Just give us, give you guns. Well, here you go. So Twitch chat, how's it going? Hope everything's good with you guys. Since I had the same three people talk for a while now, with the occasional other guy pop popping in and out. I wonder who that is. Hello? Chief is a bad streamer, and that's a ban hassle off. When are we play test, Chief, please? Comment when we finish, Chief. I will let some of you guys know what maps I want to play test. Random is funny, Chief. Can I be random? No. Garden is crazy good looking. 
though the name feels somewhat underwhelming. Never judge a map by its name. FPS. I'm I'm biased towards Japan maps. It's a good thing I'm not a judge. Uh, frames are. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Non-existent. <laughs> oh no! Don't say that. <laughs> Normally when frames are non-existent, I get like 30 FPS. I'm getting 60 when staring into the center. Yeah, I'm at a. I'm dipping below 100. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna have like 20. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Quick fix oh, what is this? Why is your purple FPS. shadows? Oh, okay. Mm. What is with this lighting? I mean, it does look, but uh, yeah, my frames. Where's the Where's the worst frames? How low can I? The frames uh, are uh, just... all over. The, the shadows are Stay purple. The they give right here, seven dark. Right here. Uh, oh, you're over here. Oh, look at this light. Okay, way. if I can look actually have a few frames concept. and look at everything. Well, the visuals are down nice. thirty. 55. I agree they look nice. Is that purple city? Big sky box. Oh, the river. Interesting grass. Well, I almost want to wanna... wanna... play this to see how this game really works. I like to play it if I had frames. <laughs> this is also true. Oh, you can go inside this building. Can you jump on I can. You can get on top of like all the roofs, I think, if that's what that, you're asking. Oh, this is just chaotic. I guess it's intentional. Yeah, it is, because oh, yeah. there's like ladders and stuff. And like to get on um, top. I know the things that bump mines could be a thing you get, mm -hmm. so yeah. Interesting. So how does the skill yeah. gun thing work? Because I'm probably uh, every crazy. every round every round you spawn with random weapons. And right. I don't think you can buy. Uh, hmm. So, I appreciate the unique twist to it, but any twist or unique factor comes with the gameplay as in the map design and not trying to change the actual, like, physical gameplay to the point where you throw, like, a main factor of the game out the window. Rift did a little bit of that, that's why I'm, I harped on Rift for just giving the hostage to the CT right away. I know hostage is a bit of a... Not the greatest game mode, but still there is a bit of a balance to it. it and just kind of threw it out. Garden, you just give eco away. You just give the money away. I guess you can only buy utility. I'm guessing, or is there just? I don't think it, I don't. I don't even think you can buy anything. Yeah, um, you got a nice map except for the frame rate, but I'm giving gameplay a zero. Damn. Mm -hmm. It did be like that. 20 people on this map. I don't think 20 people would be a good time for optimization. Zero FPS. I mean, you could. I could there see is. This one is like a. Um, there is. Which okay, would you would call it map. A, not map. Uh, mode. Uh, like a. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, like a. What's it called? I don't know. Like a free for all death match. Mm. Uh, uh, what's, what, there's a thing I'm trying to think of for it. Um, a specific game mode or word. I can't think of it. What are you trying to think of? It's just not a CDF map. Like like a like a game mode that other games have. Um, can't like, think of a word. Like gun game? Not like gun game. Like they just do that. I guess like how a free for all. Um, like re definitely not anything like this. But uh, I can't think of the word. I'm just gonna die. Understandable. It's a shame, know, but yeah, because just I like, do want to see it being interesting. Just like yeah, a free for all, just like respawning, like shooting people, like almost like Overwatch. Not at all for CS:GO. Oh but... my god, the entire map is random. You can surf along the side. I, I, I do, I do, I do want to say I think it's pretty crazy how much detail he put in outside the map. Like if you go up the hill, like all these I buildings. The I see the rivers. Yeah, there. I think it looks. Oh, really there's nice. an upper area too. Like what the? Oh, I didn't even know that you can go up here. What? You can go in like all the buildings. Oh wait. Oh, do you mean like up here? Oh. No, that's not. None of that is playable. Okay, I was wondering because it looks great out, but like, yeah, still in the buildings and everything. Yeah, the outside yeah, area yeah. on this left, the distant buildings, mountains, the greenery, the rivers you can see in between. Yeah, just it's so well detailed. There's so many good visuals. Just like 
they should have asked. They should have said something. It's like, hey, can I change the entire gameplay balance of Counter Strike when making this map or something? Like, I don't know if they got feedback on this because again, like the po the polish or the uh, just the uh, fucking hell, the the optimization is just not existent. The shadows are bright purple. Yeah, you said the whole map is rendering. How do you check that again? Uh, um, map wireframe one. Uh, I, I recommend seven arc. You don't do it, but some of the more powerful. Can oh yeah, it. it'll it'll Shit. it'll over half your frames if uh -oh. not more. <laughs> yeah, maybe not then. <laughs> I'm getting 10 FPS with it on. Oh yeah, no, I won't. <laughs> then in that case. I was thinking that the same too. I was thinking the same thing too. Extra cheesy pie. This would look like a really good flying Scotsman map. Like get the upper and lower. This re this does remind me of uh, shoots that the little buildings can go in and out of. This would be an amazing flying Scotsman map. I personally believe. I mean, just optimization and uh, it really sucks if they really did intend for this map to be on the women contest. I should have asked one of the judges about this because unless they said yes and I didn't know anything about it because I'm giving gameplay zero right now. And I'm pretty sure we'll just I'll discuss that with the other judges, but they're kind of just throwing out the eco and game balance that way. It kind of does seem like a plain Scots map. It seems pretty symmetrical. Got your buildings, height, whatever. Are we sure this is not a plain Scots map? Could be. <laughs> Another ported game mode map. 50 for looks, 0 for gameplay, I guess. Interesting. They, what, craft 1, I'll look at your FPS. Uh, I'll tell you my FPS, it's barely surviving in double digits. The guy who made this is like a 3D artist, I think. Yeah, definitely should just ask someone for a. Uh, just how this game mode works, how the contest works. They get zero in Polish because it's Japan map. Biggest Polish, trip. oh no! What the fuck? Japan maps are the best. What do you mean? Anime map. Thank you, Hassel, for your good insight. No, no. Anime people. Map shipped should be a wingman map, right? Is there a map called shipped, or is it my description? That's a that is a cat food map. Yeah. That is a cat food map. I remember that. No, this is also a danger zone map contest. All right, don't know what half of you guys are talking about. So, uh, <laughs> I pretty much seen all I can. It's really a shame. Such good visuals on this map. Just, I'm gonna give this for now anyway. Gameplay score zero. All right, next map. All right, next map is Sakura or Sakura. Uh, I don't speak Japanese. Yeah, I told you, we got a lot of uh, Asian-style maps submitted. This one is more uh, Asian-like city. Okay. Uh, over Ooh. over time, this Japanese town has been taken over by the mega corporation Sakura. It may seem like these terrorists are trying to target the company, but if you look closer, they're merely doing Sakura's dirty work. This attack, the attack will do many things to Sakura's benefit, and all the lies in the way is the Ramen King restaurant. Will you save it, or oh. will you destroy it? Oh no, not the Ramen. Anything if about the Ramen, ramen. King. <laughs> If I'm ever a judge for anything, people have got to know that it's got to do Japan, and I'll just vote it. If, if, that's why you're a judge. If, if, I'm, if I'm ever a judge for anything, whoever puts the most, like, fake corporations in their map, <laughs> and, like, like joke corporation, like, they win. That's that's it. The squid skiing company. Ah, uh, yes, the vending machines. This is true. Dude, like every block, there were five vending machines. <laughs> it, like, so you're saying not... there's not enough? So you're saying? Yeah, actually, <laughs> you're right. There, there, are, like, there's only three I that I saw in that one area. So, wow. Yeah, there's three here. This is this right. is egregious. Sakura. Ooh, do I? I haven't been keep, keeping with my Japanese, but I remember what these chats. Wow. Yeah. Come here, tell me what this is. I'm an idiot. It's Sakura because it's, oh, <laughs> I feel dumb. Now. Does it does it say Ramen King? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I assume it one. does. That's oh wait, some of this is like not. Yeah, uh, not to us. Is this our map. second night map? I think Stardust is the only other one, right? Oh shit, this is actual Japanese. Wait, I, I can't mean, read all this. Technically, Orion could be at night because it's on the moon. <laughs> there is no such thing as day and night in space. So. 
Um, so Elsa and Orion don't count. I, Damn. Alexa, remind me tomorrow at noon to practice my Japanese. <laughs> oh, he's going full <laughs> Japanese. Right. Okay, that's I've, I've been practicing, but I haven't done it for like the last couple weeks, and I feel bad now that I can't remember. I used to be able to read all these symbols. The well, world? mostly symbols. I like this sign, it's so... Wait, oh yeah, it's good here. Sign. So fun. Um, where? Right here. Oh yeah, that's from uh, Venice, or Canals, who I mean. Made, who made this man? Uh, his name is Biggie Nex. That's his name in Discord, too. Alright. Oh, I got a nice little money building. I think this oh, is I the, saw uh... him talking in chat. Yeah, yeah, all... <laughs> I remember him. What a message Do you have a hard disk or an SSD? Good question. I believe you have an SSD. If that's a legit question, because I don't know, like, half the time if you're ever serious or not. Fun fact, I know very little about computers. Whenever, anytime someone brings up, like, RTX and all this GPU and CPU shit, I'm like, yes, very good, and yes. Like, I'm that very, like, ill knowledge when it comes to, uh, computer stuff like that. Same. I'm a boomer with in a zoomer. <laughs> this right route seems very unnecessary, honestly. This seems like another added route that really doesn't have a purpose. I mean, you got this really long, open route, too. Like, yeah, this is really long. And open and just. What would be the timing here? I think T's get the. Yeah, T's get the sideline first. But see, T's can like slowly kind of like and go out towards it. Oh, then I guess. Uh, I'm guessing T's get also the side route first, so. I mean, I guess there's that. It just seems a little bit output and stretched out from here. But I guess if we get T's the timing first, I can understand why you would do that. $12 for ramen is. Sounds expensive. Like, yeah. that's expensive ramen. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know the price of ramen in Japan. It's $12. I'm telling you the, the price. Okay. It's 12 US dollars. No, I meant like, I don't, I don't know. I meant like, I don't know how much it normally is. Like, maybe that's the normal oh, price. sure. Yeah, another hard problem, just that, like a long angle like this, is that if you're doing a nighttime map, you gotta have your backdrop be brightened up. And with such a long angle, you don't have really much of a bright backdrop to look at. Yeah, like like that is extremely tough. To, I if, if he doesn't move, I don't see it right now if he go. You gotta have a brighter backdrop if you're doing such a long angle and you don't have that. Like a building like this, this would be the perfect building to have a backdrop down there. It's like, okay, have a road down here, it's just like, oh, split out, or have the buildings be like a little bit right here. Something like that. Because this is just insanely dark. It starts from right here, yeah, all the way back. And you got a little bit of a brighter angle. Like, oh yeah, you can all <laughs> you go all the way back here. Like this is this is too much. Like we're getting into like Eiffel range of uh Oh no, the... we're, we're getting into the Eiffel, Eiffel range. range of uh sightlines. This is extremely long and not helpful for either team. Especially twos. So But let's look at the rest of the map. So bomb site's nice and big. It is tucked pretty far away. Go up here. I believe this is an upper area for CTs. Okay, so CTs automatically get this upper area. Looks like they can boost up regardless. Oop. Then ah, Wi-Fi is not having a bit good time. Wall bankable there. Hello, can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, making sure. Got a little dark corner right here. This little alleyway. Even more kind of do it than Chief and Wi-Fi dropping. Uh, Seven so and crashing. <laughs> <laughs> Easy rotation area out. Yeah, I mean this is honestly this would be favorable. I don't even think like <laughs> T's. I mean T's get the sideline first to an extent. But if you lose this, and I mean, if you want to play the closer game, you just go through this first route right here, and then just suddenly just start rotating out here, and then I'm playing the blind spot, which would be down here. Or if you just smoke it off, and you suddenly get this 
been a lot longer just going through this uh, side red over here. Then you're in their face. So I'm starting to understand why this side red exists. It just seems like this main route right here just seems very not good. Like I know CTs are going to be more back here and they're a lot darker. I mean, you do have the wider trap right here. But even with T's, like T's are still really... Let's have a T come back here. We had a CT last time, so I want a T to be right like middle of the road. So the normal angle of the peak would probably be right about here. Right, and I can see that, but it's still really hard to get your focus on. Ooh, that and at this point, you have literally faded out. <laughs> have I? You have. You have actually faded out, so I can... Oh, okay, your name is faded out. Yeah, okay. There you go. I took my eyes off you for a second. I was looking over the Twitch chat, then I looked back at you, and your name wasn't there. I was like, "Oh God, he faded out of existence." <laughs> I believe there's a lim there's a limit to that too, like uh, 2,500 units or something, or some really high number. Like, don't player models like just die. Like they just fade out of existence. Someone verify for that for me. What do you want to see? Uh, player models, but like they they actually do fade out of existence, right? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, I think the only time they fade out is um, whenever the game doesn't think they're visible anymore, like, for visibility. But I don't think they fade out at a certain distance by themselves without everything else fading out, too. Okay. Well, I mean, your, your guns will still fail at 30,000 units, so that's the thing. The, the, this, this long angle, you can't hit it with an op. Like, it, the op does go all the way, so it's not 8,000 units. I don't know how many it is, though. Ah, pretty close, I bet. Let me test. Man, you I appreciate you guys doing this. Test. Looking at analyzing CS map for hours on end is not easy. Thank you for- I appreciate that. I mean, a lot of people just come to see their maps and everything, so it's always nice to hear the appreciation. I- and We do get a lot of criticism for- I'm like, trying to time this. <laughs> I'm sorry. We get a lot of criticism <laughs> just for like, like oh man, doing. you're judging this map in five minutes and not even giving it proper feed, like play test. It's like, we will play test and we'll do all this other stuff. We'll check up on it. So, it's always nice to hear that every now and then. So, thank you. <laughs> MFW, MFW. <laughs> okay, so um, knife speed is 250 units per second, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I so, remember that. Yeah. I made that radar timing tester tool. There's 250. So that is the 3200 units, this angle, about 3200 units. That's a lot of units. Indeed. Five bit more. Alright, I want to test one timing real quick. Can I have CTs and Ts at their spawns? Upper balcony area for I believe CTs right here. Upper balcony. Okay, so you want me to run up there and then do you want me to like run towards the alley? Like the uh, drop yeah. down? Yeah, drop okay. down alley. Uh, Ts are going down alley I... right here. See this alley? Going down right down, down here? Alley. Yeah, okay. 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 Alright, let's down. go in three, two, one, go. I got to the box, so I could, yeah. So step back a little bit. Okay, so CTs get this. Out. So this would be a tough kind of angle for T's to hold on to, or to like just do anything because they don't have cover. They just have to fully peek out. Do get some utility options. So, so boom, cut you off guard. And I saw you go to the left there. Ah. You have a ladder, which I think is the epitome of choke point uh, entrances. So you go up the crates wow. like a normal human being. Then you can actually back up a little bit. So you just get like a second uh, chance here. They can either back up into the cities right here or fall back into the upper balcony of the bomb site. So I think uh, this route's pretty good. It's just this long, long, long route. And then just another layer on top of that would just be the side routes here. I think if this was shortened, uh, brighter, and had a little bit more cover to utilize for both sides, I think this route would have been a lot nicer. It's tough. Again, again, night maps are always the tough thing to do, but there is potential here. I do like the art style of a lot of these areas. Some seem like really under-detailed and some kind of just like thrown on, kind of just like not really utilized. And you got other areas just like, okay, kind of like assets just thrown onto there. Again, you got some of these just like, they look a lot nicer. You got this background area, I believe part of the skybox. Actually, uh, it's still in the, uh, I don't think it's part of the 3D scout box, actually, I can't tell. So you got some nice things going on, just this large area needs to be a bit trimmed down. 
Yeah, and Bumpside just being so far up again. We probably have some people over here. Bumpside will probably occasionally get planted. It's a decent size. Aries kind of you can plant for. Wait, where did CT spawn? Um, uh, Back here. There. Yeah, it is. It's, it's all the way up here. Oh, so, I didn't see the bottom yeah. right one for some reason. So. Ooh. Ah, fuck. Might have accidentally pressed the down key instead of the up key. Might have shut the password. I think it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, on to the next map. All right, cool. Uh, next map is retained by Nikki Pumps. Uh, let me switch that up here. Okay. Uh, made for 2020 Wingman Level Design Contest. This map sets in the countryside somewhere in Japan. Another oh, Japan. Right. Man, we are stacking these uh, Japan maps, man. Everyone had this game. Like, right. is not a judge. <laughs> <laughs> How many yeah, of This is like six? Just lined I knew there was a maps. few. I didn't realize there was this many. I think I saw two by, by thumbnails. I thought there was two or three. I yeah, think that's what I thought. Six or too. seven by now. I wish I knew the yeah. map names better because if I knew the map names, I would probably would tell. Yeah, I, it's, de it's definitely hard to remember all the map names when there's like 94 maps. Like, you know. Fence? It's pretty much easier to remember like. I looked at the list of the uh, 2018 contest. <laughs> I could like. If I saw the name, I'd be like, oh, I remember that map. Oh, yeah. is this a custom model that's not done properly? Mm -hmm. Over by T spawn? Looks fine to me. Oh, it's like blazing white yeah. for me. Oh, I wonder if it's from. Super reflective, super white. I wonder if it's from some asset pack that I have installed. Let me look here. Brown model stats. D E cave. Why do I have that? What's D E cave? <laughs> Huh. Every asset pack known to man. Yeah, is this white for you too, Chief? Uh, let me check. Th this fence over here? Uh, it's, There's black, normal. it's black array for me. Okay, so it's normal for us. Why? Yeah, That's if so you go weird. on my stream, you can see what it looks like. That's weird. I already sent the screenshot. Consider being better. With the whiteness. Just the glowy. Yeah, it's... Like, All right, Twitch chat, it's time to it's time to play. What is oh. DE Cave or CS Cave? I don't know. Can someone, DE oh. cave. Can someone figure out what cave the map is? What's this map? Is that the gambling map? This map is retained. Retained. Oh, but I think. Uh, let me borrow a single player real quick. Can we boost? Yeah, oh, that's what I'm thinking. Too. Bada bing, bada boom. T's got no chance. Actually, well, T, wait, T's gonna use that. CT's are over here, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, CT's have no chance. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you blend, like, foliage is all around you. It's really hard to see, even with, like, the blue uh, paint on this wall right here. You got tarp for days. Or, that's the wall, tarp, cloth. I mean, you know what's right here? Big tarp. At least now I can tell where the model is duplicated because it just <laughs> glows right at me. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, another one that was glowing over here as well. Uh, where was it? This, this is thing. Yeah, this is over here and over there, but... Hmm, weird. They're working for me. Alright, so here's T's pretty barren building. I mean, it's simplistic, kind of like that style again. Uh, okay, there's a little black line. Now I'm seeing it. Okay. Thought your radar was a little bit outdated for a second there. And can we take a minute to uh, realize that a lot of people have been doing the radars pretty well? I think we had one map, that one map uh, that was a 5v5 port. But other than that, yeah, I think the one who's done radars have lined up pretty well. The radars are pretty solid, yeah, because TAR is easy. TAR is easy. I mean, we, I think I've seen one or two maps that didn't look like yeah. TAR. They look like a, kind of a mix of an older. Mm-hmm. Let me figure out this layout now. Can't get a little distracted. Okay. So it looks like CTs can come up here. Just to realize that they can't go all the way up to this middle area. Hate to see it. Okay. Then we go to this far right. This wall bungle. Ah, sad. Feel like it could have been. That should be right. 
Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm out of the bounds. Got kind of an. Oh, okay, so this is a quick choke point area, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay. So about three or four seconds, and then you're kind of just right around here, I'd say. So you got your first choke point right here. Kind of like a backhand strat, so if you give. It feels like another one of those where, like, if you give this up, it doesn't really give anything other except for a flank. So it's easy to just come around where our CTs were, then... So what else? Come to the bomb site. you got this route down here. And where would T's be? You come through this building, out to the right. Let's do timings. I need a T and a TT. Oh, One. I just got back. Good time. Welcome back. Alright, where do you want us to go? T, you're going through the building out toward the bump site. CT, you're going toward the bump site, then taking a right out toward T spawn. Should I should I go like um in front of the truck and like try to cut that corner as fast as possible, or should I like go to the back of the site? Uh, like, sure. like do you want me to do you want me to try to peek into that long route as fast as possible? Is that's that, possible. That's my I can question. I can deduce how long it would take okay. to go around, so Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go in three, two, one. Right there. I was about right there. Okay. So you you, have, you saw it before you came out, right? Um, I think we both like walked around the corner at the same time. Okay, so simultaneous timing. That's interesting. I think that's what it was, at least. Yeah, that's right. what it seemed like to me. So some wreck would definitely need just a little smoke right there. Cross over to the right here. So like, could you get another angle? You can't get another angle. Do like a quick flash to the foliage or a second smoke if you have two coming this way. Come through here to get the upper route, which ooh, CT scan to use. Okay, I forgot about this entrance. Uh, uh, one more timing. I want you to go basically the same way, but I want you to go through the upper area. So, Squid, do you know where that is? Yep. Seven Arc, know where that is? Mm, wait, wait, wait. Let me see which way. Upper area, faster. So we're gonna do the same way you're going through, but instead we're gonna just pretend there's like a smoke in the middle. So, Seven Arc, come where I am right now. I think that's faster. You're gonna cut through here, and you're gonna cut over again, and you're gonna come out this way. And just whenever you see Squidzy. Wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Because you're not on my team, but it's a mistake. For... Over here. Yeah. So, same way you came through. Same way I came through, so through this alley thing. Alright, you're gonna cut through here, all the way through this entrance, and you go up until you see Squidzy, or whenever you guys meet. I see, okay. I'm going I will throw a weird. smoke to visualize the cutoff of the angle. So, go on your two guys' account. Alright, we ready? Hold oh, on, well, I gotta kill myself. Okay. Damn, Damn I hate to see it. Alright, okay. let's, let's go in three, two, one, go. There. I was like right up here. Oh, all right, right. there. Squidsky has a high ground there. All right, it's over, Anakin. <laughs> it's a little bit of a hard angle. I have the high ground. So Even if it's short range, choke. it looks like he does blend in decently well. But I don't think it might be too much of an issue. He did, he's a little bit brighter compared to the darker trees in the background. So it's a tough little angle with the headshots. But if you do win it, then you can do the uh, extremely cheap boost. Even though you can't see it directly to the bomb site. You, oh, you can check that. Oh man, imagine planting for that. Oh, what is that? Collision model? <laughs> go push model. What do you mean? I was gonna say, if you plant it right Very there, accurate. do the boost up there, then you can do a little cheap little thing. <laughs> oh my god. You threw Doppler. Yeah, I'm just gonna double check. Okay. So, interesting design right there. Overall, the lead does seem a little bit thought out. I'm not very appreciative of this right route because like, it's instant like protect your flank route, so you're forcing someone to always be over here. And then, I mean, it's basically a T route, but like you're going to definitely see a T try to like quick flash or quick smoke. Like, they smoke all the way up to that front if you knew how to throw a smoke. Then they get access to two different areas. They can wait for it to clear quickly. Like they can quickly scan out the site or try to go for the upper area. And then meanwhile, you always have to have a CT guy. Always make sure they don't have a uh, 
flank guy coming over. So, it's a tough thing to tell, but I think the gameplay needs to be split up a little bit more fairly for C2s to have options. Because you don't want to be, you, what it's basically doing is that the uh, layout is pincering CTs into this bomb site. And another issue is, is that it's a tucked away bomb site. So again, you're not going to ever, yeah, th this map especially, you're never going to see plants. Unless like, both committed this way and then you had like two random guys commit th out this way to like, lock this down, didn't know or whatever. But this map is literally tucked away in a corner. So you're never really going to see plants here. Yeah, so, interesting thing right there. So. I think the rounding needs to be a little bit better. There needs to be a little bit area developed around the bomb site itself instead of like this pincer in layout. So yeah, visually it's not a whole lot to say about it. I never even really noticed the aesthetic or whatever. It's just kind of stuff yeah, there's around. There's some subtle stuff like there's a custom. I, I think this is a garbage truck. Um, oh yeah, this. But... I was that was something. I was that looked unique, but uh, other than that, I really never noticed too much about it. I noticed like the two houses, just like just random stuff, kind of like scattered around. I can tell. Yeah. So what was this a map based in Japan? Yeah, I think Japan countryside. Oh yeah, it's almost up here, I think. It's countryside somewhere in Japan. Yeah, so especially if that smoke is still there, then instead of going right, you can go up left, and then you can do another cheap boost. That's even worse for CTs. Boom, T's look over there, boom, you're dead. Fire in the hole. Throwing grenade. Anything be done over there. And then you have another cheap way to get CTs. So this route became, becomes even harder because you have that one guy who came over on that left route. Come over here, you're suddenly, you can't focus on the guy over here, you have to back off, and now you're holding it like this. And if you don't want to pick the same, you know, if you don't want to pick the same thing twice, you're backed away all the way back here. It really does feel like a pincer layout that favors T's a lot more. So, that's really all I have to say about it. Uh, fuck tar, substance designer, graph generator is where it's at. Thank you, Jack T. Very cool. Why even have a radar? Make players draw it out with paper and pencil. True. CL level overview and GIMP. That was me in the back in the day. Oh, uh, I hated that. That was awful. Yeah, I hated it too, <laughs> but that's the only way I knew. That's the only way to do it, yeah. Have you played the classic wingman map, DE Unsettling Household? Do not recognize it. I don't even, I don't even know that's Unsettling Household? Unsettling I even, Household. I don't even think that's in the contest. I don't think it's not even on the list. Another quality ship post. All right, next map. Okay, so the next map in the list is PTO. Do you want to look at that? Uh, Which is the map with two bomb sites that you talked about earlier. Uh, yeah, I thought that was the other one was the when I was talking about, but we yeah, apparently two. There, yeah, there are two two bomb site maps. This I is the one. I still want to see it. I still want to see how okay. much effort or how little effort was put into. Okay. This is called retained. Oh, it's such easy place to freeze this spooky manor. What if I made Good a window map. map with two sites and it's also a 5v5? Hmm, wonder what that would be called. My game crushed. Welcome to the club. Hey, Sane! <laughs> Imagine crashing. Yeah, PTO oh, was so that's bad that I didn't that's want the first anyone looking at this. Uh, where is the lighting? Oh, I am initializing road. Can we load in? Find out. Are we gonna right even now. have a triple crash? Oh, the server's dying over here. Oh, is there like a prop dynamic bug? I don't know, but it's like everything is in the reds now. Oh, I'm okay. Loading in. Yeah. All right, dead knife. Let's look at the map together. That's that's prop dynamic bug if everything goes red. Well, oh boy. Okay. Dynamic? Yep. Teleportation, baby. Out of my way, son. I'm teleporting everywhere. You can't stop me. Ah, oh, damn, you stopped me. Okay, map looks uh, fairly complete. This kind of looks like a first time map to me. Where is the lighting? Yeah, yeah, where is the lighting? Where is the prop dynamic? I want to kill it. It's all prop dynamic. Uh... 
So you got you got the worst version of pool I've ever seen. And then you have a street lamp in the middle of a pool area. And then you have a uh, California wildfire fog outside T-spawn. There's no boundaries to the map. Oh, it's like haunted. It's like I think it's somewhere closer to CT spawn or the bomb sites. All right, I don't want to see this anymore. Get it off my screen. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay. The next map is STHLM. HTML. HTML. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> STHLM. STHLM. Yes. That's what is the name of the map. Okay. I heard HTML. I heard the combination of HTML, so I was like... Oh, I see. Oh, Twitch has really died viewers. down. Only six viewers. A lot of people will probably see it by now. Well, they'll be all, all be looking for the VOD, so... Thanks to the uh, 60 viewers sticking around right now. I hang my head. Twitch died. It's fucking dead. So, Squidski, if I had to delay this to a third day, you said you won't be available tomorrow? I will not... Unless you do it really early tomorrow, I don't think I'll be available. Define early. Um, I'll probably have to leave at uh two or three EST, which, or maybe four EST, which would be one central. Uh, it would be four. So that would Pacific, please. <laughs> okay, so four EST would be the absolute latest. I would stay maybe, and that that would be one your time. Okay, I can. I was, tomorrow's a Saturday, so I can really be up early. So, seven hour could dead knife. What's your schedule? I don't know. I don't know how early uh, I'll actually Saturday, be up, but... I don't give a shit. I wake up at like 10 a.m., so, uh, which is central, which is eight for you. All right. Squidski, would you be okay if I did a super early stream? Catch some of those okay. European people having to sleep or something? I'll find out more specifically what time. I am uh... probably going to get off tonight pretty soon here, so yeah, I don't mind doing earlier tomorrow. All right. But we'll just probably finish everything off of an early third day stream. But let's get some, through some of these more other maps. Yeah, what number are we on now? Oh, uh, let me see. This is 65. 65? Alright, let's do five more then. Then we'll do 24 more tomorrow. And we can do that. if you Because you said a lot of the uh, lesser quality maps were, were really late. Yeah, let me... You can go ahead with the map if you want. Um, okay. So were there buy zones? There were no buy zones. All right. No knock there, but let's see. Simplistic little design here. Got the biggest fucking wall trims I've ever seen. Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> on a rooms. on a building that has no windows or doors. It just, it's just <laughs> it, this is definitely a building. <laughs> uh, I love when simple things like that are pointed out because I don't even think about it. And you say it, I'm like, oh, yep, <laughs> that's just true. It's real fake buildings. Uh, All right. See, so yeah, it'll be between noon and one your time when I have to leave. Okay, I can do a stream later. I can do like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. my time, which will probably be. Damn. You okay if getting up that early? Getting up that early, Squidsky? I mean, I'll get up or however early. I'm just saying you don't have to get up that early. There's only 24 maps, and I think probably a third of them are like just I've been... simple gray boxes or. That's okay. I think I can. Like, I've been meaning to fix my sleep schedule, and I have been a little <laughs> bit, so. Because all right. probably easily find replacements. <laughs> That's also true. Alright. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Uh, can someone die real quick on T side? So I can see your response. Well, fine. Well. Well, 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 okay. I'm dead. Back here. He's dead. Okay, spawn by the van. Let's see, up to the left. Oh. Alright, I got a dark little... Yeah, lighting could be a little bit better on this map. So I'll peek through there, on the corner there. Can I peek over anything here? I cannot. I am noticing. Oh, is that reflection? No, it might have been. Okay, that's the model. So, when that, go down to the bomb site, and you have an absolutely bare bone bomb site. If you're covered looking like these two things right here. 
And yeah, I should extend it like a little bit further, floor. given something that was yeah. a safe plant. Like a unit. I guess this would be your safe plant. Planting right here. On the planter. Planting. On the planter. Planting the planter, fine. Planting the planter. Oh, baby. I mean, the routing seems pretty simple. Where would the middle areas be? So you go around the corners, doing some zigzags. Do another zigzag into a narrow hallway, coming out to a big open area. The routing seems pretty simple, a little spaghetti for that route. Yeah, some of these seem just to be weaving just for timing's sake. So you got a little under area, you got a little hallway up there. So a lot of blind spots, a lot of angles right here. CTs can play the window, play the, the uh, real thick building. Right here, where else can CTs play? CTs utility, it looks like. All right. Yeah, it's kind of just simple down to like two routes in the middle area. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so three routes, three routes. So two in the middle, and then this one over on the side. So honestly, you could probably just have a rotating piece right here, so let's see if you hold this down pretty well. It's a bit dark, which I don't like, and it's a bit of a weird angle, but you have them rotate out. You don't even actually, actually, yeah, you don't actually have to <laughs> play that far into the right, you probably just play right here. Just alternate between this narrow little hallway right here, and play right here. Or you could play back here, play more narrow right there. Bit longer rotation, but I don't think that's bad. Then you can play right here. It's a map. It's a map. It's an easy map for the conquerors. Visually, it's okay. Again, lighting seems to be an issue. Uh, was there any back uh, story info for this map? Um, based on Gamla Stun? I don't know, the town between the bridges and Stockholm. Ah, oh, someone called in the chat. Get your on my face win. I think well man said that on his stream though. Ah. Uh, well man, so maybe they're a cheater. So like no one cares. <laughs> a little bit of a foliage issue there, but there and I think one other area. Yeah, right here. A little much. Especially on CT spells, but I don't honestly have a lot to say about this map. It's visually okay. Gameplay, this route is very easy to figure out. Krat Katten, Jour and Nitur. Dead knife, translate. No. I cannot speak this. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that seems pretty simple to figure out. I like how the two split the uh, mid areas right here. Like the rotation that CT can do out of this side. Just this route seems just a little uninteresting with the lighting and everything. The having to shoot downwards like that. I don't know. It's it's on pay it looks good as a layout. Just visually just doesn't look like too much. It's detailed in a way, but lacking in some other ways. This big building with the largest corner trims I've ever seen just doesn't like that's this is your centerpiece of the map the bomb site. Nothing interesting right there. I don't know, not a whole lot to say. It's decent. Some more I could have gone around the entire visuals and gameplay aspect, but it's decent from where it, for what it is. Good job planting at the bomb trader, but we just planted a bomb at bomb site B and you only have a few seconds to defuse it. Is that from the fucking training map? The training map dialogue? Oh my god. How do we even remember that? Alright, Squidski, load up the next one. Alright, I do want to say I miscounted, so if you actually want to get to 70, we have to do one more than we originally thought. Okay. I can't believe this. One more then. Okay. I don't trust Squidski anymore. Well, that's the wrong channel, but that works. Are we gonna hit Paro? Yeah, we're gonna hit Paro. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stop. Sawmill is gonna be the last one we do. Hmm. Oh, some good maps. Just do five maps to get to sixty nine. Nice. Oh, we're doing yes. something. All right, we got Pen Penancia. 
Uh, Panacea, I think Panacea. is how it's pronounced. Any it workshop is. info? The lab is under attack. Now everyone knows that the cure for all the diseases was found and everyone oh. wants to have it. Oh. Oh man, we went from vaccine curing COVID to the cure for all diseases. So, is this just me, or this is where it looked like Africa? No, it doesn't look like Africa. Or a liar. Do you know what Africa looks like? Well, Africa not, is a big region. Um, so... No, it was just at first glance, and I took the, the second glance, and then my second glance was informative. Take one long continuous glance. Yeah, mm, interesting use of the uh, graded texture. <laughs> Just a black yeah, nice little there. visible thing. Right. Water right there. Oh, Front side. Yeah, Went for any corner, I guess. What is this? Just like a big old. This is this the vaccine stuff? All right. This could be stuff. This is the cure. The cure for all diseases. Yeah, we're blowing it Take up because we need to capitalize off medical sh insurance and everything. Mm -hmm. Alright, I can be up there, I can be down up here, up down there. That's an interesting choice right there. Play towards the scaffolding. Check timings in a second here if you want. Actually, I don't care what you want, I'll say when I. What I like. <laughs> but we put too much repetition on the glass. Probably just a better texture than that. A little much on the lighting. You have two different light colors. You have a bright yellow and a, like a poor bluish color there. The lighting looks mostly blue. It might have had just a weird one right there. Alright. What do T's get? So it's fun. Kind of spawn right here, go out far left, come back here, got this route right here. Uh, we have a middle route, we do. We do, what do? Fuck, see these will be able to push up here. Have to watch out for that. Okay, so they come through here, got a lower. Doorway. Nope, it's blocked off. Okay. It's free wall base. Come out to the right side. What do we have? Got the weird angles here. So you basically have a double angle since you're lying. See if you go up there. So I have to worry about there and up there. I think you might be able to get all off from one smoke. No, maybe not. Okay. So a bit of a double angle there. That is an issue. You have a nice force utility window. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't get it used. Probably could have a boost right here. A little much more lighting. On site trigger. All the way up there too. Ooh. I okay. Got a interesting. Some of your uh, texture choices seem a little. Uh, Questionable, especially with that great ramp outside. And now, since I went no clipped underwater, I can hear nothing but water ambience, so that's good. Uh, type stop sound in console. What's the command? Stop sound. Stop sound. Huh. Did not that Destructible mm -hmm. squeaky. That one. You gotta. You got a floating doorway here. That's uh, also another oh. interesting choice. No hmm. door. Yeah, your few of your gameplay choices seem either forced, like the utility windows, or just downright questionable. Yeah, double angle over here, some of your lighting. Just seems like a kind of unpolished map. It'd be, I think it'd be a lot better if it just had a single gameplay test. Fix a lot of these issues out. Just seems unironed. A thick old stairs. The uh whatever this is. <laughs> this grass? CS Italy uh miscellaneous FR 0 T5. Alright. That is definitely a miscellaneous texture moment. This is without a doubt a miscellaneous texture moment. Yeah. 
probably just want to go back and like check some of your texturing things, like how you texture certain brushes and such, because you kind of have a concept going for at least like your outer areas and just some of these areas you just have just need more detail instead of just have, slapping a texture on the brush. So. Uh, yeah, baby. Oh, yes. I am having the stomach cake. <laughs> All right, now I'm feeling like, well, I'm going to have a sore throat. Bit of a... Ah. Stomach ache, cold. More. I heard that's I'm excited. getting COVID. I need the cure. Alright. Uh, give me one moment, but in the meantime, you can go ahead and load the next map. Alright, our next map is Paro by Rold and Yakuza. Rold and Yakuza. Um, Paro. You may be familiar with them from Anubis. Uh... Mm -hmm. And Station, do you know about DE Station? Very interesting <laughs> map. Very... <laughs> to be fair, that was just Rold, that was not Yakuza. Yakuza worked on Kaizen ah, and yeah. uh, Anubis, as I said, and I think Royal. Small maps, I've heard of them. Alright, I will be right back. So, yeah. moment of silence. On, no one died, but moment of silence from me. So, <laughs> here's some nice commentary from my stream mates. Oh no. I'm Chief using... is dead. Get the game banned off Twitch. <laughs> uh, go sub to my Twitch instead. Epic. No, but if I say. Some words. <laughs> Epic? I get, I get two in one stone. Oh no, it's gonna say the gamer word, oh no. This Don't is say the gamer. that map. This is that map, you looked at this map, didn't I? <laughs> I, I actually looked at it for like two minutes before I just went to do something else. <laughs> I didn't realize you could boost up into this window, actually. I love how they give me a wooden just Oh my god, this, like, Z farting. Zone. Now I won't get first for sure with the Z fighting. <laughs> I need to figure out what happened to me last time we were playing this and I got stuck. Oh, I see. Okay, you can... Yeah, okay, you can surf on this. And then, like, I was trying <laughs> to fight against that and I was, like, accidentally surfing and I was yeah, like, I oh. <laughs> that explains that. I'm gonna dance in front of the Chief. Um, something I didn't realize. Well, I, I really like this um this bridge thing over here. Where are you? Uh, just right outside oh. the lawn, right where Chief is. Like this little thing. Oh yeah, this is like... this is nice. It's mm -hmm. like underpass. Yeah. All right, I am back stream. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back, back, Chief. Uh, we are on Paro. Oh, we have a hostage. Mm-hmm. Hostage, man. you were away. I was dancing on your stream in front of you. I told I everyone to go sub to me. Got some... Alright, uh, backstory for Paro? <laughs> uh... Paro is... Hold on. Paro is based in the Tiger's Nest... Tiger's Nest Temple Complex in the Paro District of Bhutan. This map was created for the contest. It introduces new mechanics to hostage mode for wingman. Counter-terrorists will reach the hostage first, but then must bring the hostage to one of the two rescue zones in enemy territory. Okay, so the name comes from I the just discovered a pixel walker in accident. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Good job. Too late, I know everything. Just like how my Wi-Fi is dying. I know that it's stuck. I thought you were going to say how my wife is dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. The psycho, my wife knows she's dying. All right. She, your wife, okay. So it's more of a contested hostage, is it? Can we get timings? What would be the fastest? Route? Sure. Yep. I mean, counter terrorists will always reach the the hostage first, though. Okay. Where would T's? All right. I guess I want to know, I want to know where T's would be, but where would be the fastest? Way route back here? here. I'm at T's. The right fastest route is up here. All right. Actually, uh, maybe, maybe through the building and jumping out the window, but I'll I, I'll try that. Okay, uh, T, what would be, what would be your fastest? I'm shooting at the T spawn. Uh, I think his fastest route is actually I think they're pretty similar because the the thing is you can't get into the hostage building unless you run all the way around the building. All right. 
first. Let me find the hostage first off. That is my first problem. It's in the hostage. So, do T's really have any chance of like just defending it, like any slight no. chance? No, nope. Uh, no. The only the only way is if counter terrorists come from this entrance, like this uh, down here, uh, and, and terrorists can watch this. All right. So let me give you another question. If let's say time rope time has passed by in the round, so CT immediately rushes for the hostage, they pick it up. Are they guaranteed to go back out? And yeah, okay, it looks like they're kind of safe all around. Okay. So it's really just a focus about defending the hostage zone, isn't it? Is that what I'm thinking? Uh, yeah, more or less. All right. So <sighs> we have an, we basically have another bit of a rift situation, but the hostage zones are actually toward the T-spawn and not kind of like in the middle of the map, so. And like rift, where rift, you have to actually wait till the helicopter gets there. That's like the uh, nerf for CTs. T's actually have to defend it themselves, so. Let's look here. T-spawn back here. Your outer area right here is the rescue zone. I mean, I was harping on the Rift guy a lot just because, like, shouldn't, like, it was literally right in front of CT spawn. But, like, I get it still affects the eco a bit, but, like, it's an $8,000 max eco. So, like, two buy rounds probably ends, like, that eco anyway, or ends all that money. So, I, I, I don't know, honestly. I think it's nice that people are trying to attempt with, trying to, like, make unique things with the uh, Wingman game mode. With the change economy, now like hostages, to rescue hostage zones. Just don't go up to the guard then. So let's figure out these routes. So I'm a counter terrorist. I'm going no, to just like this. Out. <laughs> I'm not an imposter. I'm not sus. I'm going to win. Hmm. Coming out here. So what are my options here? I can jump out this window. And fall down and realize that it was pointless to do that. If I could go down here. Okay, so there's a route. Okay. So assuming there's not really timings, but hold air held areas. I'm assuming T's can just come out right around here and hold this down area right here. It is quite dark though. So probably could line that up a bit. Can we get a CTA down there? Yeah. It's about medium range, so back up. Slowly back away. Okay, it's okay. You're actually you're pretty. Clear. You're pretty Just noticeable. So... Yeah, you're noticeable. So not too much of an issue. All right. So Rusty Zone's right there too. That's a pretty. That's pretty fast pace for a choke point. Like as long as you win the uh, height disadvantage, just one smoke out, and you're just charging for that. So he's playing more into the. Uh, I want to test timings real quick. All right. So let's say like your wingman is trying to protect your the your uh, bot out lane. So let's have God. I'm trying. I'm trying to like memorize all these. So two people at their spawns. Squidski. I want you okay. to go to this far right through this building. Okay. You, you want me to go under like yeah, that underpass there? Yeah, you're going underpass. Uh, seven. Just just rush it. Yeah, just like... rush it. Yeah, rush it. Rush okay. It. Ah shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Seven arc, I want you to go left here. Let me see. Let me yeah. figure out this route real quick. Uh, how am I gonna get you out there? Do you know your fastest <laughs> route out? Do you know your fastest uh, way to the underground or mm -hmm. tunnel? Uh, yeah, I think so. Where, what route are you thinking of taking? I, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's going through left here. and out the window. Not oh, out yeah. the window. I was thinking just out here. Oh, uh, can you go out the window? I've never tried. Let Going out check. the window is kind of dangerous. No damage. All right. So, so try, window. try window. Try window route. Okay. Just uh, don't mess up getting out. Or you'll ruin everything. As if I can promise that. As if I'm skilled. Walking to the mountain, that's your halo. Halo? Okay, the reason why I was harping on Rift, like I, I t I'm telling you, like this, I'm not a fan of the design either. Of uh, CTs just getting the hostage for nothing. I'm telling you, the hostage zone rescue is where the difference of these maps. Like, while it was nice, I did like the fact that CTs actually had to wait for the helicopter to come. Like, you had to be in the area too. I like that aspect. But like, they were still closer to the CT than the T's. T's actually had to work through the map 
with no way to defend the hostage, and they had to get to the zones and protect them. With this, you actually have to, he's gonna actually defend the hostage zones. So I think that's a little bit better. I'm just personally, I, I'm not a fan of either way that they're designed, but I think this is slightly better that T's actually have a chance to defend an area. All right, when you two are ready, go for your routes. All right, I'm ready. So uh, let's go in three, two, one, go. Right there. Oh, there is a visible. Okay, there is a visible anything right there. So that's interesting. So you can't have a CT tanner like save the route. So your choke point would be right around here. So you have to worry about quite a few things. You got a long visibility angle right there. You got a hard angle to check right there. Fog is pretty. I'm assuming you have low clouds and like a you need to be a fog thing. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Okay, let me just. E yes, I think so. All right. Hmm. Appreciate the eagle sound. Uh, let's try another one here. I'm definitely gonna be play testing this. I need to see how this plays out. I do have wrist as a half asterisk if it makes you feel better. Extra cheesy since you seem to be complaining <laughs> about my decision about that. Uh, far right for T's, far left for CT's. Okay, do you want me to go inside the building? Uh, is this far route actually slower? You mean then just going to the building? Do you know which one's faster? No, I'm, I, I meant like, do you want me to, once I get up there, do you want me to go inside that building or do you want me to go up mid? Mm, like, you okay. see what I mean uh, there? Yeah, like that? Go through building, go through building. Okay, uh, I'm not sure which one is faster. Uh, I can go the far left, though. It and better be faster. Okay, happens. go far left, go far left. Alright, you ready, Seven Arc? Yep. Alright, let's go in three. Two, one, go. <laughs> it is oh, faster. I got. I yeah, no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I can tell the timing. So you were right there. I was literally about. I dropped right down here when I saw you. So Squishy is back there. So I have like a extra one or two second advantage. So this route is a bit useless. So. It's tough to say. T's definitely can't rush too much, really. CT's do get the upper advantage on making sure the rushes don't happen, but. So, take the hostage from here, fall back, get a good look at your options, go down the middle area. Yeah, let's do one timing for a middle. Back to your spawn. Okay, do you want me to run through the building then? Yes. Okay, and you want me to go out that left door, like on top of that rock? I assume, like that one, that right there where you're at? Yeah, that's what's Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so in, arc, uh, uh, I think, just go down the stairs. Let me see. Right. Ooh, I could you go out here? What do you think is faster? Probably dropping well, out the left. I, th I, think, I, I, think, I think you get the sight line faster by going the other way. And, like, because you, you can stare right into mid. Uh, the left path? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I think for the sight line, that's faster. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that, it definitely that. is. Okay. All right, to your spawns. Go on your own count. All right, let's go in three, two, one, go. There. It's like... I, I got stuck on this or what, something, but like it was like right here about. Oh, grab yeah. the uh, visibility of uh, the sideline first. You are pretty dark over there. You still outline against the fog, but that's a pretty. It's the player contrast thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you guys are all who player contrast. Who had the heavily against the fog? You would know. Who got it out first? Yeah. I think. Uh, I, I think it was me. Time. I think it was me. I think I got this like uh, maybe a half second at most before him. But it was really close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, fog working a little bit against, but I get that's more for the uh, setting. But <laughs> it's hard to tell because even right now, like just like the blend of the background, like the rocks and everything, it's hard to tell where. Yeah, okay, I'm looking too high there. It's right about there. I think the fog's a little much. I'm trying to tell where the uh, distinct uh, 
outline of the exit is there. And I personally can't even tell for a second there. I'm seeing it now. Now I'm kind of seeing it. So it's harder for a second there. Maybe a little bit less than I thought. All right. Ah. <laughs> so you're basically limited to three routes. You got your under tunnels, you got your mid, and you got your left. So your under actually seems a bit faster. Your choke point actually is right around here. But I guess like, you have like your one hostage guy, go for smoke, like they can throw it out that window, go down here. Then the window's a little weird, not just visibility reasons, but. There's also a like a sniper window, like battle through these two windows. I see. That could be interesting in a way, having like, probably no one remembers what I'm talking about, but there's a COD mission called Big Brother where you have one guy who's kind of just like running through a map. Like on MW2? Guy. Yeah. Oh, I remember, remember that map, yeah. And then yeah. you have the other guy in the helicopter like mowing down the enemy. So you have like your one guy who's trying to guard the hostage. You have the other guy trying to pick off the players. Mm -hmm. So it, kind of, it seems interesting in that way. I'll give them credit for that. So you either like split them up. You have your one guy just try to tank and try to pick off the two oh, enemies yeah. and try to guide them to the hostage zone. I imagine the one T is just gonna alternate between these two. Like, it, this does seem like a lot, lot longer of a map. Unless you're bull rushing the either indoor area, because this seems like all close range. Yeah, this, okay, so I see a contrast here. So, close range right here, or a the long range battle on mid and down here. And it's about medium range for this tunnel. So, I see all the contrast differences. I'm pretty sure that's intentional too. I'm pretty sure they thought of it that way. This I think needs playtesting. I can't give it too much word on it. This officially, it looks pretty good. Um, we're seeing a lot of the kind of like same uh, texturing, but detailing. But I like the architecture of all the buildings. I like the cliff side, the fog. Actually, I think it's pretty nice. I think it's a nice overall map. I'm liking it. It's definitely something interesting with the take on the hostage. It's not. I personally don't like it. I think if you're and balancing the eco that way. I mean, it just starts stacking up really quickly, even with the reduced eco of the uh, Wingman game mode. I never went down here, did I? What in the world? It's just a ladder that goes down to a ladder that goes up. <laughs> to a squeaky. I believe uh, it's also openable only one way until the one way is open. Uh, well, yeah, well, I, I think, <laughs> yeah, open. Uh, restart real quick. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's locked from the other side until it's opened. Okay. I've seen one way openable control. doors, I've seen one way openable, yeah, like, uh, on that crate thing we saw quite a few maps back. So let me check here. Ah, that's interesting. I wonder how they did that. Because I don't think that's a door flag, that's probably like a... Is that like a V script thing? Uh, no, you can. I don't know. I don't Maybe think... it's just buttons and then. Okay. I don't know. I don't think that's a flag under the door uh, parameters. So that's interesting. Yeah, this will definitely be something I can play. We need to play test. I can kind of understand where the. Uh, how gunfire will go between each three. The differences there. Not a fan of the how it imbalances the eco. Uh, just getting the hostage right away. But we'll see how the gameplay goes in a playtest session. Grenada. So, not too much to say about Paro, so I'll decide later on how it goes. So, that's all I gotta say for Paro. How many more maps do we have? Oh, we got one, two, three, four. Four more maps, alright. What did they do in this one? Alright. Well, it's a dark road. The next map. Is Moss. Moss. Oops. Is that sound familiar? DE Moss, a bomb defusal map for the 2v2 wingman game mode. Alright, let's see. Oh, Blood Chat popped by. I feel like there might be cheap rounds where CD is just knife rush to see the hostage. Yeah, it's already guaranteed that will be the hostage regardless. There's no reason to just not have a guy go up there, get the money guaranteed, and just pop out, then start focusing on gameplay throughout the 
how you plan out getting to the hospital zones. At another rift feedback session. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did do. There were some. Uh, how do I say? Differences in how they people saw rift. A lot of people saw it more negatively. I said like, okay, it's a unique concept. I just don't like the hostage like right away. I like how the that and extraction both had like the waiting for the hot helicopters. I think it's just more focused on it was more toward the CT side. It was a lot more favorable for them. The CTs had to move a lot quicker and just had to get to the hostage zones. So that and that map hero we displayed. Something I do not like. Uh okay, we got a spammer and we got a advertiser. People who hated the green cash see this map. Hippity hoppity, <laughs> your message is getting off my property. It's one hundred percent just a button triggers, okay. Every hostage map took risk. Oh, there were some that just uh, kinda of trying to go for the classic like Wingman design but using hostage and hostage zone, so it's interesting how they kinda of did it, but yeah, I think more of the twists we've seen have been on hostage zone. So we've seen some of their interesting themes, like the uh, frigate and the uh, oh, there was another one. I don't remember it to be honest. We have played this at a lot of maps. So my brain is slightly fried. Okay, we are playing Moss. Any backstory? No. Moss creators. Uh, Rhymus. R I M A S. Okay. So we're going for the overgrown look to it. You know, it's hard for those texture transitions. Let's go to the tarp. Oh, it's a tarp. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I bet it. Oh, is this how they're covering? Oh, okay. That's... I see how they're trying to cover the transition. So we've got a bomb set here. We got chickens. Always a good thing. Mm -hmm. They get the chicken points. Plus 10 chicken points. Oh, your chickens are dead. Minus 10 chicken points. <laughs> yeah, the chickens come in the contest. So the center burn is not winning. Damn. You need chickens to win. That's just a fact, guys. They really do. Right, like that. Very we and uh, those chickens. That's what he said. You need chickens. chickens. You just can't see them. They're invisible. Mm -hmm. he said you need chickens. Unfortunately, we have one chicken. It's not plural. Therefore, it does not qualify for chicken points. Damn. Got see it. you. Should have had two in your little tank there. Top 10 things you hate to see. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's interesting. So we got a peek out angle right here. We also have a window. These can access this right. Okay. Yeah, very mossy, overgrown look. Uh, the buildings have like the same texture. This might be okay. This might be a little much just looking at this. Sorry to say, just kind of like that yellowish green instead. Not really nice to look at. You're looking from over here, it's very green. Yeah. It's a little much. On the, uh, a little much more on the uh, side. Got a long side lane down there. Oof, that's a long ass out line. I think visibility would be too much of an issue. CT models, these are over there anyways. Take a look at bomb site. Oh, is it just a little puddle? Okay. Instinctable. Uh, check equipping. Mostly well done there. So, routing, see so if it's come up here. Play either the window, right route, they have the tarp to mid route right there, and then the left route. I'll get a ton of this. Oop, my fight is slightly dying. Uh, I need timing to check. I need timing checks. Okay. Go to your spawns. T, you're I'm going here. to this far right upper area. CT okay. going far left. Uh, to get up there, you're towards going that, to... Towards that... Okay, I see where you are on the radar. If you don't even see him yet, then just try to jump on the car, then jump up there. Okay, I gotcha. Alright, uh, let's, let's go in three, two, one, go. Right there. Oh. Okay, so you can't play the ghost game on there, but... 
they do have a pretty strong side line on there, so definitely want to counter that with probably utility. Or just have a guy kind of close range. Maybe quickly bull rush, try to play the SMG shotgun. Or have someone with a longer range weapon try to hold it down. But you do have two and and a half more entrances. You got this one right here. Or I'd say three and a half, because kind of got this one in the same general direction. This one really doesn't have sight lines or anything, it's just an alternate way. This one has a longer sight line into the actual uh, area that the CTs could be. Which one of these is faster? I might test this one too. Looks like it's. Uh, I'm gonna say this one. Okay, one more timing. T, you're, you're going far left. CT, you're going far right. Go. Can we go that little, little no, no, U route there? No, just no, straight. Straight, straight, and then right. Straight, and then. Okay, so here we are. Go on your time. Alright, let's go in three, two, one. Uh oh, that's instant. Yeah. He, he yeah. So, I feel like CT is gonna move up quite a bit on the uh, T uh, angles. Their little entrances. So, T's have to be a little bit careful. So, CT can punish a little bit easier than I'd like to see. But it's nothing bad. Um, overall, the team seems uh. Well, theme moss or whatever, but the visibility kind of just seems repeated. Like, you got a lot of the detailed buildings, but they just seem just kind of just put everywhere. And, I mean, it kind of suffices, I guess. Like, you, got, you can tell there's a lot of depth to the map, just like, it seems like just the same thing over and over. Like, see right here, it looks a little bit more interesting. Got the uh, rusted gates, the bench sign right there. Yeah, probably want to see a little bit more, like, because only most diversity you see will be on the bomb site itself. Like the little pond area, the bushes, whatever. So, I want to see them a little bit more around the map. CTs can go up a little bit too much, I'd say, maybe a little bit too much punishment, especially that they have these more passive angles back here that they can easily hold on to. Because if you have that quick round to the bomb sites, though, which actually might be the most favorable for T's, because this is really quick. And there's a, they have blind spots for both the left and right route that CTs have, so. If, if you don't have a CT on the bomb site itself, covering this exact angle, it's an extremely easy way to just get up on the site plan to get back. So I guess that's a good thing for bomb site utility or bomb site usability. Like you will see plants on the bomb site. I feel like the only way to easily just lock down these uh, routes that T's have is CTs to play back, march at a bull rush, and play that short game. So you probably have your second CT guy kind of like right here. You have them alternate between this prep area and right here. So, T's get a little bit more of an advantage right there, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So, actually, I think this is a better layout than I'm giving credit for. I think it's actually a pretty good layout that gives T's actually more opportunity than now that I'm seeing it. See, these have rotation pieces, they can back off, rotate through here. I think it's actually a pretty decent layout. Even if you want to see more, I want to see more visually, or some change, diversify visually. I think this is a pretty good layout. Green AT, please. Hmm. Some more popping know. individuals, I'd say. First, I did, I tried to diversify it up, and I said it like five times over again. I think we can move on to the next map. <clears throat> Alright. This map is. It's either Evon or Evan. It's E V O N. What map is this, by the way? E V O N. Uh, uh, number. Evan. So. Oh, uh, let's see. So if this is 70, and this is 69. So then this will be 68. Okay. 69 to. Historic moment. Botanists are testing the effects of pure nitroglycerin on plants to see if artificial fertilizers are dangerous. But with the experiments ending, they have too much nitro, and in late summer, lots of pollen to boot. Russians with seasonal al allergies will take advantage of their lack of cleanliness. Will the counterterrorists save these trees, save the hours of work spent on research, offer a claritin, or possibly open the fences and walk around? Oh, wait, I clipped it. Oh, no, how could you do it? Uh, who's this by? Uh, Batman. 
Batman. I cannot tell what that radar is. <laughs> Holy All right. shit, Batman. The official Batman, probably. I can't believe this. Actually, Batman, never hero. mind. It's Bat hyphen man. Oh, oh. darn. No relation. Right, well, it's no, it's underwhelming. That's a <laughs> hey, man who is a bat. Hello, no, it's that's man on dog. Twitch. Is there a negative space in this map? Don't you hate it when they blow a hole Don't. in your tarp? I especially hate that, Kenny. I think they just made all the walls and stuff, uh, just tar cover. I swear to god, if people blow more holes in my tarp. The real bat hyphen man, not the real bat, not the fake one. I hate the fake bat hyphen man. Yeah, I cannot tell the radar, but it does seem like a shorter map. Nitro crates everywhere. We got a enclosed facility thing with the trees and construction. Yeah, I probably want to zoom in a bit on that radar because it looks like there is a little bit of buildings and just a ton of just random pieces of cover. Looks oh. like a bit too cluttered all over. Like that though. Nice little detailing touch. Did you defuse the bomb? No, don't defuse the bomb. Save the day again. I'm on the no, floor. this is what it's meant to be. Can you go up here? You have to, right? I mean, no. I get a boost right there. That'd be a oh, cheeky little angle. You can tell they use tarmac around the outside heavily. Mm hmm. So it does look small. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just, I think it's just way, way, way too much cover just everywhere. Just like it. Like, you have the longer angles, but just like, you're checking so many things at once, you just don't know where anyone could be. Like, do you have an ET just like to go to the bomb site? You just start like slowly moving up cover by cover, checking it. Like, both teams are just like, in this panic to check angle, just like, oh, he's back there, who's behind there, gonna go through here, is he behind here? Just like, this is way, way, way too much. Just way too many angles, like, way too much. <laughs> I think just, just about everything needs to be just like halved in. Like half of your cover needs to go. Just like it just seems like a giant firefight of angles and cover. Cause like your outside air doesn't seem that interesting. I'm, I'm guessing that's why you did it. Because the actual focus of detailing seems to be on the inside. But even then you got nitro crate, nitro crate, nitro crate, wooden fence, tree, nitro crate, tiny tree. Got all this construction stuff going on right here. Nitro crates in the brack. Brack, back, bleh. Then more construction right here. Just, there's just too much of everything on this map. Visually, I can't exactly tell what you're going for. Cause again, just like all this cover and everything. Just like it seems just a lot of everything. It's just too, I'm gonna say it. There's just too much visual screaming. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Nah, actually, that wouldn't be the correct noise, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Everything needs to be just simplified. Okay, I'm seeing like the little warehouses, kind of, what you're going for, but way too complex. I think because the map is mostly just like, it's, it's just a square, to be honest. You got your... Like, what's the, what's the point of going back here? Like, again, just... Oh my god, so many chickens! Oh, you almost distracted me. Okay, anyways, I was- Sorry, I almost forgot the yeah, measure map. This wins in the, in the chicken category. Yeah, you win my chicken uh, category of points, but... Just way too much of everything, and just- It's kind of prevalent that- Prevalent that... Your map is basically a square of just a bunch of cover. So I think your layout just needs some more thought put into it, and just a... Complete rework of using routes and just a smaller number of cover so i don't have a lot to say that's a real place in russia it's all accurate one-to-one -one. uh <laughs> well it feels more like a uh what would what you call it? a fight yard style map is that what it is it's a place in russia with new crates new crates nitro crates trucks in the middle that's epic i want to go there now even so, uh, even if it's a one-to-one, -one, I'm 
really telling you that the cover is just way too much, the angles are way too much, just hiding around every corner, just throwing another enemy off. The bomb site, I feel like, can be utilized, but with just so much cover everywhere, I don't feel like it's really gonna happen, so. That's all I gotta say. Cool. All right. What is our next map? Our next map, okay. our next map, number 69, is Treehouse by Lion, <laughs> by Lion Doge. Lion Doge. A giant treehouse was an ambitious project by a group of kids. Now long abandoned, has become an objective of two terrorists that have plans to blow up the place. <laughs> Why are they blowing then, up treehouses? I don't know. And then his next sentence says, this map was made for the Source Engine Discord Wingman 2020 competition. Unfortunately, this M, and then it cuts off. <laughs> so we'll never know what is unfortunate. Another victim. Yeah, there's nothing unfortunate. Is that okay? Unfortunately, this M. Unfortunately, than the victim of falling and dying. Yeah, I just saw that right since Monday. Uh, hello, DMU. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad that we have a resurgence in viewers just to see uh, a treehouse. Where, where is the land? Dude, that's how high up we are. I can see. Yeah, I can see the three D skybox. You mean the buildings? The, no, no, the the the. I, I don't oh, know the, color. Oh, is that the tree in the three D skybox? I was saying I'm about to see a tree here. Oh, yep, there, there it is. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Because I figured out. Levitation. So is okay. this just a really upscaled, or not upscaled, but a really scaled up tree? I swear, this is the third map I've, I've seen a, of a cat art painting. Has anyone got any? They're all different, I believe. But... Uh, it's from uh, it's from Co-op Casma. Co-op Casma. Okay. The uh, the night mission from the operation. Oh no, a dev crate box. Hate to see. What the? There's no collision. <laughs> 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 I love that. Robin found that too when he was walking around. It was very funny. All right, this is like rage parkour. <laughs> Just got off. And like, oh, it, it looks exactly the same as everything else too. Like this the FPS is rage. Yeah, my way loser. I'm my way loser. <laughs> no, fuck you. Right, I'm safe. Man. All right. Is it just this little? It's, it's just in the corner, as far as I know. It's just the corner. <laughs> it's just... All right. Just to see which piece of plank does not have collision. I really am interested in how they build this treehouse. Uh, th a thousand feet, quite a few thousand feet it's off the uh, sky. Like I see buildings on part of the horizon. So where am I? Just floating above water? Oh, there's still their weapon. That's where not... am I? I don't know. This is a real place in Russia, I wonder why. Just gonna say that for every map. This is a real oh, place no, 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 in, Russia. In, in Russia. Come to Brazil, we have floating tree house. Dang, kids built this. How the kids get their hands on the anti gravity thrusters? Almost good how? asteroid. What is this droid? is like a full building. How how did kids do any of this? Like those children are like experienced um like <laughs> architects. Yeah, we're we're gonna tech, we're gonna question the architect architectural factor and not how we're just floating in the sky. I mean, it's that's more of a tree house. The one day that gives name Albert Einstein. It's true. All right. So I'm uh, just sorry. I'm sorry. I've been so distracted by the uh, amazing tree house. I forgot to look at gameplay. All right. Left rail. Go into the tree house area. Just make sure it don't fall through the floor anywhere. A little <laughs> utility window. It's Two utility windows, or is that just a little utility window? It's a, it's a, it's a peek through window. A little bit, some uh, visibility could be, or some lighting could be good. I think the kids got higher electricians, so I can see a little bit more because of the dark wood. It's bringing a lot of these children. I'm putting, yeah, I'm putting a lot of these children. Maybe they should have designed a better map. <laughs> Kind of right here. I guess we have the right route, so when you're not falling off the corner, let me just. Uh, okay. Then you have this right route right here. I'm guessing choke plants right about here. Then you have this little side connector into the 
middle area of the bomb site. Uh, why is there just a, is this collisions or is this just like those are? That's maybe it's from the tree. I mean, I'm oh, there's wood, sky I box. Right? It's there's sky box. Oh, I thought it was oh. wood Okay, well, maybe. Box. Actually, maybe not. No, I think I'm wrong. Let me hear it. I'm hearing wood. I wonder if this is cool. Oh, I don't know. Uh, grenade collides against. Let me look. That wireframe one. Oh, this this entire roof is a model. That's why. Oh. oh. <laughs> this really did be a brush to model moment. Imagine being. Imagine getting contracted. So we need a house floating in the sky. Maybe the map creator is a child, and that's what the war means. Map creator is a one to one in real life. Very interesting. All right. Yeah, I got a lot of random utility windows. We got wood, got more wood, got a wooden tree compared to non-wooden trees. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Got little cubbies, the lighting could be better. This is definitely a map in the Source Engine 2020 Wingman Contest judging stream. <laughs> and with that being number 69, is it 69? Yep. Uh, let's go on to 70. Right, last okay. one then. All right, this one is Sawmill by Fuseb. Something's up at the old mill. Description, a wingman map set in the American, or set, yeah, oh wait, no, set the American Northwest. Sawmill features fast-paced action as players attempt to take control of a certain, or, or of, sorry, of a central bomb site. Both teams must attempt to overrun their opponents at key positions before they're overrun from a flank behind. Sawmill encourages players to always be on their feet. All right. Sawmill it is. Please don't. Is Sawmill a sequel to Treehouse? You know, it's a prequel. This is where the tree came and had to, had to escape the sawmill so it could become a floating treehouse. Hmm. This is the story of how the tree escaped the sawmill, or how we had to blow it up so the tree could escape. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Expected. Just get to date each story, then end, end the stream. I've heard that name quite a few times. I'm, I'm already, I haven't even seen the map yet, and I'm already getting sick of this meme. Whatever it's, it's, good, it's yeah. not a good meme. It's it's a very low effort meme. We'll be disappointed to achieve. And that's also like that's basically near the end. It's like one of the last three or four maps, I think. Right. It was funny for like ten minutes. <laughs> the frame rate. No, yeah. That's a... I was gonna hang out in this room. This is the only room I get good. This map frame is rate. not from real life Russia, but the FPS is accurate to Moscow. Every map is from real life Russia, and that's a fact. All right. Everything's in Russia. I should already took over. Oh, little bit of a frame rate, dude. Got a nice little setting here. It's a nice wood. Yeah, and thanks. Oh, uh, being able to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it red? Because it, it's it's it's, a, it's it's not it's not red until you get hurt by it and then oh, it turns really? more bloody over time. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's a. Can't stop standing on it. You can't stop me. You know what? You're right. I don't have to stop you. Do whatever your heart desires. Oh, okay. I assume that's just like okay. Stairs were destroyed there. Whatever red's right there. We have, let's see here. Oh, there's a hand sticking out of these trash bags. Got a Dexter moment over here. A lighting moment. That's a lighting moment for sure. Is that this is without a doubt a lighting moment. Map does have lights. Oh, doesn't this uh, swing? It does. In upper area, we have, for a second, some weird lighting issues, but. A lot of little fun things around here. Nice wood in the It's pretty fast paced. Map seems nicely spread out, but. Oh, okay, here we go. So. 
we have an overview into the entire site, so this seems like a pretty important uh, route up here. We have our outside route right here. I split between left and right. Arch back a little I bit. I can't plant all the salt. This is so sad. Yeah, try to veggie. You can't. <laughs> but imagine. <laughs> The bomb set itself is a good centerpiece, and there's not a lot of pieces and routes along and around the bomb site. Just no cover whatsoever. And the areas you can look into, you got the CT right here. You got the upper area, which seems like a very important factor to control the bomb site. You got this uh, main T entrance right there. You got the contested right side entrance right here. Like everything is looking to this bomb site. I don't see how you get the bomb planted easily. Oh, bomb site's a little bit bigger than I thought. Oh, okay. I thought it was like within these three like stripes real quick. Okay, hang on. I see. Okay, this entire almost this entire like floor is a bump site area. Alright, I take that back then. Looks like we can punch on this barrel too. Thirty damage, alright. So no contestant right here. T's just come out from their uh, by zone, and boom, they're instantly taking a look on the side. So you definitely need someone because yeah, this map seems very fast paced. So you definitely need someone right here to just instantly counter it. But you got two other side routes to instantly worry about. You got two different visible two angles you have to worry about on this. You either play sh short up front or play this little upper area. Or you have the left route. Retakes definitely seem possible too. Like this, I think this is kind of like the first map where it's just like the bomb site itself is almost kind of like a given for keys. It almost feels like, uh, well, not a given, but like a very more favorable for T's. Like the bomb site planting itself does not feel good, but like the bomb site area itself is more given, if that makes sense. Thoughts, opinions? Um, about it. Any interesting notes? Uh, um, played this. We have played this. This will be but definitely something I'm playtesting anyway, so it's not real. The only thing I'm noticing is it's not inconsistent, but there is a lack, there's a bit of a drop in frames kind of all around the map compared to. Yeah. The yes, some I areas are a lot worse than others. Yeah. Also, I, I do frames. want to ask because I don't want to. Uh, is this? Or do they have swamp assets here? Yes. Okay. I it kind of felt like the interiors of some of the swamp buildings. So I didn't want to like uh, criticize the map. So I was like, oh, you just use swamp assets or something. I was just felt really similar to it. I definitely want to play to see how this swamp site feels. I just want. I'm gonna play this anyway, so I want to ask your opinion. How did the gameplay feel to you guys? I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, um, it, it's very, uh, like you said, fast paced. Um, a lot of stuff kind of happens going almost around the site, I feel like. Um, also, well, I had low frames when we played because we just lost low frames, but. Um, I think you're just right in that the upper area is very important. Yeah. Uh, we got playing a few times, though, right? Uh, I don't remember how many we played it. I, I think we got planted a decent number, I want to say, but. That's pretty good. Okay. So yeah, kind of what I figured, fast paced, upper area seems like the most important area that, other than like the actual area right here where the gunfight would be, but yeah, definitely seems more of its fast paced manner. Just, I don't know, I feel like the site is much more favorable for T's to like just access it, but just the actual plantability, I'm not sure. It does feel a bit like a shorter map, even with like it's uh, three routes and such. So. I think it's one of the more, it looks like more of a fun, fast paced gameplay we see out of the competition. Uh, just optimization, okay, I'm gonna do the forbidden MAT wireframe one. Ah, uh, this isn't bad. Let's well, see up here is the best spot for FPS. Yeah, okay. So let's You uh, might wanna check on like that, the exact opposite area. Um, I had but... some noticeably right out of spawn, so let's check spawn real quick. Yeah. 
There it is, yeah. Uh, doesn't load the entire map, but it's just are just swamp assets heavy or just like. No, nah, there's just a lot of stuff rendering where you can't actually see it. Okay, it's probably just yeah. piling I up. Think and of, I think they have a lot of windows and stuff that kind of see outside. Oh my god, it dings. Yeah, there, there does seem to be a bit of optimization in some little areas. It just, I think, some of the more important parts of the map, there seem to just be unloading everything. It's a nice map. I like its theme. I like its look to it. Gameplay seems fast paced. I think it's going to be a pretty fun map. Can't really utilize too much of the cover. I think it's, if anything, it's just to hide for the uh, post plan or just try to get like a cheeky little shot off. Just playing any blind spots. Yada yada. Can't just appear. I think it looks pretty fluid. I think it's pretty fat, be fast paced. Definitely have to check play testing. See how this goes. All right, so that was sawmill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, optimization should definitely be an issue. But I don't think it's terrible. Does it have any dynamic bo uh, prop bug issues? So. I don't think so. Oh. Happy birthday, Kettle. I said. Oh, he left. Okay. You left. <laughs> Seth. Oh, he joined and said, "Happy birthday, Kettle," and then left. Very cool. It is still <laughs> Kettle's birthday. Very cool. Yes. Birthday Much better than that birthday does only last an hour. Super Mario in real life. Oh no, not the softwoods. Reminds me of Akihabara layout wise. Akihabara? What? Uh, I don't see it. Who said that? Uh one of my Twitch users said that. Yeah, I was I was asking who Does it matter who? I'm trying to yes, target. I wanna, because I wanna call them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't see the uh, comparison to Aki Harbor in any way. I feel more of a symmetrical kind of like three-lane map, focusing on the middle of the as your bomb site. The gameplay plays all around there. Rip frames, frame rate, accurate to real life Russia. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Russia runs the same DPS. Yeah. Oh, there's there's been moments where I was like, ah, like this older map, I I feel like if this map feels like that, then I'd play like the old map. I was like, oh wait, I'm wrong. And there's some like visual stuff, maybe gameplay stuff, or feel like that just randomly take you back to some other map. I've had those moments, so it's okay. No need to apologize. It's and not okay. Quitsky, he demands you apologize and like. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I demand it. He he will literally ban you from anything in his life. Mm -hmm. Discords, jobs, yet it. If it's successful job in 20 years, well, guess what? Not anymore. Very nice looking map, fast pace. Optimization would be the only issue. Alright. Have that written down. And with that, that will be concluding day two, part two stream Ooh. of today. I know four. How many hours did we get total of streaming? We went from. A lot. From PM no, to we about. Went from Three, four. two. Three. Did we go from like one to three or one? I think we went like one to three for my time anyway. Yeah, for your time, I want for my time. I think it was like three to seven or three to eight, and uh, we took an hour break, and we came back, and did until now. This has been about a three to four hour stream, I'd say. It's a bit longer. Three hours, three twenty. Oh, I get you. Oh, okay, I get what you mean. I I can sort of understand what you're saying. Like the routes themselves are kind of like curved out, then they're working more toward the, like the open and play around the bomb sites. We've seen kind of a few of those today, so I didn't get why you meant like our cover specifically. But I, I get your reference. I get what you mean. Like all the routes kind of like converge into this more open area bomb site. So I see what you mean. We've had a few of those uh, maps during the contest. The map is just Aka Harbor, but flipped upside down and sideways, and also mirrored and also reversed, and flipped upside down one more time. <laughs> Thanks for spending the time to look at these. Have a good night, bro. Yeah. So this will be the last stream for today. We'll be having a very, very early stream tomorrow morning. We'll probably catch some of that European crowd. Now, who am I can't little they won't look at some Western American streamer. What am I saying? Oh, got a nice little scene back here. A little railroad. Yeah. Definitely a lot of visual thought put into this. 
And we do have chicken. Oh wait, no, that was just flame. We don't have chicken. Unless <laughs> that it. was just flame. They've been flamed. No chicken points for you. Let's see if they're all killed. So definitely have to see how this plays out in the gameplay, but I'm gonna mark that down. Thank you everyone who came out to the stream tonight. Or anyone who stuck through both streams or just one of them. I appreciate you guys coming back, just chilling. Any comments, I always love seeing. Love reading your Twitch comments. It's always a nice break instead of talking a lot. I there was a lot of fine maps. I had a lot of fun with them too. So it's always nice to see them with other people. And thank you guys, Good Squeed and Ice of an Arc for coming out. Always nice yes. to talk to some people, get some thoughts, just communicate with I don't know how well I can just go for six fucking hours straight and just be <laughs> like, yep, 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 alright, next one. Yep, 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 <laughs> alright. Those damn Canadians, man. <laughs> Good night, Chef. Thanks for coming out, Extra Cheesy. I know you stayed quite through quite a lot of it. Do you think there's potential for players accidentally running into the saw blades? Uh, yes. a little bit, yeah. I definitely see it. It's obviously something you kind of have to avoid. <laughs> it's more noticeable when you have the blood on it, so... Okay, my game crashed. I don't know why. I mean, that, that's part of the, uh, the map, though, I think. That's part of the challenge. It's not being like... the wingman. Where maps... where your game crashes for no reason. Well, no, not that, <laughs> not that one! Yeah, especially with the layout itself, of how you're just kind of, like, playing around it, not on the bump side itself, so... I feel like it'll be avoided most most cases, but I definitely see every now and then. Where someone just, like, randomly hit it, lose that 30 health. It's just random. It's not... I don't particularly like it, but I don't dislike it either, so... Do you, or do you think it's highly unlikely? Okay, so answer that. Have a nice day, Chief. Thanks for coming out, DMU. Rookie mistake, you're supposed to walk into the Molotov. Very cool. Alright, so that'll do it for today's stream. Uh, hope Tomorrow I'll do the stream. That'll be the last day. And then I'm going to get all the VODs, especially the day one VOD, which had like three different parts because my exploit sucks and I had to do like three different streams. Seven Arc, you offered to uh, edit it for me, did you? I did. Yeah, I might send it to you, because I know the first stream was just a mess at the beginning. Yeah, just, uh, if, if you do, just send it to me, tell me what you, like, how you want to edit it. Yeah. Because I'll go through them, make sure anything I want to edit out, because there's every, there's a Wi-Fi issue every now and then during the all three streams. Or, all two of them. Probably gonna be one tomorrow, too. Who knows. So, I'll probably hook you up on that. Someone else offered, too. Someone else offered, uh, to do it, but... I'll see, just I'll get someone then. So thank you everyone who came out to the Twitch stream. If you have any questions, I'll save for another like two minutes, answer any questions you guys have about the maps I've done, maps in the future, the entire contest itself, the judging, what anything about the contest. Yada yada. <laughs> Silver Elite rank accurate to real life Russia. Listen man, when Abby was back in the game, I was a Gold Nova three, okay? Oh and now I God. play office. I play CS Office once a month, and this is what I'm stuck. With. This is what happens when you play Counter Strike once a month. You play Office, okay, and then you get Silver Elite. Chief is an Office Global. I am an Office Global. Yeah, if I play more consistently, I get to Global and Office. Office Elite Master. There you go. So, if you guys have any questions about the contest, the streams, the maps, the judging. Let's take for another minute and answer those. Is it called Chief Water because it's produced by you or is it because you were born in it? Uh, I'll leave that up to you. You can come up with your lower for Chief Water. Every copy of Chief Water is personalized. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna head out now. Fun stream. All right. Thanks for coming out, Squidski and Seven. Hey, and no problem. All right, see you. Goodbye, Chief. Goodbye, Dino. All right, that's gonna do it for the stream, everyone. Any last-second questions? Because I'm just reading through Discord messages that I missed. Well, thankfully you can't see them. Good old OBS. Not letting my my stream down. So tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm going to start with, but we went up to, I believe, 670. Yeah, we went to 70, so we have 24 more maps to do. We'll be starting earlier. We'll be starting around probably anywhere between 8, 9, or 10 a.m. Pacific time. So you have to translate that to your own time zone. Good night, extra cheesy pie. So 
this time around, I can actually give you a estimated time. So a lot earlier tomorrow, we'll be finishing up the last 24 maps. So it's late for a lot of you guys. Some of you might miss it. More of my European crowd might pop in. So last call for any questions, comments. Otherwise, the stream will be ending. I'll probably do a longer Q&A session, whatever, since tomorrow will be the last stream. The VODs, hopefully, I'll have some in record someone else edit them. All right. Doesn't look like it. Thank you all for coming out today. I appreciate everyone who stopped by, had a comment, and this is general viewership. So I'll be catching you guys tomorrow morning. Have a good night or good morning or good afternoon. All right. Goodbye.